And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. After hours edition, we got a bunch of lovely ladies in the house. Uh, nine to be exact. Nine, nine or ten, ten to be exact. Okay. We got a lot. Oh, shit. There you go. Yeah. yeah. More. Either way, guys, let's get into it. Let's go. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. To I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. This time and And we are back. Welcome, to guys, to the Fresh Way Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with tumbly, lovely ladies. Uh, so quick announcements, guys, before we get into the show. Number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit. It's the first of the month. So you know what time it is, a.k.a. First the, of the second month. of the month. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could tell uh, Chris was on that government cheese back in the day. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so or government peanut butter in this case. <laughs> anyway, guys, check us out. Patreon.com slash fresh fit. We basically go over everything, bro. We go over how to buy real estate. How to get cryptocurrency, dating. how to make money, being an entrepreneur, dating, getting your credit score up, yep. basically becoming the best version of yourself, you know, shit, fitness, right? Hell, I just came from the gym just now. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuses. You got to get your workout in. You can't be a fat piece of shit in 2022, man. The reality is this, guys. You guys watch this podcast every single day, every night, whatever it is. You see the girls come in. You see their standards, man. They all want a 1% dude. So, hey, you got to work your ass off to get to that point, not to get the girl so that the byproduct is to have the women coming to you. That's why you got to focus on yourself. And then also. Soon, guys, we're going to be talking about stocks as well. I've been doing a lot of research. So I spent my birthday, actually, was uh, studying index funds, and ETFs, and stocks as well. So we're going to do a Money Monday on that, guys, because yeah. uh, I got a lot of information and, yeah, very, very, uh, very impressive stuff. And also, we got an expert here, but we'll leave him off, off camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, check us out, guys, over there on Patreon.com. We do one weekly Zoom, a month, one monthly Zoom call. Yeah. And then we also answer questions on there, Telegram chat, etc. You know, men need tribes, guys. Join the Patreon, patreon.com slash freshfit. Check us out over there. Uh, also, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Every single platform you listen to podcasts, we, are, we there. are there. Just click that anchor link below. It'll take you to the destination of your choice, whether you like CastBox, a smaller platform, or a bigger one like Spotify. Check us out over there. Uh, click that anchor link below. Also, get the merch, freshfitpodcaststore.com. We have these Stay Over There shirts. I'm actually going to launch them tonight. Uh, so check us out over there on freshfitpodcaststore.com. I feel like T-shirts, a.k.a. why Chris says merch all the time. Uh, and then, you know, the Unplugged Fitness Legacy example, shirts, Fresh and Fit, for example, Ninja Watchers, the hoodies, they're all there. It's cold right now, so go and get yourself a hoodie, freshfitpodcaststore.com. Also, guys, we got another YouTube channel in case you didn't know. We have like a million YouTube channels now at this point. We got a Fresh and Fit Clips channel, guys. If you don't got time to watch the full-on pod, go ahead and get the best parts on the Fresh and Fit Clips channel, guys. Uh, help us get to 200K on that bad boy. I think it's around 153, 154K. Yeah. So Fresh and Fit Clips, guys, subscribe to that. If you don't have time, you can watch two to 20 minute uh, clips. We post two videos on there every single day and we post a clip on this channel as well. So if you like the clips that come on this channel, check out the clips channel. It's right here. You know, as you guys can see, we've had some pretty big guests on here Kodak, and we got a bunch of Kodak clips. Tate. So uh, check us out, items. man. We post two times a goddamn day on that channel and then one time over here. So check us out. Fresh Fit Clips. Also, Fresh and Chris also have their own channels. So guys, for behind the scenes, man, I'll say the studio, say the studio as well. And when we try, we'll check out the vlog channel. We're doing one stream at least a week now uh, with girls or celebrities on this channel as well. So check it out. What about you, Chris? Guys, shout out to Merce Gang, by the way. Lit uh, pre-stream with the girls. Uh, you guys showed up strong. Merce Gang, we out here. Uh, follow me on Aaron Poxon on my Twitch. I will be doing a pre-show uh, stream, um, you know, for a game, of course, and a post-show. So guys, tune in on that. And guys, follow my YouTube channel, ACP Gaming. Link in the chat. And ladies, if you want to come up to our show, make sure you send me a DM and make sure you have photos on your page for, again, you girls are trying my patience. Have photos on your page and make sure if you have a page, it's not private because if you want to come out to our podcast, I need to see photos. Okay. So, and let's make it happen. All right. Fair enough. So check us out. <laughs> check uh, Chris out there. And also guys, I got another YouTube channel. It's called Fed It. Uh, that channel is completely different. What I do is, as you guys know, I used to work in law enforcement at the federal level. I break down criminal cases. I did the old block case. I did um, Casanova, Pusheisty, 
I did the um, K flock case. So I break it down. I read, actually read the court documents with you guys. And I kind of give you a perspective on what the investigator is thinking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I also broke down the YNW Melly case. So I think he's going to probably get the death penalty. He's actually going to fight it, which is, I think, a terrible mistake. That's a whole other story. Check it out, guys. Fed it. The channel is growing exponentially. It's already at 25K subs. Yep. And I just made it about a month ago. So uh, check it out, man. If you guys like the crime drama, stuff like that, and see breakdowns, check it out, man. Nobody else on YouTube is doing that uh, from a law enforcement perspective, breaking down these uh, big cases. I'm going to do Hush Puppy this Sunday. And then after that, I'm working on the, on the Epstein, Epstein case right now. Shout out to Christina and uh, Aisha in the back. They're helping me with that one because that one's a more extensive case over the course of almost 20 goddamn years. So uh, when I do the Epstein case, it's probably going to be about two weeks, guys. I know you've been asking for that one, so I will do it. But uh, Hush Puppy will be this Sunday, the FBI case with a fraud. Hey, but anyway. Leave my cousin alone, man. <laughs> We're both oh, he's already done, bro. He's cooked. Nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, let's, okay. uh, let's introduce like the ladies. So ladies, give us... <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, your current dating status, and your highest level of uh, education. We'll start right here. And your body count. That was Chris. <laughs> that was Chris. <laughs> that was Chris. <laughs> that was Chris. Uh, my name is Christina. Um, I'm 30. Um, oh, 30? Uh, oh, yeah. 30? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a social media marketist and um I am not single. Okay. Yeah. And then your highest level of uh, education? Um, I have a bachelor's degree in business management. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. cool. So boyfriend, husband, married. Boyfriend. Okay, cool. Yeah. How long y'all been together? Uh about six years, I wanna say. God damn. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey Maria, come on, man. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's <laughs> up? My name's Midnight. Uh, born and raised in Miami. Wait, stop, 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 wait, wait, stop, wait, 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 stop, wait. Stop, stop. Chill, chill, chill. It's too easy. Yeah, we only give it a chat. Not the it's name, easy. not the name. And that, that's not your government, right? It's not my government. Okay, okay. Oh, all right, all right. No, and they call me Fuck darkness too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this yeah. has nothing to do with the skin, though. Has nothing to do with the skin. Was absent the whole time. Fresh friends with joke, man. Tomatoes. Right. Joke for us. <laughs> no, 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 Chris. You're about to get canceled. Yeah, no way, yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, so I'm 24 years old, born and raised in Miami, Florida. Um, I got a GED. Um, not in Florida though, but yeah. Um, and what I do for a living, I have a small business that I'm running myself. Okay. What kind what of kind business? of business? Yeah. Um, it's kind. Of, I'm spread out. Uh, very thin, but mostly I do import and export of Haitian goods. Okay. Shout out to my Zos. Yeah. Shout out to all the Haitians in here. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, I, 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 obviously you're applying by customs regulations, I'm hoping, right? Not getting in trouble? <laughs> no, that duty? Nothing, nothing illegal, nothing <laughs> all right, illegal. Good, 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 good. All right, and all right. That, uh, dating status? Um, I'm unfortunately single. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you said you're you're only 20? Uh, 24. 24? Okay. All right, cool. cool. Welcome. Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, my name is Lola. Hey y'all! Hey. <laughs> hey. right. I knew it. All right, people call me Lola. My real name is Ama Lola. Um, I am 22 years old. What I do for a living? I'm a traffic reporter for iHeartMedia. And oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Right, I had to talk my, you know. Cool. <laughs> um, and right now I have a bachelor's, but I'm in my master's degree. Um, Ooh. so 2024, you know, yeah. Right. Oh, and I'm single. Y'all want to mingle. All right. Awesome. <laughs> right. There you go. What's up? And y'all could come close to the table, man, if you guys, that way you don't have to get close, man. Right. I didn't want to. Yeah, dude, go ahead. Yeah. Just get in there. Yeah, yeah. So you guys can be close to Mike. Go ahead. My name's Natalie Banks. I'm from Texas. And I am a realtor by day, rapper by night. Oh, shit. Wait, rapper? I'm rapper sorry. by night. Okay. And I am 31. Let's wait, see. wait. How old? 31. Okay. <laughs> y'all not going to do me like that. <laughs> And then what was the other thing? And then uh, education? Uh, high school. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, and then and single, right? Single. All right. Cool. Hold on. Can we get? Can we hear like a bar? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did All right. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's go, hear it. Uh, all right. Let's sell the Texas. If it's trash, though, we gonna roast you. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm on your ass. <laughs> Let's get it. Papi had dough like Pablo. Me, my is more in Malo. They had me while in the States, but I'm looking like Cuban models. I'm usually cool in the grotto, sipping wine, eating gelato. But tonight I'm feeling lit as fuck and want to pop some bottles. Hey. More bands and dancing chicks. My body suits immaculate. Chanel Prada, Balenciaga, Tater, so my ass can fit. Ooh. Red bottoms, bloody murder. Kill them slow. I master this. I master bitch. Okay. Hey. 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 Hey.
All right, I guess not. Okay, I'm not done. Murder, murder. Yeah, oh, well, that was a waste of time. I got excited. I got the gun and everything. I, like, I, I have one look. He already had cock it back, cock it back. Like, yeah. right, what about you? Hi, my name is Joanna. Joanna James, I like the song. Jo- oh, Joanna. Joanna. Jo- 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 Joanna. I could be in the studio as well. Yeah, right. yeah I was supposed to be here too, but it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. Okay. Um, I'm 23. I just graduated from FAU with my bachelor's in health administ- health sciences and a minor in health administration. Nice. But I also am a model slash influencer mm. slash makeup artist as well. You know, multiple Ooh, insources. Is how you get Income is how you get to the bag, period. Period. And um, I'm single, you know, until I meet the right one. But I'm also loyal, so there you go. <laughs> Valentine's Day coming up. If anyone want to spoil me, I'll get my cash out. Oh, shit. Instagram Joanna dot James Cash App Jojo Jame. Cash App. There you go. Welcome. I gotta tell you. Bro. What about you? Hey, what's up? I'm back. Um, my name's Lauren Turner. All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Welcome, you know my stuff. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> the Lauren Turner on Instagram. The Lauren Turner on Twitch. Um, I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm not that great at games, but I look good while doing it. Uh, she admits it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We're honest here. Uh, just turned 25. Uh, oh, uh, sorry to hear that. I know, right? And we're getting closer, but um, oh, what's it called? You're saying how you suck at video games. Yeah, the, I suck at video games. Education? Oh, oh, do we care about that? Okay, so I have two bachelors. Nice. Period. Business management, marketing, honors. Don't really no, we, we, we like to uh, we ask it yeah. now because for some weird reason, everyone thinks, oh, all you guys do is bring out stupid bimbos. Ah, da, 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 da. And I'm just like, bro, no, we bring on girls from different types of backgrounds, man. Right. It's yeah. just that they think that for some weird reason, a lot of you guys are dumb. So we just want them to know that you guys aren't all dumb. There you go. That's well, why. Two degrees and now I stream on Twitch. So they're fantastic. And, and I'm in the streets fighting, uh, still single. All right. <laughs> in the streets <laughs> fighting. <laughs> so I'm still in the streets fighting. So you can show on. Conductor. Oh, well, so, so wait, hold on. Uh, what, uh, what are the two bachelor's degrees in, by the way? Uh, business, business management and marketing. Mark. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. All right. Welcome back. <clears throat> Hopefully next time you have somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's like I don't know. So yeah. come on, yeah. she's talking to somebody. Come somebody to come on, single. I'm honest. Yeah, no, no, yeah. we like it. We yeah. like it. Yeah, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. What are we, <clears throat> Miss Tobago? Welcome back. Hi, everybody. Good night. Oh shit, she's um... here. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. Hi, um, my name is Kelsey. I am from Trinidad and Tobago. That's for the accent. One time, I am 27 years of age. My highest level of education is high school, but I did cosmetology. Um, right. Trade school. and Dating status? Oh, I am single as a Pringle. Right. <laughs> as usual? As usual. Pringles, oh, yeah. Pringles come in stacks. Oh, you're yeah, single. Right. I know, but when you take out one, you just have one on your hand. Right? Listen, all you're single, but you want doubles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you? Um, my name is Jayla. I'm 23. I just graduated from University of Maryland College Park this past year. Um, I have my bachelor's in economics yeah. and I am a marketing communications consultant and I am single. Wow. All right. And I enjoy it. So there you, go. You, you said you went to the the, the, the cap. You went to the main <laughs> campus, the, the main campus uh, yes. at University Park. Okay. Yeah. Right. The, yes, the real one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you were drinking every weekend. All right, cool, fantastic. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Anytime. You, oh yeah, I went to the main co- campus. You know what that means, bro. <laughs> okay. Like fantastic. Jean, what does it say? Oh, JB. These are my initials. Okay. That's were you a part of a sorority while you were in college? No. Okay. Did any type of Social oh, you, situation? You want me to athlete? Or I can something? do the resume right now. I mean, you don't have to go down no. the resume, but like, were you a part of any type of social? Yeah, group so I was vice president of the club volleyball program, with okay. our national Ooh. team. Um, okay. I worked for our division of IT, mm. and I was on the e board for Black Student Union for yes, a couple yes. of years. Yes. Right. She got accolades. Okay, cool. yeah. all right. That's why I was like, "Do you really want to?" Oh no, I just want, I mean, because Greek <laughs> life is pretty big there. That's why I was asking. Hey, my PhD. brother, yeah, yeah, my brother's a kappa. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah. oh he's a, Keep it capping. All right. Uh, what? I was trying. Tomatoes, tomatoes. All right. <laughs> Who said that? Right. <laughs> it was her. My name is Kai. I'm Haitian. I'm 24. I'm a 
what I do for a living, I'm an LPN, okay. muscle hair stylist and makeup artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I love hustling on the side. Right. <laughs> Why are right. you looking at me like that? <laughs> hustling has so many different uh, <laughs> meanings in, in Miami. So yeah. that's why. Is, is it, uh, is it, I'm assuming it's legal? Yeah. <laughs> a little razzle-dazzle. A little razzle-dazzle. Right. Right. So he scams and shit. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. We ain't saying that on, lit, on air. <laughs> no, we, we, we've had it on air already. <laughs> Yeah, that one girl came on and she was like, oh, so what do you do for a living? I scam. I do uh, PPP <laughs> scams and shit. And I was like, wait, what? She's like, yeah, I've been doing fraud. I hope you pressed the cat button. I was there. Oh, yeah, we were there yeah. for that show. Bro, that shit had me dead. I was like, all right, well, tomorrow's going to be. FBI, open up. And, <laughs> and if you've noticed, she hasn't been back since. <laughs> <laughs> she came one time. And yeah, that, yeah, she, she was uh, surprisingly a lot more quiet. But yeah, um, they called Tori, you know. Yeah, I haven't seen her since. Uh, Fresh, where's she at, bro? She's still good. They got her there, though. <laughs> you know, bro. Uh, you know, bro. Know yeah, okay. That was your cousin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What the fuck is that? <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, single. Single for you. Are, are you single? <laughs> 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 complicated <Intricate>. complicated <laughs> entanglement <laughs> okay who's next yeah are you like single or what? <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're single what, 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 yeah what's your status <laughs> cash app single, for the answer <laughs> I think she's single trying to single sugar daddy complicated oh, complicated yeah, she don't want to say it's complicated all right, mm -hmm. right. I know they got that <laughs> I, 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 okay, guys, I, I got y'all. Translation in the womanese. Basically, I'm casually having sex with a guy right now, but he hasn't proven himself to be the potential boyfriend and or he hasn't no. committed to me yet. So I'm still feeling <laughs> him trying to leave him? and don't want to uh, embarrass him. Oh, my him. God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh oh Thank you. Okay. Um, cool. What about um, you? I'm Melanie. I'm 23. I do hair. I didn't go to college. wasn't my thing. Okay. Uh, I'm single. All right. I think that's all the questions. Uh, oh. And, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, she does. So yeah, she said everything. Age, I'm 23. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's so 23. Yeah, she okay. said it all. All right, and cool. You, Welcome. Body count, no? Okay. <laughs> that's right. That was fair. <laughs> all right. Super chats. I'll read these real quick. And, yeah, we already got 4,000 y'all in here. Do me a quick favor and like the goddamn like video, the video right now, guys. Uh, all right. So, uh, King Kareem, two bucks. I'm feeling some Texas vibes tonight. Right? Hey. Uh, hey. Come on, man. Five bucks all the way from uh, Great Britain. Uh, and then we got Agent Fit, five bucks. Oh, shit. I didn't know Fresh was going to bring his twin on the show. <laughs> LOL. Both him and her, the same shade. Goddamn. <laughs> Happy late birthday, Piccolo. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Sambo from Sudan. Let's keep it halal tonight, ladies, or else. Shout out to F and F. Oh, did Trini even bring you roti? Hit me with a haram. Hold on. You should bring us some roti and some doubles, man. What's going on? <laughs> Alias, step in. <laughs> did you bring it or no? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, terrible. Man, terrible guest. I could, I could cook, though. Uh, we need it tonight, though. <laughs> yeah, but you guys can see me. You should have brought it out of respect. <laughs> well, who do you cook for, then, right now? Me, uh, myself, and I. That's it? Yeah. Uh, Three man. people. Who else do I cook for? You don't cook for no guys? I love no, the I don't. No. Oh, you don't have to do that. You should have no man, you I know. I do not. No man. I do Fair not enough. have no well, man. Well, I'll see why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. XXAQ, two bucks. The amount of BBLs in the room costs a house. <laughs> Who yeah, that's crazy. Have a I don't think so, bro. Yeah. Nobody here has a BBL. Nobody here has a BBL. Yeah. 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 I saw the thumbnail and assumed. If they're trying to pay for one, okay. Uh, yeah, right right right, 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 right. Reclaim your throne. Hashtag reclaim your throne. Keep the value coming. G, I'll be in Miami early March. Let's work. Yeah, hit us up, man. Uh, Michael Mitrok, number one podcast in the world. That's a fucking fact. Hey, Michael, yep. Michael. Yeah, we are the number one men's podcast in the world. Nobody even comes close. Bill Cosby. Did you ever get what the fragrance was? One thing just as important is ambiance. I like to light up my ashtray, then play R. Kelly. And when I say R. Kelly, I mean the court case audio, so she knows I'm crazy. Oh, Always works. What? Oh, nah. Wow, very random. <laughs> right. no. Prison. Prison. No. Prison. Got him, boys. Prison. Yeah, that was. Right. Uh, His name is Bill Cosby. What do you right. expect? Um, yeah. I warned you, ladies, we got the trolls in the chat. No, I'm so dead. Awesome. Shout out to you, Bill Cosby. The richest um, trolls. All right. And we got uh, Andy. Andy says ten bucks. Upon further consideration, the chat has upgraded roast beef vibes to roach vibes. <laughs> wives, let's go. Okay. And then we got uh, hey F and F. You should add Clown World to F and F merch. Uh, we might, bro. Uh, Leaf. Shout out to the F and F crew. Question for the ladies. Ladies, in your humble opinion, do women need a three hundred four phase before she could take a man seriously? And that's a really good question. Let's go around the table on that one. We'll start 
right here. So they want to know, in a nutshell, do women need a whole face to really love their man the way how they should? I will start right here. Okay. In your opinion. I feel like yes. I mean, I'm like, if a man hasn't got, gone through a whole phase, it's going to go through with me. So Men I'd rather you love it. No, no, no. It's <laughs> for women. Think, it's for women. Do you think you need a whole face to really love your man? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Should. I feel like, March. yeah. Okay. So, you, okay. All right. What about no. You? No? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to say that you need a whole phase. I would prefer to say you need a single phase because what you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but be for real because you can be single and that doesn't mean you're out here acting crazy, you know, sleeping around with people. You need alone time. Like you need time. Stop to the cow. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. <laughs> uh, but okay. Would, right. would it be fair to say, okay, I, I get what you're saying. Like not necessarily sex. Right, you could, but you can be single and love life. Wouldn't it be fair enough to say that participating in whole life behavior, maybe dressing a certain way, going to certain situations, putting yourself in certain situations, etc., would be considered still conducting whole phase activities? Mm-hmm. Or are you ta- are you stopping the line at oh well I didn't fuck so it doesn't count? Um, one I don't really call women hoes. Period. Right, that's not really part of my thing. Okay. So- you can dress how you want. That's not going to fit in a hoe face for me because okay. your yeah, clothes don't define that for me. Okay. Um, when you're single, I don't really think you can be a hoe because you're not committed to anybody and you can do as you please with no commitments. So you're not really doing any wrong, right? Because you can be sexually liberal. That doesn't make you a bad person. Mm. So I'm just not a fan of the word hoe, period. You see what I'm saying? I get you saying hundred percent. Ho has a connotation to it. I like the word single because that's what the actual state of that person's relationship However, status is. Perception is reality. So if I see a girl with multiple dudes, what am I going to think? Well, Does she have what, friends. What are you going to think? Right? <laughs> the obvious is that she might be a hoe. But that's obvious to who you. The whole world. Remember, it's perception. If I see with multiple guys and well. You know, I, I do have a question now because mm-hmm. if it's perception, then how do you speak for everybody else in the world if you're only looking through your own eyes? Right. Well, mm-hmm. just so you know, our show has guys all over the world mm-hmm. and we talk to women every single night. Right. So mm-hmm. anybody with, uh, I want to say, open eye will be like, okay, why is she with different guys every night? It's, the, it's saying to, to us, so basically, like, okay, she's single, but this is tending, leaning towards whole vibes, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, simply put, the question is, uh, do you think a woman needs to go through a whole phase to be able to love her man or get, get in a serious relationship? So your answer is no, they do not. No. Okay. okay. But you're using the term hoe as in like, she's actually actively having sex. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Like, do I think you need a single phase? Yes. Do okay. I think you need a quote unquote hoe phase where you're sleeping around dealing with other men to reach that state where you can be in a relationship? No, because okay. not everybody operates. So you don't like believe that. you actually so have no. to have so no. uh, sexual intercourse. Right. We, uh, on this, and we could have a deeper discussion on this later on in the show, but me and Fresh pretty much, and, and I would say most guys, the general consensus would be if you participate in activities that would be considered ho activities, guys are still going to put you in that same box regardless of whether you're actually having sex with the men or not, <clears throat> which unfortunately, you know, perception is reality. So if you're, if it look, you know, what do they say? If it sounds like a duck, looks like a duck, etc. it probably is a duck. Well, if you're doing certain activities, guys are going to assume that you partake in certain set activities. And, you know, I mean, it might be unfair because, oh my God, we're writing her off as a hoe, even though she might not necessarily be having sexual intercourse, but guys are going to have a certain point of contention with that is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So and they um, won't tell you. They'll just like, yeah, they just want, yeah. And keep right, you guys right, like, right. yeah. Anyhow. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get, we, yeah. we'll probably we'll, touch on that. We'll so you're, say, so you're saying no. All right, cool. What about, uh, what about you? It's you, Tobago. Do they need to go through a whole phase to be able to take it, be taken seriously or take a guy seriously? Um, I would, I would say no. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, no, I just base it off my parents' marriage. A great example. They actually said they should come on the show. 30 plus years. They oh shit. Really? Let's yeah. do it. Okay. And my um, mother had only been with my father. Oh, so. okay. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah, tight, cool. it, girl. Well, there's a lot of, uh, there's data ah. out there that shows, um, <laughs> Not me. There, there's, there's some data out there that actually shows that, you know, women <clears throat> with lower sexual partners have a higher likelihood of staying married. And not getting divorced. Whereas, like women that have higher sexual partners actually have a way higher likelihood of getting divorced. So, interesting stuff. Interesting. Cool. <clears throat> what about you? Well, I feel like when. Merch. <laughs> <laughs> I think, or. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. I know. Nice. I know. Good I know talk. that when you know the, the right person, you know when the right person is the right person. 
So I feel like oh. merch. <laughs> No, my so Christmas is like a we have a T-shirt that says "I feel like." Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's great advertising. Right. Go ahead, continue. Well, you ain't finna hear me say that no more. <laughs> say less. <laughs> that, that's what. Let's see. But that's gonna be hard. When yeah, now I gotta really think about what the hell I'm saying. But when yeah. I feel like oh, wow. <laughs> you don't have to have you, you don't have to have one, one. Baby. No, no, say, no yeah. paid no advertising around here. It's paid only. I but. When you're with somebody, you know when they're the right person at the end of the day. But to know that they're the right person, you have to know what you like. You have to know yourself. You have to really see yourself from that perspective. So you know how you should be loved. You know, you should know how someone else is able to love you. You can't accept no half love. If you know how you like it cooked, that's how I want my plate served. Ooh, Ain't nothing yes, less. I like that. Right. That's good. So I'm, I'm assuming yes. No. So No. no. <laughs> So See, how would you, how would you know what you like if you've never been through anything? Same thing as a guy. I mean, you don't have to experience a whole phase to know that this is what you like. You just experience life. You That's don't have to be gay life. to know you don't want a penis in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, she is right. <laughs> that is kind of right, though. She is okay, the right okay, word. Good job. Miss Banks? I do think you need a whole phase because I was in a five-year relationship with one person, six-year relationship with one person. And then when I got out of that, I went through my whole phase. Oh, shit. And okay. then that's when I figured out, like, what I want, what I don't want. Mm -hmm. And then so got Asian, out of that. Black. So when you say whole phase, are you using <laughs> our definition of just d ho, doing ho, ho. ho activities of, like, you know, going to clubs, et cetera, dressing scantily, advertising yourself out to a lot of guys? Like, or are we talking about actual intercourse here? Like, actually having sex with, uh, okay. like, right. multiple guys. All right. Fair enough. Cool. <laughs> At a one time? Shit, I wish. I'm okay. still looking for the threesome. So oh, oh, shit, she ready. All right. They call me. She ready for that. <laughs> Show the Texas. BBC, Fair enough. we are here, man. All right. I like it. Um, okay. So I mean, you think it is it is neat. Okay, it is neat. It All is right. Needed. What about you? I think that it's it's not needed, but I think sometimes it's healthy for certain individuals to piggyback off of them. Like some people need to go through that in order to know that that's not what they want. If that makes sense. It's not for everybody. It is for certain people. But I do feel like it's healthy in certain people's lives to go through a whole phase. It, it's not for everyone. It's Now, a, we're speaking specifically yeah. about women, though. Do you think for women it's the best? <clears throat> I can't. Action? No, not for everyone. Okay. Even with women in, in themselves. Like, it's not for every woman. But okay. some women do need it okay. in order to differentiate, like, this is not what I want in the future. This is not what I want now. Would you say it's, it's detrimental to, to most? Or would you say... Mm, I feel like it's detrimental to most only because of societal okay. views, though. Because okay. I feel like if March. society... <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I know that society's viewpoints on women are are mostly negative. So the fact that some of these women need to go through this phase and they're still... I mean, regardless of the fact, to me, men are going to think that certain women are just hoes. At, at, at the end of the day, everyone's viewpoint of what whole activity is completely different. But I do think because of society and how they have negative viewpoints on women in general, it's detrimental to women, even if it's something that they need, something that's healthy for them to go through, unfortunately. I, I would argue that, it, it, yeah, society does slut shame women, but I would argue it's mostly women that slut shame each other, not men. Absolutely. For sure. But it's, I feel like. Because March. if a man, if a man, <laughs> slut, shames, it, if a man slut shames a woman, he's going to get canceled. You know what right. I'm saying? Well, I think it's women that it slut shame the most. It depends on the man. Right. I'll spin it back to you. I know you want to say something. Uh, f finish your point and then I'll we'll throw it to her. Oh, I, I mean, I feel like... Merch. I, ooh, ooh, merch. Jesus. You know, I should just buy the merch at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Um, I just wanted to say that um, I, I know and I think that the reason why a lot of women also um, unconsciously, I feel like sometimes unconsciously, um, look at women or slut shame women is because of the pressure that society already, they're already trying to assimilate to whatever's going on in the world. They're trying to fit in. So if they're used to seeing men slut shame a woman, they're going to be the first person to do it. So they're also not slut shamed or mm -hmm. on top of that in order to, to not be yeah targeted in my opinion. That's mm -hmm. okay. some people. I respectfully disagree. I think the okay. reason why women slut shame is because women know intrinsically that their past matters a lot to their market value for a marriage perspective oh so okay. the best way a woman can put you down is by calling you a slut think about right. it 
when girls are hating on each other, what's the number one insult they say? Bitch. Oh, that bitch, is, oh. that bitch is that slut. That bitch is a dick for money. Right. So that's, Sucker. Yeah, yeah you're right. So, you that's the pennies. number Exactly. So, like, the first thing women do when they insult other women is they immediately attack her for her for her right. sexual past or indiscrimination, which right. is kind of funny because that woman will sit there and say, hey, be, be liberal. Do you, girl? Right. But if she doesn't like her, she's going to use that against Def her yeah. and say you're a fucking hoe. I, so uh, I agree. I think it's women that actually slut shame each other the most because. OK, I know this is going to be a little bit controversial, but men can't really speak their minds when it comes to female sexuality. I agree. Like, like right. that's why this podcast is very popular, because we kind of say what men think, but they would never, ever say in public because right. they would get canceled. Right. So it's really women that say these things because, you know, a woman could really get away with saying anything as far as like, you know, she she's not going to be held Speaking to the same standard woman. if she says something controversial than as right. a man, because a woman can go ahead and repress another woman's sexuality and say, bitch, you a hoe. Right. But if a dude says. Yo, you're a fucking hoe. There's probably going to be some backlash. <laughs> for, sure, for sure. So, did you have something? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, to, piggyback, to piggyback off of what she was saying, I feel like... Mm -hmm. oh, Merch. I don't got to say. <laughs> when women, <laughs> right, I already caught right. myself, but it was too late. But you know. Yep. Right, I know. When women see each other, I, honestly, I don't know who y'all hanging around with. I'm not going to be like, oh, that slut over there, da, da, da. I'm going I'm to be like, okay, she has her Speak own... Speak to Mike. I'm going to be like, she has her own thing going on. It might not be my lifestyle, but I still respect what she got going on. So you're part of like the 50, like the 15 percent of women right. that do that. Right. You know what I mean? I mean? That's why I said like, I can't relate to what they got, got going on. Well, if you don't have an issue with her, yeah, you won't say right. nothing. But what I'm saying is like, let's say she says she gives you a dirty look at the club, but you know she's for the streets. <laughs> right. Let's no. be honest. You're like, that bitch, a dirty slut. And you're going to make sure you tell everybody in the section, all the dudes, don't no, fuck with her. She a hoe. Yeah, that's lame, lame stuff. Shit. I wouldn't do nothing no. like that. Bro, 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 no, bro. y'all say that. I might think it. That, I might we don't be sabotaging. Yeah. If she fucked your man, what you going to do? Okay, see, that's that's what she's she telling you. Home. I you jumping bro. bridges. <laughs> right. That's 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 one Maybe my man did want to fuck her, so I can't be mad at her. Come on, bro. Right. Because women always get mad at the woman when they get give responsibility yeah to the man. i mean i'm still like, gonna be mad at both of them i don't care, <laughs> yeah, yeah, care. you trying to give only one blame to one person situation yeah. Yeah. she don't owe you no she loyalty knows. she does she not knows. owe you no loyalty right. and that's where women get messed up consequences you want to mess with somebody no you don't think um, i'm gonna jump you but half the time they, half the time they don't <laughs> wow. even know that they got a man see look wow. you can't blame them one mic one mic one mic uh did you finish your point Right. But I was also going to say when right. I see a woman like I feel like, you know, since we're women, we kind of relate to each other on that aspect. Same mm -hmm. same thing. If I see a black person, I'm going to be like, yo, my N word. What's up? <laughs> but like if a white guy sees it, uh, like they're not going to be like, oh, yo, because they can't relate. You know, right. yeah. I feel like women can only relate to our struggles. We can like we can really, you know, on that level, we're able to relate to each other. But I of feel course. Like at the, at the same time, men but, can't. But this is assuming there's peace between them. I'm simply right, saying okay. that mm -hmm, when there's right. confrontation between women, right. the first attack is typically her right. sexual past, followed by her looks, followed by whatever else. But those are typically the two main attacking points when women insult each other. Right. Whereas like with men, it's not you gonna be like, motherfucker, you a hoe. No, you're gonna attack them for what <laughs> men bring to the table. Right. You, you a broken bum. You bum. You're not ashamed for dusty, being hoe at all. So, so right. women attack right. each other. Women typically tend to attack each other on each other's past. Men tend to attack each other on their future or inability to create one. So that's what I've come to realize. So like the slut shaming, most of it comes from women in society because men can't speak up about these things. Uh, what about you? Do you think a girl needs to go through a slut, a, a slut phase to uh, be able to love a guy or get in a serious relationship? Um, they talked about Jesus. Uh, you need to have some experience in order for you to know what you want. And in order for you to know what you want, you need to have some experience. So, yeah, I def I'm def i definitely for women going through a quote unquote whole phase. Now, for me, a whole phase doesn't necessarily mean just having um, sexual intercourse with random people. It's just having entanglements with people, talking to people on different <laughs> aspects, <laughs> different <laughs> levels, you know, Jada. you know, for real, that that's all it is. You got to know you got to get to know people to know what you want or whatever you can't just think you're going to meet somebody in middle school and you know think this is the person you're going to be with because through time people change and feelings change too so we're going to quote drake on that okay <laughs> so so you you, th you think um similar to her her uh, her uh, idea is that uh they need to go through the phase of talking to men Get maybe yeah, being courted with them, yeah. but not actually having sex. Yeah, so I go mean, almost it's, all the it's, way there. Cock -tease no, them. not even that. Yeah. It's not even cock teasing. If it get there, it get there. Like she said, if you know, you know what you like. So if you in a setting and you know sex is 
what you feeling and he feeling it too then go ahead and go for it or whatever don't feel don't let don't let society be your conscience don't be like oh well if i have sex with him but, but they're the gonna say is, i'm a slut the question is do you think that will hurt her ability to build a long-term relationship that's the question no i don't think so you don't at think all. so okay she's no. saying if he falls on the dick it just happened it's a banana um, so I, I mean, normally when it comes to this, I normally have a super unpopular opinion about this, but right. yes, absolutely. I do think that women need to be able to go through that phase. Um, I mean, when it comes to sex, I mean, let's be a hundred percent honest here. Like sometimes women are in relationships for a long time and the sex is not great. So how would you know what you need in that mm-hmm. aspect of your relationship if you haven't done it yet? That's it's, it's also important. A lot of people don't want to think it's important, but that is important in a relationship on a man and a female side. I don't care what people say, but that's um, all for masturbation. And, 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 and not only that, I mean, like, uh, yeah, you also need to know what you want out of a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, how do you want a man to treat you? That's why you go through a talking phase. It doesn't work. And then you just move forward, whatever the case may be. But yes, you need to know. I mean, even if you were in a relationship for a year and then you break up, have some time to yourself to figure it out. You know, first, what's your take on this? Honestly speaking, man, um, at some point, if a woman has never had the option to experience men, she doesn't know what's out there per se. And it could be good and bad because let's say she doesn't have the opportunity. She finds a guy that's actually worth it. She -hmm. may not know that he's actually a great guy for her. And she may say, you know what? Well, grass might be green on the other side. Let me go see what's, what's out there. Versus if she had the experience, she may say, okay, you know what? I know what I want now. Now, is it a good thing? Maybe not because if you do these activities... You might be seen as a hoe to, to some people. Mm-hmm. But let's say you never had that experience and you find one guy, you may not also as well know if he's the right guy for you. So mm-hmm. it's a double-edged sword here between uh, having that experience or not. But I would just say personally, from what I've seen, the ones that have, that have, uh, have had less um, uh, experience, experience with, with men tend to stay longer with uh, their partner versus the ones that haven't. So. That's my um, my take on it. Yeah, can, because can they I know what's out here. Right. Well, can I can I can I piggyback off that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, please go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, normally that's that's because they don't know what what it's like. High school sweethearts, like I've seen all too often. High school sweethearts, they'll be together for like years and years. They'll get married. Like you know, my cousin, they were together for eighteen years, had two kids. That didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? They ended up doing whatever they wanted to do because, in reality, they see the grass is greener I mean, potentially on the or, other or, side or, or, they look the is. both of them no the both of them mm, you know, know what i'm saying so um what ends up happening is that like you you might i mean you never know there's people that i've seen that have been together forever and ever and ever and they've never really had any other sexual partners but there's also been people where i see they're just like okay wait a second like i don't know if this is for me like do i really want this is this something you know, like maybe the relationship isn't working out or maybe it's dying out or maybe you just figure out like, OK, well, I see some other things going on. I want to try that, too. And, you know, and, and mainly that's a female actually <laughs> putting out. There. Absolutely. Yeah, no, you're more, absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I'm thick. And as far as absolutely is, but I'm going to oh, say no. it's like it's always the grass is always green on the other side. So. Right. What, what we're saying is what I'm saying is it's like some kind of, you, have, you have to be satisfied on what you have. So if you keep going, you know, out there. Before you know, you're 30 years single and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Right. Cool. Uh, so took some notes on this. I mean, all you guys brought up some pretty good points and valid points. Personally, I think uh, a girl doesn't need a, a whole phase. And when I say whole phase, I'm talking about, you know, um, actually like the intercourse, etc. cetera. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. es- especially if she meets the right guy. You know what I'm saying? The best guy that she can get in the beginning because... <sighs> All right, I know I'm going to get hit with the fucking... How dare you? But I'm just going to say it anyway. <laughs> the more sexual partners a woman has, typically, the more it's going to hurt her ability to lock down a guy of her dreams in the future. I've always said men care about a woman's past. Women care about a man's future. That's just the reality. If you want a man with a future, he's going to want to make sure that you don't have a past necessarily. And that's not to not... I'm not saying that girls that have a promiscuous past can't find a guy that, you know, that they like and admire and respect... It's just that it's going to significantly lower their ability to do so because guys of a certain caliber, like the dream guy that you want, he's going to have standards most of the time. Um, and these guys are highly contested and sought after. Let's be honest. Like a guy that's six foot tall, $100,000 plus a year, attractive, confident, in shape, et cetera. This is one per- less than 1% of the U.S. population, by the way, ladies, for a guy to meet all these metrics. I know you guys might think, I run into those guys all the time at clubs and bars and uh, parties or whatever. But the reality is they're actually a very small fraction of the U.S. population. We have a, actually have a calculator that illustrates that. So when you're trying to chase this kind of guy, you're going to have to nece- you're going to have to basically acquiesce 
to his belief system. And when it comes to a relationship versus just sex, men have different standards. Just like you have a guy that might be in the friend zone, and then another guy that you deal with sexually, the guy that's in the friend zone is going to have to go through a lot more hoops, right? To potentially get a serious date or you take him sex sexually seriously. Same thing with men. A girl <clears throat> that's just going to be used for sex, she's going to have to go through a lot more hoops, right? To potentially get a relationship. Whereas a girl that comes, how do I say, to hate to say this, pre-assembled, isn't going to have to go through the same situations. So, so that's the first thing I was going to say. And then the other thing I was going to say is that there's a biological reason why men care so much about a girl's past. And there's a reason why, you know, virgin brides and a woman walking down an aisle in a white dress is such a big thing. It's because you're able to ensure paternity, right? From a biological perspective. Like I can, I know if I have sex with this girl, it's my kid. Cause remember we didn't, we just got these modern conveniences of birth control, et cetera, mm -hmm. and paternity tests recently. But since the beginning of time, guys weren't able to really know if the kid was theirs unless the woman was a virgin. So that's like the biological reason why men care so much about a woman's past. And then lastly, um, so you guys mentioned whole phase with it without necessarily having sexual intercourse, but like exploiting yourself kind of. And not, when I say exploiting yourself, I mean, as in, you know, going out to the club, be, you know, showing off some skin, et cetera. I know some women don't like me using that term, but you are sexually exploiting yourself. That it is what it is. When you wear a revealing dress, or you show your boobs, whatever. That's what you are doing. You're basically putting yourself out there in the market, which is fa fine. Fantastic. But let's keep it a thousand. If you're an attractive girl, you're basically a Ferrari. And when you go to the <laughs> nightclub, what are you doing? You're advertising a Ferrari to a bunch of niggas in Section 8 housing. <laughs> they might be able to fucking maybe get the loan, scam their way in, make a payment here or there, but they're never going to be able to actually purchase the car and maintain it long term. And, mm -hmm. and if something, a bill comes up to, that they have to do maintenance, they definitely won't be able to afford it. So I don't have a problem with like, you know, girl, if you're a single girl, hot girl summer, whatever, do what you want to do. Just understand that you're not going to necessarily get a qualified buyer, right, when you advertise yourself a certain way and that's the yeah. that's the unfortunate reality you put sexy pictures out yeah. there that's what you're going to get back it's true so that's that's all i want, want to say out there as far as like you could do what you want but just understand that there are certain you can't have it all is what i'm trying to say you can't like get the man of your dreams and then come with a past he's going to have some issues with that you know what i'm saying he just the, the the thing is this men rarely talk about this stuff because if you say anything that represses female sexuality you're always going to get hit with like insecure, small dick energy, misogyny, blah, blah, blah. Misogyny. It's not, it's not, <laughs> or, or you're a sexist. It's not sexism. It's realism. This is just how men are. Just like you guys want a dude that's six <laughs> foot tall, makes money, attractive, etc. Men want a girl that meets certain requirements. And a lot of the time, their past matters when it comes to relationship. Yeah. So that's all I want to say. Anybody have anything Perfect. they want to add to that? Questions or are comments on that they're like fuck this nigga no. bro all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay uh okay cool so uh, Stop reading that was, my mind. what was that go, somebody has something no. <laughs> i don't know who yeah, said that i didn't say that i'm good oh okay um okay Drift, watch out like, for the chick in yellow shirt she's an agent i'm so dead <laughs> oh she's a plant she's a plant nah i don't yeah. think so bro no, cool. uh Calo. Keep up the great work, Myron, Fresh, Chris, and Mo. Thank Mo you. E. Thank you. Ten bucks, Christian Warsham. No ease on Mo. Uh, just showing some love. Y'all take it easy on Myron's follicles tonight. I, I, we're, we're, we're good. We're doing good right now. And, and just so y'all know, we love girls that are, have, are promiscuous. We don't care. I'm just being honest and letting y'all know I how men I bet you think. do. Huh? And, 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 please no, and, and please no ease on Mo. Yeah. Oh, uh, for the chat. Okay. Uh, Matt V. To 150. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, sorry, was it midnight or Mr. Popo? Oh, it my was God. midnight, sir. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> let me talk closer to the mic. Midnight. Hey, shout out to Myrina. She finessed me out dinner for her birthday yesterday, but I still love her. Hashtag loyal. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Shabazz Loki called midnight skin the, the color tar. Oh, my God. God Ferocity. Mm, Ladies, black. would you date a five foot three tatted good physique makes 160K a year? 24. This nigga, bro. Ask the question again. <laughs> yeah, yes, we go around the table. Yeah. Would you date a guy with those? Um... Five foot three, Stats. tatted, good physique, makes 160K a year and 24. Would you date him, yes or no? I mean, that depends on what else can you offer me because maybe I can offer all that shit no, to no. myself on the table. Like... Let's open this alone. I mean, God, God damn. damn. Open this alone. <laughs> yes or no? Yeah, no, no. Money, I honestly like young. when somebody throws throws himself at me like that. I'm just like, okay, bro. Like, what do you? I mean, what are you trying to finesse? Well, he's not me? throwing himself at you. He's yeah, basically saying, me. he's saying, these are my stats. The Would you give it a shot? Well, like you. That's a no. Okay. That's a. I mean, no, but it's not. But I, I want you to say. I want you to understand that the reason why it's a no. It's like, is that all you have to offer me? Yes. Like, I'm just. <laughs> he has money. He's a good. That's shape. the foundation. <laughs> but what if I could offer all that to myself already? Like, what? I, this is my table. What else can you bring to my table so besides tats, money, tattoos, and that you're five three? Like. 
okay. and that you're 24 this years old. Yes no question, man. Okay, no, yeah. absolutely not. Cool. Right. <laughs> she, like, well, hold on, hold on. she brought up a good point. No, no, she has a relationship. This is what this is why I tell y'all all the time. This is gonna sound terrible. I know I'm gonna get hit with the fucking <laughs> how dare you again. Yo, this is why you got how gotta have multiple girls, bro. Real talk. Because a woman that has a job is the same thing as a dude that has multiple girls. Because huh? what happens is, ooh, see, you're like, what the fuck? What's going on here? Because if you have multiple girls and you have multiple women that you can get sexual access from, women know that they can't leverage sex against you. Does that make sense? Right. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. if you know he has other chicks, you ain't going to be on the fuck shit. You ain't getting no pool tonight. All right. Get the fuck out the house. Turn into Leonidas. This is bunk. Kick her out your spot. And then you could get another girl. So she's going to be on her best behavior. Goes back to what you were saying. You offer these things. I don't give a fuck. I got a job. So a lot of the times women get careers and make money because they don't have to necessarily depend on a man. But the other side of that is they don't they also don't have to deal with men. They don't they don't necessarily want to deal with. Does that make sense? Because like mm -hmm. a woman that has a career is going to be far less tolerant of a guy that doesn't match certain things, if that makes sense. Because let's be honest, before women worked and entered the workforce, they don't tolerate a lot more mm -hmm. bullshit from men. Right. But nowadays, right. y'all make your own money. So it's like, okay, I don't have to. I want to, I don't have to do it. Yep. And on top of that, I want a man that makes more money than me and meets my physical requirements, meets my height requirements, my confidence, et cetera. So I would argue the comp the, the same thing for a man is having multiple women. It's just that if you have multiple women as a man, they're gonna look at you like, what the fuck? You're a womanizer. But if a woman has a career, it's like, oh, you go, girl. Yeah, fuck that. You ain't gotta tell yeah. me no bullshit. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I, I I think I think for me it's like it's not even like them to, to make even more money than me or any of that that crazy shit, but just you know, a lot of the times when when women like us who can bring our own stuff to the yeah. table, it's like, okay, what else can you offer me besides whatever I already provide for myself, right? Like, I don't depend off of you, no. You know what I'm saying? But you're, if, honestly, like his height requirement doesn't matter to me, right? Like <clears throat> how much he makes a year, that don't matter to me either. You know what I'm saying? So what else can Not you bring to the table? <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's real. Women feel that way. Right. Women like, feel that way. That's fine. Especially higher earning women feel that way. So, I mean, are you loyal? Like, do you I care mean, about family? Four. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, can you? Five, four. I mean, if, if a guy five, was five, four, I mean. I'm three. so <laughs> dead. <laughs> One inch matters, right? right? Really? Yeah. Like, so, five, four? So you're saying that height and money doesn't matter? No, I mean, my boyfriend is 5'5". Five, five. Hey, can you play the stop You know the what I'm saying? Right <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. My, my boyfriend is 5'5", five, 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 five. right? Um, He makes good money, but I still make more money than him. I mean, that's oh, not even, that's not even, no, but I'm serious. That That's not even to, you know, to say nothing about, you know, because he makes his own. He can make more money off the table if he really wanted to, but he's, you know what I'm saying? He's not doing single. his own thing. It is oh, what it is. She's not single. Okay. Right? You yeah, know? Yeah. yeah, no. Uh -uh. She got somebody. You All know right. what I'm saying? So that doesn't really yeah. matter to me. Have I dated guys that are like six, four, six, five? Absolutely. Have they been able to offer me anything else but whatever it is that they're offering me? Hard dick and bubble gum, probably not. Right. Probably okay. not. You know what I mean? So that's cool for temporary shit. But if we're if we're speaking long term, since women like to look at men in long term, like, okay, what else? I mean, Cool, we can have a mansion on Miami or live in the Panorama Tower, you know what I mean? But like, what else? Are you going to be fucking like multiple bitches at the same time? Because you got money like that or... That's what comes with territory though. Right, you know what I'm saying? So if... Some women are willing to accept it, some aren't. Right, and then, but then you have the women in that in the category that are making more money and they're just like, I don't yeah. give a fuck. You know, like if that's what you're going to do, then I can just, you know, yeah. go to the sex store and just it's buy amazing. my own shit. Yeah. It's right. amazing how like the, the more money a woman makes, the less tolerant she is of like sharing you, etc. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, interesting. All right, what about you? What about you? Five four hundred sixty k oh. per year, twenty four and chiseled. <laughs> yes or no? The only question, the the only thing I gotta say about that is I hate when guys bring up their money because are you gonna share? Are you gonna <laughs> are you are you gonna are you gonna yeah. share with me? Like how you making one hundred and sixty k a year, sixty k going into my pockets? Wait, like, wait. wait. <laughs> like why 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 are we bring why are we bringing it up like if you're well, not I hate when y'all wear tight dresses and we don't get no box that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I gotta get some but I'm like, saying I'm though I'm not know. I'm when I'm wearing my tight dress I'm walking to mind my business I'm not saying hey. Come over here. I got a tight dress on. I you mean... see this pussy? You see this ass? <laughs> like, you're, like, not, like, seriously, I'm guys sorry. have came up to me and like when I don't shoot them any play or I don't give them the attention that they're seeking for, they're like, you're you're about to lose out on a big fish. You don't know what you're missing out on. Mm. And I'm just like, OK, can you tell me what I'm about to miss out on so maybe I can feel away? So you wear those clothes for yourself? Oh yeah, I like to see my body. Like when me growing up, I grew up really skinny, so I never had a body. I never had ass. I was always ab um admiring other women. Like damn, mm. I wish I was more of a woman, cause you know 
everyone yes, sees a woman out. checking them out. I'm like, damn, when I'm gonna get some titties? You know, I'm 15 years old, I ain't got no titties yet. I'm 18, still ain't got no titties. God damn. So, so I mean, this, all this to say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, 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 the question for me, I, I can't say yes or no because are you gonna share? That's that's my question to that. So, yes or no? If you're gonna share, yes. If you're not, then no. <laughs> I'm still lost at the getting dressed for myself thing. Uh, I, close I, I, okay. I look in the mirror and I take a lot of pictures. So if you know, you know. If you don't, you broke. <laughs> Bro. <clears throat> okay. I, I, I think anytime a woman says I, I dress sexy for myself or I I do this and that for myself, that's cap, bro. Like it is cap. It's. Yeah, I put it on. Who, like who was in the dress? Who was in the dressing room? The fishing line. I don't think it's cap. Last though. time I checked, most chicks don't go to sleep with makeup and their designer <laughs> heels on and their and their uh, nice tight dress. But who dress. picked no. it out though? No, no, it's all right. As soon as y'all get home, you take that bra off immediately. Exactly. That shit is uncomfortable. Uh, all right. So what do you wear? Just, just wearing house only. My my my, t- my breasts aren't large, so you know, bra or no bra, um, my titties are sitting, and I like the way they look, bra or no bra. I like a fuller look on certain outfits, and sometimes I like my nipples to show because I just like the sex appeal that I bring with my body. I just like the way I look the and attention. how I'm shaped. <laughs> but you're, you're right, you're I mean, bringing I, it. I mean, yeah, some guys admire it, but I also get, you know, some women who, you know, they yeah. like what they see too, so. But you you, you date men, right? Um, I'm open. I'm an open book. Okay, cool. Oh. So both. Oh, so, yeah, so explains. <laughs> Super Saiyan Cap over here. How many caps you got? Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Yeah, what about you? Um, yes or no. 24, 160k per yep. year. Yes or no, please. He's five three. That's like that's like breastfeeding. Five, five three. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. Nope. Nope. All right. What about yeah. you? Hell no. He's too short. Right. Damn, bro. Okay. <laughs> nope. Y'all the same size though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should like them tall. Nobody wants right. to be the same size as a man. I want to be able to climb my man like a tree. Seriously. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm five foot ten. I don't know. Those short sure niggas be me. slanging now. Right. <laughs> When you lay down, it's a tree. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, you touched my chest. All right, uh, what about... Okay, okay so hard too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about, uh, what about you? So that's a no for you. What, what about you? Oh, no. Yeah, I know it's for you. That's I'm a no too. Nope. Dang. You'll figure out the money each part later, but if you're six right. and up, hit me All up. All right, amazing. Tobago. But he's right you? there at the box. Five foot four hundred sixty k per year, twenty four years old, chiseled. Tobago, Tobago. To be honest, I would not discriminate nope. against his height. Oh, okay. okay, because I've had a short boyfriend in the past. He so... asked this before when you were on the panel as yeah. well. Yeah. Yes. All right. I think he's just trying to get your attention. Shooter DM, bro. <laughs> right. And then uh, what about Miss uh, Marilyn? Um, it's gonna have to be a no between nope. the height and the age because I like guys a little bit older than me. Mm. Um, oh. like. Like late twenties. Okay. So I'm 23. 24 is a little too underdeveloped. So I'm not right. gonna <laughs> underdeveloped. I'm, I like Damn. to I like to say yeah. young <laughs> guys are emotionally underdeveloped. Yeah. So okay. Like, okay, I prefer That's that. That's fair. Um. Okay. Um. Skydall. And uh. Okay. And how tall are you, by the way? Just so I'm like so five get, eight. You're five eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just to give them perspective. All right. What about you? What about you? Um. If like midnight said, if he gave me some of that money, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the age. Piggyback. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. What yes, about you? Yes, if you're sharing. Oh. Uh, it's a no for me. No. No, no for me, dog. Nope. All right. That's uh, mostly no, man. Okay. What, what else do we got? Uh, okay, it said no. All right, okay, cool. and then from this point forward, Chris, if you're willing to share, DM me. All right, from this point, I'm gonna read these the rest of these guys. Then Jeez. from this point forward, we're gonna go 20 and up. Two bucks, government peanut butter. Here at Skippy, we're proud to sponsor Chris F and F. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Mentioned uh, uh, bringing Castillo on. Is that still on? Also, would y'all consider Step is Cold as well? He seems to be a big fan of y'all as well. TT, and that's from Shan- Shannon Walters. So Castillo's gonna be here um, this year. So when he's here in Miami, we'll do a show with him. He's a guy from um, from the UK. Show. Yeah, yeah, and then also uh, Steph is cold. Maybe in the future. Wink, wink. Okay. Shout out to FNF Gang. Shout out to Miss Lauren Turner as well. Baby thick, girl thick. And that's from Ultimate Instigator. Ten bucks. Thank you. you. Yep. King Life, five bucks. She looks straight up off a mad TV picture to down to the left of Lauren. Who's Lauren? Uh, left. Lauren's the white girl in the middle. <laughs> left is this way. Uh, I mean, from their um, But they're viewing. Oh. Uh, you confuse me. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Pill Cosby, five bucks. Uh, stick to wrapping presents for the grandkids. Okay. 31 with 31 Botox sessions. Oh, my God. These <laughs> That's big change. Wow. You got something you want to say back to him? 
What does he mean? Me? He's, yeah, he's talking about sexist. He said 31 with 31 hey, Botox that's sessions. So fun. I said we pull a little youngster. I'm oh. so dead. <laughs> there you go. Sugar mama in the house. Catch a <laughs> release. Cougar. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, do you have uh, sugar? What is what are they called? Sugar. Sugar, yeah. Uh, sugar sons? No. Sugar, sugar baby. Sugar, sugar, sugar baby. Sugar babies. It's always two sugar 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 babies. Sugar mamas. What? Yeah, yeah. You spending money might on be one of them. You trying to have a third yeah. one? Might be one. You give them money? Yeah. You trying to be a third one? <laughs> <laughs> I make the money. Yeah. yeah. So they give you what? Good dick. Good dick. dick. Okay, okay. Everything is bigger in Texas, why, I don't y'all. believe this. She is that female. You I actually t- you take care of dudes? No, I didn't say take care of. But you're giving them money, so right. what are you if doing? They need, if they need some money, they're young. You're taking I'll care of them. All right, well, oh. will you taking take them to the Jordan store to buy some kicks? Yeah. Okay. Taking care of what Wait, I just said. A one-time, a one-time thing. As many if times the as they need, she keep it going. Okay. As many times as they need. Everything is bigger in Texas, guys. I know, man. I, yes, I agree with that. This is a rare situation because yeah. I, you I'm lost me. I could cook. Yeah, no, no. Because, <laughs> I, I'll do I the clean dishes. and I cook. Hey, hey, I do I, laundry. I, I, if, you, if, you, if you do that, more power to you. It's just that uh, that's rare. Like very, that, I think that's the first time we've had a girl on the panel that um, <clears throat> has a sugar baby that's a Dude, I guess. Yeah. GPS Otherwise, is I just, rerouting me. Like yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll like no, but I'm saying first time on the show. Right? On the show, yeah. Yeah, because the girls were even shot that way. Wait, what? No cap. No way. Nah. Go for a nigga. <laughs> That's some real shit. Man. Right. That's some real shit. Uh, okay. Uh, one one five. Thirty bucks all the way from Australia. Hey, if and I've just finished watching the pod with you boys and Andrew Schultz, and just wanted to say that I thought they came from a point of not knowing exactly what you guys are about. And felt felt that they only watched like one vid. Yeah, bro. The, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of our critics don't don't watch our content, bro. Like it, they'll bring us on and they'll be like, "Oh wait, hold on, I didn't know that." Blah, blah, blah. So it is what it is. Uh, Brooklyn Kings, twenty bucks. Stop. My wife is back, Miss Tobago. We have to get married right now. No games. That's from Brooklyn Kings. Oh, mm. what's your Instagram? Um, my Instagram is Kelsey Sarah Bridget. But um, no, we're not getting married, please. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god. god. Madam, shut yeah. down. Strictly dickly. And Send then, some uh, more money. She might reconsider. Right. <laughs> Homer we got, sipping out. We got Homer sipping in the house. Happy belated birthday to Myra. Nice to see Kelsey back on the show. She's pretty with a super cute smile. And I like girls with a lot of personality, so I find her quite attractive. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to drop your IG? Cash app. Right. Oh, again? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Kelsey Sarah Bridget. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Why do they like you so much? Yeah. Uh, I don't get send a dick pic there, guys. Don't send that dick pic. That was rhetorical. That was rhetorical. <laughs> all right. D Fluent, all the way from Canada. Where in Tobago are you from? Mason Hall, Concordia, Scarborough. Love my TNT. Gail Dem, Trini to the bone. Gail Dem, Trini to the bone. I love my Trini. Gail Dem, Trini to the bone. So, so what, where are you from? Concordia, Scarborough, Mason I am Hall? from Scarborough. Okay. Uh, yeah. The second woman from Myron is hot. Love the shirt and tats. You want to drop your IG? Oh, Zodak. Like spelling Kodak, but with a Z. Hey, okay, oh, Kaden. All right, Big but she Z. might have a guy in the back. She's being a ninja about it, so we don't know, bro. You might get shot at. <laughs> Send uh, some money to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Little Bob, five bucks. Can we get a brief introduction to Christina and Isha, uh, the cuties behind Chris in the kitchen? Uh, you know, we will. We'll do it in the middle of the show. Uh, who's that alien looking one next to Myron? Mm, who's Myron? What? Who's Myron? Oh, me. <laughs> the the show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, oh, your, uh, your meats look good, babe. Yeah. Right. Uh fresh, yeah. uh fresh BBC. I don't know, fresh. <laughs> Panda looking kind of rough tonight. Expect for that, except for that vanilla thing in the middle. What are your thoughts? Come on, man. We gotta communicate if you want me to perform, my brother. <laughs> Oh, That's so his dick, dead. by the way, guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> red flag. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, like red flag. Tomatoes. There's no photos, man. The chat. The chat is hilarious. Release Lorenzo. <laughs> Yo, just make it pitch black, bro. That's what you should do. Make the thing pitch black. Release Lorenzo. Five bucks. Happy belated birthday, Myron. What's good, uh, Chris and ladies? Please, no interrupting tonight. Hear Myron out. Last few nights have been wild. No, we got a good panel tonight. Ace Uno. Yo, the Haitian has a cute face, but too much body. Why she got her books wrapped in tissue? They wounded. <laughs> <laughs> she wow. rapped like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything you want to say back to him? Wow. Cash at my dog for a new shirt. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Martin, uh, 10 bucks. Hey, Fresh, what was it like to work with Mark Wahlberg and Deepwater Horizon? Uh, it was amazing, man. It was okay. dope. Shout out to him. I think that's a joke of some kind. David <laughs> K, 304. No, no. It, it, it happened. What? Wait, it was what? so dark down there. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, three or four phase means per chewed gum. Give me the fresh pack every time. Oh, shit. Okay. Rainy Constance, come on, titty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you you waiting for that nip slip, uh, babe. I'm not a fan oh. of the 304 translation. I don't judge because I partake as well. City boys, stay up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10 bucks, big male. Mm-hmm. Only Western women need a 304 phase, whether you like it or not. 
only women can be 304s. Men are 304 makers. Okay. And 304, ladies, as you guys might, it means uh, ho. Ho. Because you mm. put it in the calculator upside right, down. Right, right. Myron's hairline. I don't need to get hit by a bus to know it's a bad idea. Yet women will date bad boys and cry they got hurt and played. Truths of the wa world, water is wet, sky is blue. Bad boys don't commit. This is very true. <laughs> uh, Thailand, 100 bucks. You doing hoe activity with hoe tendencies. Hoes are your friends. Hoes are your, your enemies, enemies with no energy to do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, how many more do we got, Chris? Uh, there we go. Okay, all right, we got like six more, and then we'll get it, get into it. All right, twenty bucks. Al, fresh that shirt is fire. But does anyone on the panel believe that they are a ten out of ten? Ooh, real, real quick. quick. Yes. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. What was the question? Yeah. <laughs> got you. Oh. You stupid. All right. <laughs> are you, in your opinion, a ten out of ten? Oh, Being yes. honest. So, yes. I do a little nine and a half on my bad days. Okay. Yeah, I do. Days. I do a solid nine out of ten. <laughs> I got. Well, I got some areas of improvement. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. What about you? I'm very proud to say I'm a twelve. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh. Confidence. Confidence. You no know, wonder why. Nah. I, I, for me personally, I do a seven point five or eight because I know what the best version of myself is, and I let that go. And it, she's coming back. She'll be here soon. Okay. Good okay. job, Lauren. Keeping it. Yeah, come up, come up. What about you? I feel like I'm on. A, I'm a hundred out of a hundred. Okay. I feel like. All right. Asteroid. Ms. Texas, what do you consider? Merch, you give merch. yourself a 10 out of 10? or uh... like an eight and a half. Okay. All right. Okay. Someone's in somewhat of a reality. I'm okay. chocolatey as. Can we curse? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm chocolatey as fuck. I'm 10 out of 10, baby. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie I mean, Berry, the Sweetie Juice, I think. Okay. Darker the Berry. Darker the Berry. All right. Darker the Berry, Sweetie the Juice. Miss Midnight, what are you? What are you? I'm going to have to piggyback on what she said. I'm still under construction. So, what would you rate yourself now then? Um, while in construction. While in construction. Yes, at this point, right now, at the moment of this podcast. <laughs> at the moment of this podcast, I always feel like a ten out of ten, but I feel like I could be better. So March. my um <laughs> my mental state, I feel like a seven and a half. No, no, no looks, looks, looks. There, yeah, it's just for my looks. looks. I don't know. I feel like a ten. I'm okay. always feel like I'm the best of who I am. Right. I don't know. If That's you just can't me. Hype yourself up, who, All right. Who gonna hype, who you gonna up? hype me up? Yeah. 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 In my eyes, I see it was a ten too. Oh. Ooh. Well, I mean, he's got shades on. Chocolate on shades on. Shades on. Yeah. Because you're black. Give me the movie. Oh my god. And cancel. What about you? Um, I can definitely piggyback off Lauren. Um. I mean, I always feel like a 10 out of 10 for sure, but under construction, 7.5. Like a good, <laughs> strong 8. All I got to say is thank you, ladies, for proving her point every single night. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> well, it. This is fantastic. Everyone's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you guys rate yourselves? Right. Oh, very good question. That's a good question, actually. Mo, you go first, Mo. Mo. Cricket, and cricket, we're talking cricket. about cricket. physical looks. Oh. <laughs> He's been lying all night, so he don't know what to do. He's gonna put on hats and go ahead, Mo. Oh wow! So how do you guys feel about what we said? Uh, well, I don't care what, what they what feel. Is, I want to know what you, how you rate yourself <laughs> since Mister had right, to put on Mo, his Mo, shades. Mo, go like a like a physicality. The chair's talking. Four, five. <laughs> oh, no, baby. You can go for ten. You got nice uh, teeth, ladies, baby. Don't do, ladies, don't do that, but thank you. <laughs> okay, Chris. What about you? Uh, me? Uh, personally, I don't give a fuck. You know, just uh, do what I do. But if I had to do it for the podcast, I mean, listen, I don't give a fuck, you know. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> What's the number? Okay, Byron. Um, Nigga, give yourself a number. Yeah. Uh, saying, uh, I don't give a fuck. It's not a number. Yeah. Good question. Uh, yeah. Probably eight, probably. All right, no. a strong uh, yeah. Cool. Okay, like so we're not talking about the penis. We're not talking about the penis. Right. Yeah, I mean, we'll get to that later. But when a penis size comes out, I'm just saying, though, ladies, you, you know. Mm. I don't know. When people talk to talk, Best they can't life. walk Best the walk. Yes. Want to see it afterwards? Okay, we're gonna talk Ooh. about that. Ooh. <laughs> All right, what about you? Okay. You go <laughs> me. I give myself a seven point five eight. That's what I was saying. That's From a round pad. Yeah. The what overall pad. Because there's always a first person. Five, eight. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, like seven, eight. Right. 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 Five, five eight, I'd give myself. Oh. I was like, this but remember, ladies, like for men, I'm going overall. I'm, I'm going off of like, uh, you know. No, we're talking about just the looks. Oh, just the looks. Just the looks, buddy. Okay. Then, yeah. Then a 7.5, I'll say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And But here's the thing, though. Let's be honest. Mm. 
men, we, we get to enjoy the benefit of our, our looks do not define us like you guys. <laughs> like a man, it could be ugly as shit, but he has other things us. in place. What was that? I said, looks don't define females. So you want a butterface? Oh, God. Looks mm. does define females. Oh, God. You like butterface? That is incorrect. Absolutely. Looks 100% define a woman's value for the most part because if you don't look a certain way, you're not going to get any type of attention for a guy. But if a guy is ugly, but he has a shit together. I don't know that because I know a lot. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead. Please. Um, you know, from my experience, you know, f- the guys that, you know, I've ran across looks never truly matter, especially when you're going for a short term type of thing, a little fling. It's all about the ass and titty. So I, that's a good point. Why yeah. is, yeah. That is a good point. Yeah. No. Yes, that's why is makeup a billion dollar industry? Because to, that to make the, us look better. Of course, to enhance. But at the end of the day, you know, when a guy looks at you and he's looking for he a short term. He Plas- sees your titties. He sees your buddy. Yeah, why, 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 Plas- why, do, why do plastic surgeons right. get paid so much? They they wasn't booming uh, five, eight years ago the way they booming right now. That, like, but that, that proves a point. Look. That's still that, your that proves a point. That, 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 there's, yes. there's an extreme demand for women to match a certain aesthetic appeal. Yep. Yeah. Because a woman's value is determined from her looks. I know that sounds horrible to say it that way. But it's the reality. But that is the, yeah. that is the reality. That's why the makeup right. industry, the shop, the, the clothing industry, designer industry, women mm-hmm. are 80% of the consumer base. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is because no matter how bad the economy is, the makeup industry, nail salons, it's the hair salons, etc., they're going to continue to make money because women understand their value comes from the way they look. Right. So right. Uh, there was one other thing I was going to say. Um, oh, because you mentioned that uh, guys will chase a girl that has nice tits or nice ass. Remember, ladies, I said that men have just like you guys have a dual approach. Mm-hmm. There's guys that you friends on, then guys that you want to take that mm-hmm. to take serious. Men are the same way. There's women that they want to just have sex with and girls that they want a wife. You two know what I'm saying? So, so two different woman, things. How do the women that they want a wife, wife look? Because I don't know. The wives don't be too? looking too good like right. the side chicks. Well, exactly. Especially the, wives the baby mama. Mm-hmm. Here's, here's mm-hmm. the thing. Here's the thing. Your main chick is going to be attractive to a point that you could be seeing a public with her, obviously. Right? And I then, don't know. Yeah. Because they don't take their main chicks out at the house after they had them kids. <laughs> they don't want nobody. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, here's the thing. Nobody's still Sorry, ladies, unpopular ladies, opinion. We're, we're talking about we're, we're talking about higher stat. Like if you're talking about like guys that are like lower, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna fucking deal with anything. You know what I'm saying? They'll just take what they can get. We're talking about the guys that women actually want, is what we're saying. Mm-hmm. The, the the top percentage of guys. So they're gonna obviously have some feel some type of way, like as far as like making sure they have and attract the woman by their side. I yeah. don't know. Fabulous had an attractive woman and he wasn't trying to get seen out with her or claiming her. You know, that's that's, that's wanted, actually a good point. That's but fabulous. Because you don't want nobody to take her. That's, that's, right. that's, a, that's a celebrity nobody though. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, but, that's but a terrible I'm, example. I'm, I'm, Wait, Fresh. I, I, uh, I feel like he's a good already? example. Uh, uh, I've, I've we're had... We're going to move forward. Um, yeah, fresh. Okay, cool. And they also... Next chat. And they also had... They also had like issues like physically. So you know, there was there was there was like the case, like they had a physical altercation. Oh, I, I didn't know. I didn't know about that. Was about another all reason that. too. Fresh, but, what's your rating? <laughs> fresh, fresh. Oh, no, Without the chain, you know fresh. Oh, no, fresh, what's your rating? What, what do you rate yourself? Uh, fresh. Yeah. So what do you rate yourself on? So we're only going off. Okay, I guess if we're only going to go off looks, yeah. I think I think for men it's a complete package because you got your money comes into play. Your no, take the shades off, fresh. Take the <laughs> shades off. Take the chain off. Stop sliding down in your chair. Bear. We see you, bro. I want right. the bear. You right. 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 We need us to tell we see you. You need bro. to tell us you what you think. Fresh. Stand up. What they called on you? Can fresh. The shades yeah. don't make you invisible, boo. Mm-hmm. Get up. I mean, right. it, it pretty much does. Only thing, right. only thing makes you invisible is when the lights off, baby. <laughs> out, of, out of 10 <laughs> honestly i read myself no cap wait looks what no, no cap Fiji. looks money okay. no joke mm-hmm. yes. right now yes mm-hmm. <laughs> come on hurry up a right right a seven okay, yeah. because uh, honestly like when i finish with my gym routine <laughs> when you go you go to the gym like once a year <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. I gotta pee. <laughs> listen sorry we're going to see this stuff. I'm seven right now. All right. She's just right. mad. So, yeah. I, I mean, have, I mean, I mean hey, that, that's, it's I an mean, opinion. If we're going to go off looks, I guess that's that's what we could say. But I, Fresh I would money makes I'd argue that's not a, <laughs> a genuine, <laughs> man. that's not a genuine way to, um to, to rate a guy. Cause men, uh, you know, one of the, one of the negatives and the pluses of being a guy is that your looks don't matter, right? As much, but other things obviously come into play. So it's, it's, it's good and bad because mm-hmm. you have to work for those other things. But if you do work for them, you can gain them and in- dramatically increase right. your, mm-hmm. fresh, your, Just, your value. But, you know, as a woman, if you're ugly, bro, oh, man, that one is going to be a fresh. Just stand next to your Lambo. Bro. You hear me? What did you say? I said just stand uh, right next to your Lambo. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> right, girl. So careful. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, there you see, boom, and right there it goes to a ten. That's one of the benefits yeah, yeah, of being yeah, a guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not not like I get only one. Yeah. 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 One of the benefits right. about being a man, baby. Uh, okay, so um, oh, and then just so y'all know, the reason why it's funny is because um, we've always said on the pod that if you ask women like what what she rates herself as, typically they always ten out of ten, I'm a ten out of ten, or hundred out of ten, at our yes. hundred out of ten, which is kind of funny. But you'll see. I got to because you're not gonna tell me that. I think I'm sexy. What do you ask? You think? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I do think. I, I have a whole, I I have a whole theory on that, but maybe uh, may, maybe later because that, that, that's right. yeah. Uh, okay, the more men a woman sleeps with, the more desensitized they become to sex. If they sleep with fifty guys. There are forty nine chances you are not her best, which may lead to divorce. Yes, that that breaks down pretty much why uh, divorce rates increase as a woman's body count goes up. Okay, I was your life. I was on your life early, and I got questions for this. Four hundred three is getting female point of view. What's your point of having male best friends and what you want out of a guy friend knowing females and males ain't meant to be friends? Is that an opinion mm. or a fact? He's, or a uh, fact. No, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's basically asking, asking why do you keep male friends around? Let's go around the table real quick. Why? Give us the main reason why you keep your male friends around. Um, that you friends owned. Honestly, I really don't know. Okay. I really don't know. That's Is it maybe attention, attention? Someone to talk to? Definitely not attention. I feel like more of like a no, don't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't even do it. Not no. attention. Merch. Uh, Not attention. Not attention. Because I don't the feel validated by my guy friend, though. Okay. Exactly. So what? What is the yeah. reason then that you that you? Be we have with? fun together. We have fun together. Mm-hmm. I mean, why do you have female friends? Right. We don't. We don't. We actually That's did a whole podcast matter. on it just a second ago, just okay. an hour ago. Why it's a waste of time for men to have female friends? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, wow. Well, we have a full argument for it why it's not in our best interest. It, it, it works for the woman, but it never works for the guy. Like, watch- yeah, you guys are winning when you have male friends. For us, we're losing big time. For sure. I watched it. Yeah. I don't I mean, know. I don't know about that. I, you know, I think it depends on the uh, case by case. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Real quick. Um, okay. You know what? We'll go around the table. Okay. You tell me why you have your guy friend, and then I want each of you to tell me what you actually bring to your guy friend. So that you have. Okay. So, so go ahead. I already said. Okay, I already said my point of view, like why I have them around. Okay, just for fun. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, whatever. Not attention. Can you explain the fun? What what is the fun? I don't know. We just be on joke time. Like I don't understand. Okay. Like all right, so conversation. Like brother, sister. Okay. Conversation. Okay. What about um, you? Um, yeah. I keep my guy friends around. <laughs> I'm so dead. I got my don't laugh before. Give us the main reason. For why. real. Are you fucking it up for all of us. That's all you need to see right there, baby. Please say psych. Go we, ahead. Like, my guy friends, we don't have to sleep with each other, you know? I don't keep them around to sleep with them. Because well, if you're my friend, nine out of ten, well, ten out of ten. I'm They're watching. The question is, why do you To keep have them? a good laugh, you know? Hang okay. out. All right, fair enough. What about, what about you? Um... I I don't know. Like one of my best friends is a guy. We okay. give each other relationship advice. We talk about oh, school. God. We talk about life. <laughs> no, well, no, no, but hear me out though. Hear me out though. He has a completely different side of what relationships look like as a man than I do as a woman. So he right. offers me a lot of insight that I might not see when I'm dealing with the guys that I date or I talk to or whatever, because I don't see the world as a man. I only see it as a woman. Okay. Someone has to explain that to me. Right. So, okay. So he, he gives you, okay, he gives you a male's perspective from a real estate relationship. Okay, fantastic. What about you? That's a good one. Um, I will kind of ride on hers because right. that's what kind of happens. With okay, me of course you will. Uh, Lauren, what about you? <laughs> the guys that you have friends on, what, what is the main commodity they bring to you? Um, similar interests in our hobbies. I have a lot of more, I you'd call masculine hobbies. I love cars. I love gaming. I love sports. And sadly, I can't find a lot of women with those similar interests. But I'm not ignorant to the fact that most of my guy friends, probably 99% were all, if I were to hit them up, they'd, they'd fuck. But, okay. So yeah. similarities, what about you? Yeah. I like to piggyback off of what she said. And I feel like, like, like she said, they bring a, a different insight of relationship wise of okay. what, you know, I would right. like to see. Cool. <clears throat> I say the same thing that they said, but what I Creative. bring to my male friends is I bring them hoes when we go out. Well, hold, hold, like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, don't, don't <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to that in a second because I'm gonna spin it back around. But so they bring you convers. What is it exactly? Because they all gave kind of yeah, different- like conversation, male perspective. Okay, we go out and get lit together, stuff like that. Okay, what about you. 
it's not even really perspective for me. I feel like if they put me on game, okay? okay? They tell me about their experiences with women and I can just take from that and see how not all men move, but it's another perspective to add to whatever my brothers are telling me because my brother's been put me on game about y'all. She got hello okay. all brothers. Four She's brothers. the only okay. woman. Cool. She's the only girl. What about you? Um, it's definitely for perspective and also career gain. Um, the mm. industry that I work in, of course, it, most of the men are, you know, the bosses, they're the CEOs. You go to any hair store, you go to any business, you're going to see a man there. And my best bet in order to get my foot in the door and get to where I need to go is to be um, be there, be as close as I can to them. Um, not necessarily to sleep with them. Of course, you know, I have that option, but, you know, I try my best not to go that route or whatever. <laughs> it okay. is what it is. It is what it is. So mentorship, essentially. And mentorship. Um, so so I, I have a best friend. One, I have one best friend who's a male. Well, uh-huh. two, but one is gay. So that just, that just, to me, that's a different perspective. Okay. But um, I have one best friend in particular. He is uh, my best friend since middle school. So we grew up together. We have done a lot of biz- business ventures together. Uh-huh. Um, uh, he has a wife, two kids. You know what I mean? Like we give each other insight. Same thing as, you know, I'm, I'm picking back up what some of them said. I mean, they give you perspective. I mean, they don't see, you know, how a woman's, you know, world is. So I can give the insight on that and vice versa. And then business as well. Sometimes I might see something in a business that he might not. You know what I mean? So it, it, there's a lot of perspective, I guess you can say. But I've never, that, that, I, if I'm being 100%, that's the only male best friend that I've ever had that is straight that hasn't tried to come on to me. Yeah. I might think like maybe, okay, hey, yeah, he's a, he's a cool friend. But then. It always ends up being like, oh, hey, well, and then I have to be like, nah, fam. <laughs> now, uh, all right. So I got here pretty much last conversation, advice, uh, business, uh, mentorship, advice for relationships. Fun. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Now let's, Fun switch, too. Yeah, yeah, now definitely. let's switch it back around. <laughs> what, do you bring what, what do you bring to the guy that you friend zoned? Mm. We'll, we'll start um, here. Okay. What do you Is bring you? to the guy? Oh, me. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I mean, what do you, what, what exactly do you mean when you friend zone? Like, how? You're not, not gonna fuck, fuck him. him. <laughs> I mean, obvi- that's that's an obvious. You know what I mean? But was it initially that? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, is that's that what a man tries to talk to you for? I mean, I don't know. When you're 12 years old, now. I don't really think. You he, know what I'm saying? He's like, no. I think the the, <clears throat> the the quickness with how she was able to describe what they bring, and then the slowness of what you're able to bring, it t- says everything you need to say. I mean, no, not necessarily. Like, we'll okay, come back to you. think about it. No, no, so, I could, I could give oh, you the answer now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just asking in your perspective. Why is it that it's friends? Well, because in my situation, it's different. Like we met when we were kids, like kids, kids, like 11 years old. You feel you what I'm trying to say? To make a pass Absolutely ever. not. I could swear I'll put that on my child's life. Maybe never. you didn't notice it. Never, as a no, pass. no, never, never. And as a matter of fact, my current boyfriend and him are also good friends. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, so here's the thing: just because you, you, he never tried, or you might not be aware of it, doesn't mean it didn't necessarily happen. Mm. You know, a lot of guys surreptitiously try to get in the box through the mm. friend zone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, okay. I, I mean, but I mean, hey, it's, uh, I mean, he's married now, whatever. So you have some some uh, safety training wheels, so to speak. I'm so sad. So, yeah, well, hey, I'm just keeping a thousand. <laughs> so, uh, so what yeah, can what, I? What, what do you bring to him? Um, I mean, it's the same thing. You know, he calls me. Hey, look, I have this new business. What do you think about this? Like, do you think it's cool? Like, do you think we should go Are you forward guys in with the same this? Business industry? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does what? What what is the business? Of? So for me, it's marketing, social okay. media, and marketing. Um, he manages artists, so whenever he has okay. questions about his artists or whatever the case may be, like, do you think like this is a good artist? Correct. Okay. And, yeah. and you manage Instagram social media. profiles for it. Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, like any of that stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What about you? What value do you bring back to those guys? You're getting mentorship and coaching. What are you bringing back? <laughs> Um, and if it's nothing even better <laughs> no it's not nothing it depends on of course their level of um of career status yeah or whatever so i'm talking know, about the same exact individual you described that was giving you mentorship what are you giving him back um you know honestly guys have an ego that needs to be stroked so i think personally um him giving me the advice he feeds off the fact that i actually use his advice a lot of people just get advice and just take it and wipe their ass with it they're not really using it so to see me grow and to see me become the woman that i am is what helps feed him and drive him into continuously giving me that advice because you know like i said people take advice and they don't actually use it i actually apply it and that's 
that's what I think makes so me different. It's basically nothing. <laughs> it's not nothing or whatever, because as I'm growing in my business, of course, you know, we have our own contracts and stuff that we that we have, you know, certain business deals. If I come, I'm I'm really good at um what people like to call middleman pyramid scheme. So I'm really good at linking two people together. So I know how to link pyramid one scheme. one man. <laughs> that's what people. That's what people like to call it. <laughs> all right. Before you incriminate yourself. All right. What about you? What, what do you bring back to that guy? Um, I think I give a opportunity to be vulnerable. Every every conversation we have, I feel like. March. Oh, yep, yep. I knew it. <laughs> but to jump off the six six story bridge or whatever we at. Um, bridge. Right. Um, 58 floor. Stupid. Don't do Denied. me. Don't do me. OK. But I do feel I. Oh, damn. <laughs> I know that I bring a shoulder to lean on. Not only that, yeah, I feed okay. my, I feed, I, I feed my, I feed my friends. Okay, that that yeah, they hungry hoes and I feed them. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I do give a shoulder to, to cry on or to lean on because let's be completely honest. Like, yes, there are some men who are able to be vulnerable with uh, with their homeboys, but when you have a female friend that you don't see in any way besides platonically, and she's a <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. We're listening. We're listening. Let me, a guy that you see, a, a man sees let me, you as only He's platonic. laughing because he feels like that doesn't exist. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if to streak, to stroke your ego, for those who who may now see their women or, or their friend platonically, it's nice to have a, a friend like that in order to... I would say involuntarily seeing you platonically, but... Okay. Right. Involuntarily. For yeah. some. Okay. I, I won't say for everyone mm -hmm. because that's an opinion. Choice, not his. Right. Right. Okay. And that's, that's an opinion. But I... I I know that I give them a shoulder to cry on because. Okay. So they can be vulnerable. Right. 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 It's not what about you, Miss Texas. I think you were alluding to it before. I bring my homeboys hoes. As soon as females see me out with them, they're like getting more and more hoes. And then I help them make money because whenever they want to close a deal, they're like, come with me to this deal so that. Close what kind of deals? Real estate or like any type right. of deal. They're like, come sure. with me. Like, so they can. I don't know. I guess I can't. I'm confused how eye candy would help with a real estate deal. Because you'd be surprised. Like, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Real estate, self. I believe, <laughs> is based right. off hold of on, Hold on. How many properties do you guys own? Me? I own two. Okay. I have seven. I never brought a woman with me ever. It didn't affect anything. <laughs> but when oil and Doesn't gas help. people, like in Texas, when they're closing a deal, it helps to bring a woman on to so that the other guys like, oh, like look at They're throwing you know? off their pivot. Yeah, like it they're, like when you want to buy so serious. someone when you want to buy someone's like oil and gas type stuff or their like mineral rights, it helps to bring them on. There's an element of having a hot woman with you with deals, but it's very, very slim chance that it actually works, but it can work. It does right. It's yeah. yeah it, I mean, but okay. <laughs> we can open. Uh, yeah, that that would. I, yeah, that would be. Let's not open a can of worms. I don't. I don't, I don't like to bring women to to business deals. I think that's that's uh, <laughs> could cause some. It's, it could cause some issues, but. And that, that's fine. So, okay, so you bring them hoes and help them close deals. <laughs> Wait, right. like well, I'm just saying money. exactly what you said. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring them hoes and help them close deals. Okay, with real estate in particular, right? What and oil you? and gas. I feel like same thing. Vice versa, advice as well. You know, sometimes just buy the merch, guys. I think sometimes. <laughs> Wait, oil and gas, like, what do you mean? As far as like, real fast, like when they buy like minerals, like when you you ever heard of a landman? I lived in South Texas for a while, but I don't. So basically, there's these old people. They mm -hmm. have like all these mineral rights. Like they have, you can go drill on their land. Oh, for frack. Okay, all right. And all right. so I when, you, when a guy, so for for yeah. fracking rights, basically, like to drill. Yeah. Okay. On their land. Like in South, or we talk like they want to buy their oh, okay, okay. land or their minerals. Okay. Like okay. So we're not talking like real estate, like a house. We're talking about buying land to be able to drill set up. On it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right, fair enough. That's a whole other whole Texas shit. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, I used to live in South Texas, so that makes sense. Uh, go ahead. But yeah, just advice. Um, yeah. Advice. Okay. Advice as far as like, Adv as far as dating? from a woman perspective, right? You know, sometimes I the friend the friend. Okay, listen. The guy that I known for like that's my bestie. I've known him since middle school as well. So it's not. It's Poor not guy. On, it's not on that. No, he's not hella. hella he he gets hoes. Please. Question real quick. Please. So you give him female advi advice on how to deal with women. Would you say if you were a guy, you would know how to get a girl? What do you mean? <clears throat> like, since you're advising him and helping him get girls, if you were a guy, like, let's say I turned you into a guy tomorrow, would you be able to get laid? <laughs> no, that's not, the, that's not the perspective. I'm giving him the women's perspective, especially because he's going on the firefighter route and the army route. So he doesn't really 
have the not the experience he has experience but he doesn't he's not really in the environment to you know really um talk to women or you know he's always on the move he's moving like he's going to different stations and, and um bases as well so i feel like he's just asking me from a woman's perspective just to understand what their way of thinking is you know just to understand did he ever right. try to use those moves on you? Never. I'm, so I'm a wingman. Right. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help That's my whole he, but... he, he thinks because I'm a model, he thinks I'm gonna bring him hoes. I can't do that. You got that girl because <laughs> I'm I'm definitely gonna. Uh, well, yeah. no, she doesn't bring them. She's saying she shows up with them and then they right. get hoes for her being yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like whenever mm-hmm. I post them on social media, like everyone goes follow them. Mm-hmm. And shit like that. Mm-hmm. But I want to. They I think wanna that hear... we're fucking, so they want to go fuck them too. Mm-hmm. But he was asking, being that you do give him advice from women, if you were a man. Would you be able to use that same Ooh, advice you give him in order to get? That's what he was. I feel I, like if I feel like if I was a man, from a woman's perspective, like I, like I said earlier, women can relate to women. We, right. you know, really? emotionally, yes, mentally, and emotionally. That's what wow. women looks like. I know well. what you guys are doing. What here. keeps them long term financial <laughs> financial wise? You know, women like to see that. But what really keeps them and keeps them in a relationship is mental and you know. Emotional stability. Exactly. Right. I'm exactly. impressed. They hold that, that thought. That's yeah, amazing. hold that thought. So yeah. Yeah. Whole show. Yeah. You, said, you really set yourself up for that so one. So she would be able to get a girl. Okay. Oh, there for that? What, about, what about you, Lauren? What, 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 would, what would you give back to the guys? Uh, the current ones. Uh, entertainment, women, and money. Uh, entertainment. You know, if you bring me out and you have some new girls, I'll help them get comfortable, help get them mm-hmm. lit, help them with the vibes, right? Two women, yeah, beautiful friends as well. They're looking for men. I love connecting the dots with a few of my friends. Mm-hmm. Easy. If you need a fifth for a game, I'm there. Nice. And then money. I know a lot of high clients when they come in for, say, they need the cars, the houses to go out, mm-hmm. uh, tickets to games. Da, 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 da. All my friends are in every sector of the entertainment, so I'll just connect right. dots. That's it. <laughs> Guys exactly. that you friend zone. So you're going to connect the guy that you're friend zoning currently yep. with other guys that you friend zone. Yep. And then uh, take a percentage. So. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Okay, right. then. Exactly. Right. Right. Them too, but I guess, but all right. What, yeah. about, what about you? To, to make, what do you bring back to your guys that you friend zoned? To be honest. Not food. I, <laughs> I oh, actually right. do not know what I bring back to them. It's a very <laughs> honest, honest answer. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. God yeah, damn it. I really don't know. Because I can't Go, go, go. I know what they do for me, but I don't know what I do for them. You know what I mean? Okay. Keeping it real. All right. What yeah. about uh, Miss Marilyn? What about you? What do you bring back to them? Um, I would definitely agree with the shoulder to lean on thing because okay. I feel like Merch. I'm pretty Merch. empathetic. So um, when right. someone comes to me and they're talking about stuff, you know, I'm always going to be an ear open to listen to what they have to say. Right. Um, and guys are not super big on the whole emotional aspect of right. their relationships. Right. So you could hang out with your very best friend from your childhood. Right. That's your homeboy. You grew up together, known each other since you were five, but you still struggle to have that conversation with him about whatever is actually bothering you deep inside. It's a little bit easier to open up to women sometimes. So, show um, the lean. Yeah. Show um, the lean. Right. So, so, yeah. so, a question okay. is it a physical shoulder to lean on or just words mm, by play? Oh. Like, can I can't, can't lean on your shoulder? <laughs> probably a little lower. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> not, not like the actual shoulder. No touching? No, no, no. All right, guys. You're um, guys, right? <laughs> I'm actually talking right. about like emotional support. Like, yeah. Okay. Emotional I'm support. curious. Would a therapist be better? Or you, your um, shoulders to lean on? Oh, no. I'm a team therapy all the not way. Physical. I believe that, like, people should be in therapy, whatever. I'm not I am not the know-it-all, like, end-all, be-all. But it doesn't mean that there's nothing that I can contribute to support my friend going through a tough time. I don't have to be an expert to be supportive, right? right. So I might right. not be the person to make the final say, but I can still listen to what you have to say you know, kind of talk you through it, let you get it off your chest, give okay. you my insight, but my word is not the final say. Right. Okay. And real quick, guys, there's a 7.2K y'all in here. Like the goddamn video because I only see like 2K likes. We should be easily 6,000 likes right now. All right, what about you? What do you bring back to your friends? Um, I'll say the vibes. I'll bring the vibes. And... What are the vibes? Like, like said, the Zodiac she... vibes. Yeah. What are the vibes? No, the, the Zodiac vibes. Zodiac. Get the Z's vibe. right. Get the Z's right. <laughs> Yeah, like a shoulder to lean on. I give good advice. Not physically, though, guys. Advice on, like, what? <laughs> Depending on the situation. If they're going through a breakup, lonely, All right. Is, I'll be that So friend. you give advice? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, and we got all this time to think. Someone to confide in, I guess, and entertainment. I used to be a really big crypto trader, so I used to help my guy friends with that. Oh, cool. I think that's a big thing. Um, yeah. Okay. 
All right. So, I mean, I was I was like <laughs> listening. So, uh, so you guys got quite a bit of value from all these guys that you friends on. But like looking back at what y'all provide, man, it's a lot of bullshit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's, it's just a lot of, yeah. Cause, um, so, and I'll address each one real fast. So, um, <clears throat> business stuff. I mean, you kind of have a unique relationship with him. You guys have known each other since childhood. So I can see kind of where that is, but I'd be interested to see what you provide to the other guys that are in the friend zone that you, I don't, I don't know. You don't have any others? No, no, because, Smart. because for that reason, you know. right, okay. right. So you're aware. Right. Uh, you, <clears throat> ego, that's nothing. Uh, <laughs> I appease their ego, goddammit, with my own success. Okay. So you, I get the double whammy. And then wow. uh, with you, you said being vulnerable. We talked, we actually literally just did a podcast, what, seven reasons why I mentioned not be platonic friends with women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the ones we said was, um, Women don't really understand the male struggle, the man right. struggle, because we live different realities, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Uh, and that's not to say like, oh, women live life on easy mode or whatever. But with a lot of things that men go through, women just aren't privy and or understand it. So they're not really in a position to like give you advice that's constructive and helpful. And I know you're right. saying like be vulnerable. They can vent to you. But I would argue you're better off venting to a guy because he can actually give you solutions. A woman will right. listen to you. Oh, I'm sorry pat you on the back and that doesn't really give you a solution but that's the thing or or if she does i'm sorry or she does that solution isn't necessarily good that might not work for you right but not everybody um not everybody is venting or telling a friend something because they want a solution sometimes they just need to talk Mm -hmm. and that's but that's the problem like with with with, uh and that's a really good point that you brought that's how women communicate y'all tell Mm -hmm. your problems just to kind of be able to tell your problems right with men it's like you're telling your problems but a man's got to hold your dumb ass accountable and tell you, yo, stop doing this shit. You fucking retard. What are you doing? <laughs> right. But women aren't really going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be like, you guys got to be like another so, level. Maybe, maybe even, maybe your, your brother will tell you that. Your sister will tell you that. Yeah. Your blood relative. But when there's a sexual interest, you're, you're going to kind of push back a little bit to not be honest. So, you know, women don't, don't want confrontation. Like, it's good to like vent to a woman because she ain't going to really challenge you on your fuckery. But a man will challenge you. A lot of the times, like if it's your guy friend and you're being a bitch, oh man, uh, and you're crying over a girl, he's like, yo, sack up. She's a fucking hoe. What's wrong with you? Whereas like you guys are going to be like, oh, well, it's okay. You deserve better. Blah, blah, blah. You ain't going to tell him where he fucked up, if that makes sense. Right. Like, men need solutions. I think some girls water it down to a point where they don't yeah. have feelings, which I understand why you don't yeah, have understandable. feelings, even more than it's already hurt. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like guys need to hear the hard truth because if they don't hear the hard truth, it's like, yeah, I'll just go do it again. They hear, oh, now you fucking up, nigga. It's but that's cool. anybody, though. I feel like some women do yeah, that, too. I'm I feel like it's merch. you can't just, oop, yep, mm-hmm. yeah. okay. Well, you can't just generalize, cat- generalize it because... Mm-hmm. I'll give an example wrong. of what I mean. So, okay, I'm going to get hit with the fucking... Uh, Masagi. Masagi. <laughs> right. I'm just going to fucking say it. Women get away with beating me, being mediocre. Men can't. What do you mean Can by you mediocre? Elaborate? Right. Okay, I'm going to elaborate. <clears throat> so, if woman is annoying, rude fat, crass, whatever it is, we have a bunch of social conventions to make her feel better about her poor decisions. For example, Mm -hmm. look at Lizzo. Huge fucking whale. No one tells her she needs to lose weight. Love your curves, girl. Love your curves, girl. Love your body. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, she's over here basically an advocate for diabetes. But the the thing is, is that if I was a fat man, right? But they're going to roast me, clown me. There's no body positivity for men. But they clowning her. They roasting her. Not really. The, no, the, the, this, is, this is definitely like praise. She, she gets roasted. She does get roasted, mm-hmm. which I think is good that she gets roasted. But <laughs> she gets roasted. But at the same time, she's also praised. So, but what I'm saying is that she, a man in her situation, would never get that level of praise. Who would get roasted for being fat? Whereas women are able to be mediocre without really any type of societal accountability, if that makes sense. Okay. Can I interject? Can I interject? You yeah. just, yeah. you just said. Now, in that same sentence, you have to admit that you just said previously that a man can be mediocre because he makes up for it with his financial stability. No, or right. looks we're twice. talking, yeah, we're talking. They're but, talking about but looks. That's looks. That's he's fat. Though. He's fat. He's ugly. Right. People gonna roast him if he hops on the internet. Right. But if he's making money and he has a big old chain, you'll still see and, a girl and has his 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 right. designer on and stands next to a Lambo. Right. He's just he 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 can pass. She, yeah. She because so, because for you to earn that kind of money and get that Lambo. You had to put work in to some okay, degree. Okay, but she had to put work in, and she definitely said yeah. that how she slept in the car before her her song went platinum right. and stuff. Fantastic so, point that you're making. So I'm no, not. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Here's the difference: men and women are not the same. Oh my! A gosh. woman's ability to earn income does not increase her sexual value. I hate to say it like that. That's the truth. Like to certain no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. 
a woman that earns $100,000 per year and is successful is not the same as a man that earns $100,000 a year and is successful. Because here's the reality. Yeah, yes, that, can, that I can agree yes, with. That's the truth. Think mm-hmm. about it. Okay. How many dudes do you know that have money that are dating a chick that doesn't do shit? Right. She's fucking bad. <clears throat> you would never see it the other way around. A man that's a millionaire, 35 years old, will gladly date a 19 year old that works at McDonald's. Right. But a woman that's 35 years old, millionaire, ain't dating no fucking 19 year old dude that works at McDonald's. So we are very <clears throat> different. I don't know. Men she just women said she at... was a sugar mama. You know what? Fantastic. She said she was a sugar mama. What was your response? I listened to you very closely. You yep. said you pay for a nigga. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Right. I just, I just wouldn't but, pay but for look, a nigga in, in, in general. In, in return, but, but, on the band. But, but that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. She's an exception to the rule. Most women would never yeah, do that. Very small exception. That most right. women small date a, up social hierarchies. So that's that's the most reality. Women. Men are okay with dating down. Women are not. But so, men are men are also not okay with dating women who possibly make more money than them right. either. Mm, mm-hmm. That's women, a whole other women, conversation. Women, right. I'll address that in a right. second. Okay. Because right. there's, 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 there's a lot more to the table of her just earning more money that makes her less attractive. That's not the, it's not what you think. What society commonly tells you about women that earn money is not what you think. Okay. But just to address her thing, um, going back to the vulnerable mm-hmm. and right. then also um, Lizzo. Yes. So, right. <laughs> see, I, I got a lot going on yeah, here. We got a lot. We got a so lot. So what I'm trying to say is that Female mediocrity is accepted by society, but it's not accepted by uh, from from men. Amen. So, for example, if I'm a loser and I smoke pot every single day and I live with my mom, society is going to punish me for my inadequacies. Correct. I won't get girls. People will shame me. Right. People will call me a dusty broke nigga. Right. It's socially acceptable, which I think is good. I, I tell the guys in the pot all the time. If you're broke, it's your fucking fault. We tell guys all the time. If you're a poor man in the United States, you're a fucking bum. You should mm-hmm. get slapped. OK. Mm. We say that all the time. Wow. And that's acceptable. Can I press a button? But with women, <laughs> right? <laughs> but you have to be harsh like that with men. You right. have to. You have to. But with women, we coddle them and we right. keep women away from the ramifications of their bad decisions. If they're fat, annoying, or rude, no one checks them on it. They just say, oh, she's strong and independent. Oh, right. love your curves. Oh, it's okay. You just can't handle a strong woman. We have all these minor conventions to make women feel better for their poor behaviors. And I'm here to say, no, like a lot of guys are just not going to tell you that you're annoying as hell just not deal with you or they're going to use you as sex only and never tell you so my thing is that female mediocrity is accepted by society and i'll take it a a step further it's protected by society i agree whereas male mediocrity is not i agree i I agree how many times i've been at the club some terrible some fucking whales in there right sea world in this bitch oh yeah girl. Press a button, i mean man. i wouldn't i wouldn't call them a whale real talk I've seen girls. Y'all don't like this. <laughs> <I'm telling> you, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish. Can we just say a different name I've though? Seen... Can we say whale? What? What? Say what? Okay. Whale is real. Yeah, real. Whale is a little Isn't fucking real. Isn't it funny? <laughs> just like earlier, right? Girls will water stuff down just to not hurt feelings. Bam. Here you go. Is what it is. Okay. When I said a dirty, broke ass nigga, didn't say nothing. nothing. Y'all say water that down. I say shit. Dirty, really be dirty relating to women. But you're you're describing you're describing fat women as whales, like you're ranking them. I mean, you're trying. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just ranked men two seconds ago. Oh shit! But that's a fact. He's not making money. He's not making money. He's living with his you're right, you know, you're right, you're right, you're right. I gotta give you that. And anybody right. can be a bum. Listen, anybody can be a bum. But once you go into name calling, you're you're stepping into a different zone. Just, I just name called men. He just called men bums. Yeah, no, not all, not all nigga. men. You call right. men who no, aren't making, nigga. who who aren't who aren't making Most any well, money. God damn it. <laughs> he just said some girls in club <laughs> yeah. were fat <laughs> and he called them whales. No, that, that's wrong. That's some, that's some, that's some men that aren't working, they're giving bum. They're giving bumness. That, that is that. bum. We just said that. We just said that. Okay, but anybody could be a bum. A woman, a woman who's not on, working, on. she can, can be considered for this me at least a bum. This is straight comedy. I literally roasted up uh, men and we didn't Two say shit. Ago. No, you're right. Y'all didn't say shit. Yeah. As soon as I say whales. You could have said fat hoes. You could have said anything fat. You didn't have to I say whales. Mo, you ain't say shit to Mo. I mean, it doesn't matter <laughs> what I say. You or, it doesn't like whatever term I use to refer to obese women is of what I'm gonna say. It does not change the fact that fat women are in the club saying, Oh yeah, I'm I'm the shit, blah, blah, blah. Dressing ridiculously, whatever it is, wearing a bunch of clothes that they should not be wearing at their size. Hug and then okay. their friends coaching them, yeah, girl. Fuck yeah, you go, girl. You don't see no broke niggas yeah. in the club. Hey, I ain't got no fucking money, but you know what? Yeah, girl. yeah, you go, king. You deserve a fucking it's the bad same bitch. Money they borrow if from a dude Amazon. is dusty, real talk. If a dude's a bum and he goes to his boys like, yeah, man, I don't want a fucking model Kim Kardashian type. They're gonna look at him like, bro, you're a fucking bum. You ain't getting no bitch. They're gonna roast him. But if a fat chick goes to her friends, 
Oh yeah, I want me a man that's six foot three. Yes, girl. Yeah, yeah man. Well, that. no, not yeah. I feel yeah. it's harder to do that. It's harder to y'all be lying to each other. Bro. It's harder to hide uh-huh. your fat than it is yeah. to go right. borrow some I'm money from Scott. I am dying to speak right now, but hold, just give me a second, okay? Speak your words. So before you do, because because I was gonna address the other thing, or no, we can do that after. Women that make money. Okay. Never mind. So yeah. Go ahead. Okay, sure. so this I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible, Go but ahead. we live Take in a pa- we live in a patriarchal society, right? Okay. So no matter what, no matter what circumstances a man deals with, you have an entire system backing you up, right? So okay, okay, you call a man a bum. It's specific to that one man. There's not as many implications behind it. You call a bigger woman a whale. You have an entire system of fat phobia right. in the patriarchal society, in a, patriar- a patriarchal society, backing that up. Now they're making fun of her size. Now they don't have clothes in her size. Now we're looking like you see what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. Like no matter what the specific instance is. We live in a patriarchal society. So at the end of the day, my empty cup. At the end of the day, you have an entire system that revolves around the way that you treat women, the way that you interact with women, the way that you perceive things. You, like as a man, Mm -hmm. let's say we have the same exact education level, same degree, whatever. You are going to get paid more than I am. That's a statistic. A white man makes $1 for every 68 cents a black woman makes, right? No, I'm serious, right? Please continue. You're going to make more money than me because you have that male privilege that I don't, right? In theory, not saying it's every single instance, but I'm saying you have an entire system backing you up. So, yeah, if I see a man make less money than me, I'm looking at him like, okay, you had the upper hand and you still came up right. short. Exactly. Right. When right. I make less money than you, that's because I'm a black woman in a patriarchal right. white privileged society that doesn't work in my favor. Right. So now I'm working twice as hard just to be your equal. Right. There's a mm-hmm. difference. There's a difference. Okay. So when a man is mediocre, that's because you had the upper hand. Y'all created the patriarchy. Right. I didn't create it. My mama didn't create it. Y'all created right. it. Right. You created the patriarchy and you still couldn't get it done. Right. Mm-hmm. You put the patriarchy on me and I still bossed up on you. Mm. That's why there's a difference. Mm. This case is like a Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, good, good, point. yeah. good points. Very good points there. Yeah. Good points. Um, no response. Number one. No, no response. Oh, no. I, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. You're ready for it. It's coming right now. It's it's the notepad, I see. It's the notepad for me. It's the fucking notepad for me. I'm just taking notes. We'd be talking to him and he'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Right. So, um, it, 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 here's the thing. It, it, this is very funny because when we name call men, no one bad tonight. But as soon as I say whale, right, there was a big issue with you that. And then we brought up we mm-hmm. brought up fat phobia, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, do you guys know any dudes running around saying women are tired of broke guys? You you have broke phobia. No, you don't, right? Well, it's because here's classism. the thing. It's called classism. That's right. an actual mm-hmm. definition. Right. No one, but no one runs around and like I don't see a bunch of guys running around complaining, man. There's broke phobia, classism they, going around. These women will not suck my dick because I make minimum wage. <laughs> they Ain't do it on, they on your podcast. Can I please finish? Sorry. So the reality is this. Thank you. Men cannot have standards. And if men do have standards and or criticize women, it's always met with contempt. But criticism of men is completely socially acceptable. Here's my thing. If you're a broke man, it's your fucking fault because you live in a first world country, United States, one of the best places you could be, and you have the opportunity to make money. If you're in the United States and you're fat, Man or woman, you're in control of every single morsel of food that goes into your mouth. Correct. So if you're fat, it's your fucking problem. No Correct. excuse. So this fat phobia, no. We only use that stupid term to make women feel better for the fact that they are whales. Unacceptable whether you're man or woman. That's number one, right? Because we don't run around and say, broke phobia, but we have fat phobia. No, you shouldn't be fat, period. Whether man or woman, regardless. Second thing you mentioned, wage gap. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered my trap card the wage gap has been debunked a million times and as someone that is an economist major i would think that you would know this the wage gap the reason why women make less because so let's talk about the wage gap it basically asserts right that okay. men make a dollar for every 80 cents that women make right no, that's not the statistic. That's that's where the wage gap comes it's from. It's a dollar to 78 cents to 75 okay. cents to 68 same, same cents. Same thing, same thing. There's same, a difference. We're, we're about 80 cent, 78 cents, 80 cents, same thing. But that's where the premise cents. comes. But that comes from all work, full-time working women and all full-time working men. But that's a terrible thing to use because men and women are very different. The reason why women make less money than men is not because of gender. It's because of choice. 
Here's the reality. Men on average work more hours. They work more dangerous jobs that pay more. They go into STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Women go into jobs that pay less, social work, nursing, teaching, et cetera, okay? And also women take more vacation, paternity leave, et cetera. Women don't uh, argue for higher wages like men do. They're less, they're more agreeable. Um, and that's just the reality. Women make less because of choice, not because of gender. Number one, it's illegal to pay a woman less because of the Labor Act in the 70s. And then number two, let's just use common sense here. You're an economist. If I could really get away <laughs> with paying women 80 cents on the dollar, I would never hire a fucking man. I would never. hire only women. Never. I would make significantly more money, more profit, and I could pay them less. But you can't do that. The thing is this. That statistic, the wage gap, where it's derived from, it does not account for degrees held, experience, type of job work, whatever. I don't see all the women fighting to do offshore drilling, to do any type of manual labor. Women go for jobs that are comfortable and safe in an office that are air conditioned that tend to make less money and tend to be more socially oriented. And then if you look at Scandinavian countries, shout out to Jordan Peterson, right? We're going to meet him tomorrow. Shout out to him. Which is even more egalitarian and more equal than the United States. They found that... When you give women more equality, which is the most equal country uh, uh, countries in the world, they actually make even less more less money because of their choices. They want to go into fields that pay less. So, and here's the other thing too: women go to college more than men now. Colleges are dominated by women. Almost three quarters of college attendees now are women, and they still choose to go into fields that make less money. And the men still dominate science, technology, engineering, and math, which need a college degree. So the women choose not to go into those fields, and that is why they get paid less. They don't want to go into STEM. And then on top of that, if a woman does want to go into STEM or get into a field that is male-dominated, that makes more money, they're going to have an overwhelming advantage because of affirmative action. Um, okay. So the wage gap myth does not exist. It's, it's, it's a fallacy. It's been okay. debunked a million times. Women don't get paid less because they have a vagina. Women get paid less because they choose Choices. to do certain things that make less money, and that's a fact. Okay, Perfect. so I mean, I guess I mean, no matter what I say on this microphone, I feel like I, there's no way I'm going to convince you. No, no, otherwise. I'm listening very. I'm but, legitimately listening but, to everything. But look, just, there's a reason. There's a reason why the richest people in the world are all white men. Okay, mm. time out. I'm not. I'm not because I'm going to keep going. No, no, keep on. Keep I'm going to keep going. I'm listening very closely. The patriarchy is not black and white. There's. It's not. It's not super clear cut. Like, oh, you simply don't make enough money because you have a vagina. You're a woman. It's more complicated than that. Like you said, women go into specific fields because they're not welcomed in those STEM spaces. They're not welcomed in those harder jobs. They're not welcomed in those technical roles. They're not welcomed in the trade fields. I was a math major when I started college. All of my math professors shitted on me real bad. And I was struggling because I was the only person that looked like me in the classroom. I'm the only woman in the classroom. I'm the only black person in the classroom. I'm the only black woman in the classroom. That space was not welcome for me. I switched majors because it better fit my interests and I was able to find a safe space in economics at my college. But could you imagine the difference in me saying, oh, yeah, I have a math degree. People respected me way. And I'm, I don't think there's anything wrong with having an economics degree, but everybody was like, oh, you the shit. You got a your math major, yada, yada, yada. Math is dominated by men. So it's a hot like it's like a high acknowledgement for a woman to be in that space, but women are not welcome in those spaces. So yes, you're going to say that women go into specific fields that don't pay as much as men. They don't do the dangerous jobs. But I want to ask you when you ever invited a woman to be in that space, because that's the reality of the situation. We're not welcome there. I disagree. Mm, I and, disagree and, too. And the thing is this, it's not that women aren't welcome there. It's that women don't want to work those jobs. You don't see a line of women fighting to do offshore drilling, to get into law enforcement, to get into construction work, to get into any of these types of jobs. They want to go into other jobs that, are, let's be honest, they're not physical labor, which is fine. No, we were doing that. all of that during the world wars while everyone was off in the Okay, draft. and then when the men came back, what happened? D do it now. They went, they, went back, they went back to having a family. Because but women do do these jobs. There's a difference from somebody having an interest in something and somebody having the option to participate in it. A woman could want to pursue a field and have no support, no emotional support, no financial support, no capability of reaching in that realm because they don't have the resources that they need to accomplish that goal that doesn't mean that they don't want to do it but no. it doesn't mean that it's welcoming them either okay so number one about being welcome i i 100 disagree because if a woman enters a workforce or a, a marketplace that heavily has men they're going to be incentivized to hire that woman affirmative action is real and if you're an african-american woman you're going to be even more likely to be hired let's keep it a thousand mm -hmm. okay so 
that that's number one. They're going to always prefer women in uh, male dominated fields because they want to diversify. Every workplace wants to diversify, especially in 2022. And then uh, you mentioned getting picked on and being in math class. Here's the reality. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like the way you said that because I feel like you kind of. No, no, no. I'm, I'm being, I'm being respectful, right? So, give my credit where it's due. I was the only black woman in calculus too, with A in the class, and I had nobody to do a work with me. Don't belittle it like, oh, she was getting laughed at in math class because, like I said, I was a math major. I'm going to continue to laugh because here's the reality: men laugh at each other. You're entering a male workspace, which means, guess what? You're going to be treated what you fought for, equality. It's not easy. You're going to get roasted just like the men do. Why is it? that women think they're gonna come into a male dominated space and get special treatment. Last time I checked, feminism fought for equality, correct? Correct. So you're gonna get picked on just like the fucking guys in there. They're gonna make fun of you. They're gonna make jokes. They're not gonna compromise their unit or whatever else they got going because a woman's in a place. If you don't want to handle male jokes and how males operate, that's fine. You don't have to be there, but understand everyone gets roasted. The very thing you fought for, equality, is what you're getting. But now you're mad because you're getting said equality in the face of jokes, ridicule, whatever. Men are 10 times harder on each other than we are on women. You just heard me call fucking Mo a whale. None of y'all said shit when I said that. Or making mm-hmm. fun of him for being I fat. But, I did. Mean, me a three. Yeah. So there you go. But, but that's the thing. Uh, women, fresh. the thing is this, man. <laughs> y'all want to come into male spaces and change the male space. You can't. It's either adapt and accept or don't come in. But men are not going to necessarily change. This is how it is. Men horse around. Men have fun. Make, make, men make jokes. And as, to be honest with you, if they're not making jokes with you, that's a bad sign. They don't trust you. Right. So do you want equality or do you want special treatment? Well, special if we were being equal here, you would be talking to me the way that I'm talking to you. Right. But I'm direct. This is just how I speak. I speak to no, men like this. I, think, I speak to everyone I like think this. I was pretty direct and clear in my ways that I was articulating what I had to say. But I never tried to mock you or minimize what you were explaining. But at the same time, you did like we're we're here to share our perspective and i understand that the at the end of the day it's just a matter of fact this is what it is but these conversations hold no value if you're not willing to listen to someone else's perspective and enhance your understanding of a situation i was listening extremely close to everything you but said I'm which saying, is why i addressed every single point you made but and she, the girls agree too i addressed every single point you made i'm listening extremely so close the, the problem is this i'm going to be a thousand you're in your emotions right now if i say the sky is blue versus the sky is fucking blue. It does not change the fact that the sky is blue. Correct. How I deliver the facts is irrelevant if I'm delivering the facts. You just don't like the fact that I'm being direct with you and telling you your arguments are weak because you can't come into a male Deep space breath. and get angry about men treating you like the other men in the same exact environment. Wait. And on top of that, you can't <laughs> say that you're being discriminated against when <laughs> if you apply for those jobs, you have a f- far higher likelihood of getting hired for such jobs. Again. Women make less money on average, not because of the fact that they're a woman. It's because of their personal choices. And like I said before, the very jobs you mentioned, math, technology, engineering, et cetera, those all require what? A college degree. And last time I checked, women dominate college, yet they still are a small percentage of STEM. So what does that tell you? Um, Can I can I interject? Yeah, go ahead. And then you have some and then you could spin it back to you. Okay. So what I wanted to say was this is the fact that the jokes that you make with your male colleagues or your male classmates, it's not the same jokes that you're making with your female colleagues and your female classmates. And then also what I wanted to say was, yeah, we can go into the same field, have the same degree. But like you said, I me, I'm just saying in general, not saying me, Mm -hmm. um, but. I am going to be tested and tried. They're going to make the attempt to try to pay me less. Why, when a man steps to you, you decide to pay him this amount of money. But when I step to you with the same amount of experience, the same amount of college degree, you take it upon yourself to try to pay me 80 cents on a dollar. I should automatically be set at the same price as a male. And that's where equality steps in. Because at the end of the day, people scream equality, just like people scream, you know, we're all equal because we all have the, we're all human but we all know that's not the reality that we live in it's all on perspective so if you're working for um quote unquote a white man or whatever he's gonna automatically have natural stereotypes seen from his background and where he's from and all of that so all of that comes into play when you're speaking on something like that so to say that oh women don't choose to go into these fields because they can't handle or whatever how their colleagues and their and their co-workers 
but you said you said this you said that oh they're gonna treat you like how they treat other males but like i said the jokes that you're cracking on your male colleagues is not the same jokes that you're cracking on her the same jokes that when um black black people sorry to go into that part or whatever the same way when black people first enter certain fields or whatever they weren't treated the same and they had to build up into that or whatever so that's i just wanted to say that or whatever okay so you you said a couple issues there Number one, why is it when I step to a man, I only get 80 cents on the dollar? Here's the thing. You got to understand that equality of outcome is not the same as equality of opportunity. You have the opportunity, <clears throat> but that does not necessarily mean you're going to get the same outcome. That man may, might have more experience than you, might have more time than you on the job, might have other certain prerequisites that you might not necessarily possess, and he might argue for a higher wage. Statistically speaking, men argue for higher wages than women do, and that is another reason why they get higher wages because they argue for it and men are less agreeable. Women tend to be more agreeable and right they're more back. likely to not negotiate for a higher wage. Sorry to interject, but I said that um, if women had the same experience and the same, um, basically we level out the same exact way, why is it that, you know? Incorrect. Like it's already been done. And as a matter of fact, the women make more money. They did this at Google. Yeah. They looked at the women and the men make working at Google, which is tech, by the way. And guess what happened? They found that the women actually made more money than the men yep. when they kept when they kept apples to apples and oranges to oranges. The thing is, this: you guys are trying to compare apples to oranges, which is the issue. You guys are trying to say men make more money than women. Well, yeah. we got to dig a little bit deeper and look at why. And then when you actually look at the data about why women make less, it makes sense. Women don't work dangerous jobs that pay more. And also, it's illegal to pay somebody less based off of gender. Right. So you can go out, go to, go to the, uh, the lawyer and that, and they fight that in court. Yeah. They don't necessarily have to say win. they're sorry so, for interjecting, but they don't necessarily have to say, well, I'm not going to pay you because you have a pussy. Right. They're just going to say, oh, well, because of your experience, because of this, because yeah, of exactly. that, the they're going to give their, no, but I'm saying so, they're going to just say anything just to get by. It may not necessarily be experience because there's men that's working in certain industries that have been working in industries for years and they don't hire them they hire their son or whatever to take lead or whatever and become ceo or, or whatever the case is because that's what they have going on people join these um fraternities and whatnot and get opportunities based off the people they know and the and, and whatnot it's and people always say this too it's not about who you it's not about what you know it's who you know or whatever so you can't just say oh yeah because you can go to court and da da da. at the end of the day what's on paper what they choose to say out loud determines the outcome yeah, who you know. Yeah, it's a world of who you know. Like, right. I don't see guys complaining about girls getting into clubs for free, getting accesses to certain situations for free because they're women that men can't. They do. The thing is this. Women get mad about double standards when it doesn't benefit them. Yep. See, but can, can I right, interject? Sure. So, uh, listen, if I'm being totally, uh, like I said, I say a lot of unpopular, you know, opinions when it comes to women, and I normally get a lot of shit you for it. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But... um exactly what you women are talking about i've never experienced why because i come into the room i know i'm in a room full of men right so guess what i have to put on my cape and my mask and i have to be like yo this is what it is this is what i can bring to the table and if you don't like it i'm just gonna fucking move on and you're gonna That's move it. on and they're gonna find a man to take your spot right because it's somebody else is gonna settle for what i didn't so like i said if you don't want that to happen then don't settle for that eventually you're gonna get it Perfect. i have never experienced as a matter of fact in my field before i be before I finished college and, you know, did my whole thing and whatever the case may be, I was in restaurant management. You know how you know how long it took me to get there? Two years. Do you know how hard it is to manage a restaurant as a woman? It's hard. And a high-end restaurant at that. I'm not talking about fucking Chili's. I'm talking about places where people are coming to spend thousands of dollars, right? I'm dealing with people who got money every day. People are in my face, calling me names, bitches. I got to kick people out. In Atlanta, I'm kicking people out with security, trying to, it's, you yeah, know what I'm God saying? Damn. So damn sorry yeah no no, no 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 you're right i'm from atlanta guys if you didn't know um anyway so yeah I, as a matter of fact on my team i was the highest paid manager and i wasn't even a gm why because i went in there and i'm just like yo this is what it is this is what it is there's no less i know what i can bring to the table so my point is my point is to women is like i get it right because i'm a woman i get it i understand what the statistic is what we used to do what we but, you know, just like you said, you have to work a little harder to get there. It is what it is. That's the reality. You got to do it. Right. But there's a difference between 
reality and what's right. And if we, we know just, that, but it's the reality and it's like never going to change. Right. 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 I mean, it's, it's not going to change. It's the baby. intention to just sit here and talk about what already exists. Like we don't know it or is mm -hmm. the, or is the intention to articulate meaningful conversation where we can add perspective and change Absolutely. our way of thinking. See, but I there's like a million that. women who do no, that. No, I like that. Right. Cause you're right. We should talk about changing things. But let's be real here. Is it going to change? No, not. it's not. So we say here, here's the facts. Here's how we feel about it. But that's real here. Our feelings don't, don't matter because nothing's going to change. Right. So I get what you're saying. And is, is it fear? Hell no. It's not fucking fear. I'm, I'm mad that that happened to you. But at the same time, it's like, yo, what are we going to do about it? Yeah, I mean, I, I gave you fact after fact after fact as to why your arguments don't stand and they don't adhere to reality. And you got you were more concerned about my tone or yeah, me laughing yeah. about something yeah. over telling you the, the cold, hard truth no, no that women earn less because of choice, right. not because of the fact <laughs> that they're women. And then going into a male workplace and they might laugh at you or, you know, you said uh, bully you or whatever it may be. That's just how men operate. Like that's that's how men do things. We bully each other. We clown each other. It's just all I'm saying is this. Women fought for equality. And when you guys get to set equality, you complain about it. It's it's crazy to me. Do you have some? Go ahead. Yes. And then I'll turn it back to you. So Damn, you I've been holding my breath with this one. <laughs> yeah, go I, ahead, please. I wanted to be. I wanted to talk about because I I respectfully disagree with the fact that you sure. said um, that women choose not to be in these occupations. My perspective is even from which occupations to be specific. Well, STEM, whatever STEM okay. or drilling, all those masculine jobs that society considers yeah. to be masculine. Yeah, I I know, and I think that that was contradicting. I know that from from the very beginning, since we're kids, if you guys ever think about it, society sets us up to believe that certain jobs are only for certain genders. Mm. Right. They even do us very very subtle in ways like as a kid at least for me my experience with my brothers is my mom's like this is a dress you don't mess it up you're a girl you don't you don't roll in the mud don't mess it up you're a pretty girl this that, and the third when it comes to guys it's like he got mud on it i think i have an extra t-shirt for him in the back because it's it's expected by society that men are a certain characteristics compared to women and that goes into the fact that they already teach us at when we're growing up elementary middle high school like they're already telling us these are the occupations most women are in don't wouldn't it be be nice to be a teacher most of your teachers are women most most teachers are women mm -hmm. and most of your teachers are women so when you're growing up you're seeing it you're seeing it in reality. You're seeing that your teacher is a woman. You're like, okay, this job must be for only women or must be for the majority of the women, gender, species, whatever. I feel like it's already... Right. Sorry. I think that it's already put in our minds, in our daily lives, even as a kid growing up, that there are only certain jobs that are for women. And, and they're not saying it's not possible for women to do other jobs that they consider masculine, mm -hmm. it's the possible. This it's open. But it's America. You can do what you want to do. Sky's the limit, right? Mm -hmm. But there's just saying, okay, well, when you are considering occupation, consider that this is usually what women do. Yes, it could be because you feel like women um, don't want to do hard jobs, and that is a factor. Most women don't want to lift the women, uh, lift the finger. I wouldn't want to if I can get paid and I have to lift the finger. I would, okay. But <laughs> it's the fact that. At the end of the day, it's already told to us that you only have a, a couple of options and you're able to go out of that that surrounding options that, or possibilities that they give you. But it's like it's not it's already told to us as a kid. So, so you don't have the patriarchy. Right. That's the patriarchy. Right. I taught kids for, for five years. Um, I never once thought that, hey, listen, teaching kids. I've taught pre-K to fifth grade for one year right, me too. and fourth grade, uh, well, sixth grade to 12th grade for right. four years. I never once thought, hey, listen, um, this is for women or society tells me to do certain things. I said, here's something I'm going to do as a male. I'm, I'm going to fucking do it. So fuck what society thinks. I'm going to fucking do it because at the end of the day, it's like I have my own choice. Why should I right. bend a fold to what society tells me to do? Correct. And as right. a male, it's a choice. It's a choice. So mm -hmm. Myron was saying earlier, women tend to fold from choices or it's a choice that they make and they choose to do certain things. So as a male, you just do what you fucking all right. want. Well, just, let's let's use our logic back. Okay. So, all right, let's go into a dream world real quick because basically your argument, and let me make sure I have this right, yes. is that you're a product of your environment. Right, so it's an influence. you were influenced by your environment right. to not it, not want to work masculine jobs. Right, quote, right, unquote, right. STEM, et cetera. All right, cool, fantastic. Right. Uh -oh. Let's go into a dream world. It's 1985. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna lose that. No, no, no. We're gonna use that logic back. All right, we're gonna okay. use that logic back. 
because sometimes I have to show you guys your logic so you guys understand where mm-hmm, I'm coming from here. Mm-hmm. So it's 1985. We're in Brooklyn. I'm selling all kinds of crap, baby. All right? So I'm making crazy dough. New York, okay. all right? New York. All right, I'm out here. I'm trapping all over the place. I'm serving fiends. Lean back. All right? Crack is just coming into the market. I'm killing it. Right. My Colombian guy got me hooked up. I'm getting a couple keys a week. I'm killing it. I grew right. up in the hood. No right. mom, no dad, just a single mom. Mm-hmm. I had to make ends meet. Right? right? It is what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm selling dro- dope. Allegedly. 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 Right? <laughs> Next thing you know, two years pass by. I got... A Ferrari, got crazy money. I'm chilling. Three shorties in the bed with me. It's 1987. I got my fucking Adidas tracksuit. I'm like in my Kango hat. Next thing you know, FBI, open up. Oh, shit. Right. They fucking take my dumb ass down to the station. Right? As they, as they should. Exactly. Right. And he sits next to me. The, fe- the feds come down. <laughs> illegal activities. Right? right? And I'm sitting there in the fucking dark room with the light and shit. And they're like, we got you, Myron. We got the keys. We got your company and collect. We got the phones. Well, the beepers. We know you're selling this dope, motherfucker. Right. Damn, you're pretty good at this. Right. Got you. <laughs> right. Uh, right. This right. 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 He's this. He's this. He's He's done this before. He's sure. this point, <laughs> motherfucker, I don't even need your statement. You're going to go to prison for at least 30 years because it's crack. Right. I'm, so I'm looking at him like, well, this agent. You gotta understand, bro. It was my environment. I had no choice. I had to sell the dope. It was the only way they raised me to sell the dope. Man. I grew up in the hood, bro. Come on. He's gonna well, tell you to go fuck yourself. Look at me like, uh, okay, <laughs> you stupid. And I'm gonna serve thirty years in jail. Correct. The point is this, ladies. Okay. I grew up in a terrible environment. Mm-hmm. I had everybody telling me I should sell dope. My entire environment made me do it, right? But I made a choice right. to sell the drugs instead of going against the grain and doing what's best. Right. That's the same exact argument you're saying. I'm a product of my environment. Right. They're telling me I can't do this, blah, 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 which I would argue is actually different because nowadays we tell women they can do anything they want right, to do. Right, right. That's right? now. And then on top of that, there's more women in college than ever before. So you guys have the greatest opportunity right now, right here, right now to make this kind of money and compete with men in STEM, but you guys choose not to. Right. So it comes down once again to choice, man. And if you do choose to go into STEM, math, engineering, technology, mm-hmm. Just understand, you have a way higher likelihood of getting hired for the job, and you're going to beat out a man that's more qualified than you. Here's the reality. Women don't want to do these jobs. They don't want to apply for these jobs. And on a balance of averages, uh, uh, sorry, on, on average, women don't want to work physical manual uh, jobs. That's just what it is. Right. So we can't sit here and say, it's the environment. Ba-da-da. That's a terrible argument. I'm doing 30 years in jail because of the environment. Nah, I got a choice to make. I can sell the dope. Or I can go to school and become right. a somebody. I decided to sell the dope. And I can't use the argument of I'm a product of my environment. That's that's a crazy logic to use. Okay. But, At the end of the day, no one holds you back from going right. to school and going to college. You and have more opportunities you as a woman right. now. I would argue women have more rights and privileges now than men do. Correct. I can't think of a right or privilege that a man has that a woman does not enjoy. Name one. But I can name a couple that women enjoy that men don't. Like, yeah, tell me, please. Y'all can abort a baby against my will. Y'all don't have to join the selective service in the military. Uh, the baby's not in your stomach. You don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it's but here's the reality: if you choose to have the said baby, now I have no say, and I got to pay you. Facts. Right. Yep. So whose fault is that? Don't put your PP in me. Oh, I mean, well, no, 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 no. It takes two right. to tangle. Right. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't have okay. Okay. Didn't have to I get that, but you're making a scene as if. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on, I get that. I understand. You're saying, well, you don't really got to say when it comes to you. Don't. That's unfortunate. You are not me. You don't have to say whether I abort the baby or keep it. And if you don't want to take care of your child that we both worked on and decide to take money from you, that's your that's your consequence. That's not my problem. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. That's not my problem. No, 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 no. no. So, nah. so when you want to keep it, <laughs> no. it's not, when you want to keep it, now it's both of us. But when I say I want to keep it, yeah, it's no. my choice. No, yeah. if I don't want to keep it, it is both of our decisions, but I can only, I don't need to, I can only consider what you say. I don't gotcha. have to take what you say. What Whether oh, it's consider. me keep, yes, whether it's me keeping the baby or not. It's us. Yes, together we made that child, but you're not the one that's gonna have to carry it for nine months. With you're that being said, point. with that being said, you're missing the point. No, with that being said, yes, I can consider what you say. You have a say in it. All I have to do is consider it. I don't have to take it. That's the problem. That's that's, that's what he's saying, though. No, no, that's not. What that's he's not what he's saying. Because if you really no. wanted a baby, what, there's... what did I say prior to? Because you said I, you said, no, oh, no, I don't no, have no, a choice. Whoa, 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 relax. Number one, number two. What, what, what we're talking about prior to this abortion thing. 
Choice. Men not having and certain having, choices. Let me rewind right. it for you guys. Because yeah. I'm listening closer than you guys are. Right. Which I strictly said, I don't know any privileges or accesses that women have that men, that uh, any rights and privileges that men have that women don't. And then I gave the example of abortion. And then you guys got all triggered. I'm simply saying, your body, your choice, but I don't have the option of my wallet, my choice. So it proves my point. Mm. Okay? You are going to getting all triggered actually prove right. my point even now further. Get triggered. That I have no say. I just didn't agree. Okay. So I, I need y'all right. to listen to what I'm saying. Right. But I need y'all to listen to what I'm saying right. versus getting triggered. Because you don't Nobody even remember the argument triggered. that led to that. No, you, you you didn't even remember. No, right. That means I wasn't listening. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. please listen. Because we're because I'm listening He's extremely stupid. close. Well, to I'm everybody. listening. No, y'all are not. Y'all are hearing. Don't say y'all. Respond. Correct. You, 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 well, you were going to join her in the abortion thing. No, I, I'm definitely going to uh, join her in the right. abortion Why? thing because at the end of the day, if you really wanted a child, there's measures that you can take to have a child without me having to be involved. There's different type of surrogacies. There's different type of things <laughs> for you to use. You decided to have you decided to have raw sex with someone or whatever, and you did not think of what they wanted. You didn't say, hey, right. you if I if I have if I nut in you, are you gonna abort my jit or are you finna let me I just, keep it? I just came like, off like entitlement. Why would you it even let it get that far? Not, ladies, ladies, at ladies. the end of the day it's her body. It's I nine simply months. Said, I simply it, said that women have more privileges and rights than men do. I just and I don't, said, but that was a horrible and, example. No, yeah, that was came off entitlement. That's how it came off. Hold on. Let me finish. Sorry. I'm simply saying that there's no right or privilege that I can think of that a man has that a woman does not. However, I can think of rights and privileges that women enjoy that men don't. And I simply gave the abortion situation. And then your guys' argument, which says, well, it's my body. I can do what I want. Cool. That proves my point that I have zero authority in who gets born, even if I have the child. And what I'm saying, I'm spinning it back. If I have the kid with you and I say, keep it, you can say, fuck you, nigga, I'm not doing it. Right. But on the other end, you can say, I'm keeping it. Now I'm liable financially. Right. Your body, your choice, but it's not my wallet, my choice. So that right there right. is a privilege right. and access that women have that men don't enjoy. And then selective service. I, at 18 years old, must join the military or, or excuse me, sign up for the military to be drafted. You do not. OK. Right. So not only do you guys enjoy the benefits and perks of being a woman. But you also get all the same rights and privileges that men do. So I would argue, you guys are saying, we're systematically oppressed or whatever. That's false. In today's day and age, women have it better than ever before. You had something? Yeah. Um, the abortion example is not going to cut it for right. me. Just oh, because. Sorry, Myron. Sorry, Myron. It's not going to cut it like for me. Because right. men no, have right. the choice of who they impregnate. Right. I can't control if you put your sperm in my body. Right. 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 You can no, control you, who puts a condom on. No, no, no. Yeah, no. A, a man. No. Let, let her talk. A let man, her talk, guys. A man decides if he's going to ejaculate in a woman's right. body. I can't make that decision for you. Right. Mm-hmm. When you ejaculate in my body, you are transferring your rite of passage, deciding if we're going to keep this baby. Because if you're going to ejaculate right. in me, that is you telling me <laughs> that, hey, you know what? I want to have a kid with you right. or I don't care about the repercussions of getting you Talk impregnated. Your shit, Talk your shit. Right. And Talk then at that shit. point, <laughs> the transfer of power goes from you to me because I couldn't make you ejaculate in me. Talk that was your, your choice. I can't impregnate myself. That was your choice. Once you transfer that into my body, it becomes my choice Talk on how shit. I handle that. Talk your shit. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let me rewind this one more time. I, I, I can't believe that we're even having this discussion. I think some of you guys are start, starting to feel my pain here. Yeah. I said going to go through this like very nice and slow <laughs> and i'm not doing this to try to make fun of y'all but you guys are not listening i get it that was just an example and we're just saying the deep. example wasn't particularly yeah. the greatest you could have but yeah i guess that does prove your point congrats for me it will never prove the point because honestly i've never it, it, i'm sorry well, the point was, real quick real quick what was the point that i made you made the point that it at, at the end of the day it's a choice on <clears throat> At the end of the day, it's a woman's choice on the career and what they choose to accept on on the way they go about their their job preference and stuff. But me personally, um, further than that, because there was something else that led to this abortion topic. Mm -hmm. What led to that? Okay, so what led to the (laughs) I hate being put on the spot. So it led to um, the abortion topic was the fact that. um, (sighs) Women have more privilege. Women have more privilege than men do. It's okay. Let me remind you guys. That's what he said. Exactly. Thank you. I said. There are no benefits that a man enjoys or rights or privileges that a woman does not also enjoy. And I would argue that women have more rights and privileges than men do. And I gave abortion as an example. 
because mm-hmm. even though it takes two of us to make the child, mm-hmm. I have zero authority and what happens. Now, you mentioned, well, I can't control that you came inside me, but you also can control who you sleep with. Correct. So, right. And, who puts, and protection, too, right? vice it takes, versa. It takes, but here's the thing. You are in control of who enters you, whether it's with a condom or not. All I'm simply <laughs> saying is this. You have 100% authority, correct? In in which part? Not right. After yeah. the semen leaves me and goes into you, who has the authority? Me. The woman. Okay. But, but you, you have the authority, authority in the first, in the first half, place. Like, right. Him, you right. Him. Okay. But here, but, but who, has, like, who like, has the ultimate authority of who has sex? Ultimately. You're saying ultimately, but it's it, there's so many factors that play in that one situation, which mm-hmm. is why the situation does not, it doesn't, it's not a good Let's example. This, this is very black and white and objective here. That's- Let's get out the feelings. Who has the authority in the man having sex? I want to ask like a real question though. Let me finish this. Who has the authority, men mm-hmm. or women? Yes or no? In how women women have the authority. See, okay. Now, you guys are aware of the fact that with authority comes what? Responsibility. Responsibility. Shout Spider-Man. Out Spider-Man. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you cannot have 100% authority and then come back and say, well, I only have 50% of the responsibility. No. When you take 100% authority, you get 100% responsibility. But the system that we have doesn't have that. You have 100% authority, but you can choose and pick your responsibility to be 50% because you can put the man on child support right. even though he has no say in it, but I cannot force you to keep the child. It's simple logic, guys. See, right. but the way that you're describing it is like abortion is the it's like, not even... end all be all of that pregnancy process. There are multiple steps that go into right. a pregnancy. Part of it is under That's... your control. Part of it is under my control. Right. So when I decide to keep that baby and put that responsibility on you, it's still 50-50, just like it was to conceive and follow through with the birth. But you're wait, so, you had 100% of the authority in the decision. You did at no, one point as well. One point. That's what I'm you saying. Did it's a as... transfer of power right. because I couldn't make you ejaculate in my body. You right. chose to do that and then you passed okay, the power Okay, but wait, wait. Sure. Okay, so can I ask my question now? Because I'm really going to answer now. Um... Okay, so but but what you're telling me right now is if that you're having sex with a man who is not your boyfriend, right. let's just say we're just fucking, right? right? And he ejaculates in you, you're he's gonna leave that room and you're gonna be like, oh well, fuck it, he ejaculated in me, so I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm confused. What did you want me to do about it? Like, um, like, there's store. The, first of all, there's contraceptive. Like, if you're not like, using a condom, uh-huh. if you're not gonna use a condom, right? There's Plan B. There's birth yeah, control. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Well, first, but first of all, you shouldn't be letting no man that is not your boyfriend or your significant other ejaculate right. in you. Right. Or you well, need I, no I ain't That's nobody's an baby mama and I don't have no kids. Me so neither. this don't really apply to me whatsoever. Me, right. But I'm Speaking saying in general, the world that's revolving around that, you, okay? I'm just saying, I don't have no kids. I'm not a baby mom. So I'm not talking about myself, obviously. Right. But, well, yeah, but no, I am no. saying that. When you have sex with somebody, and again, this is why we should be careful with who we have sex with. Right, I'm totally on board right. that. I am all for that. Right. But if we're talking about in the context of women having rights and the the final say so and choice of abortion, you have to account for the fact that that man had a choice and a say so when right. he decided to have sex with you, and right. not only that, right. decided to ejaculate yeah, in you. But you, sure, but you also have a choice. Have a choice yeah. too. I never said I didn't have a choice. Okay. I never said I didn't have a choice. I said the power split is 50 right. 50 because I'm well, talking about wait, two wait, parts. Okay, so wait, wait, not, I'm talking about two different the parts. parts. There are over peace and love, peace and love. of ch- contraception, bro. Correct. Like there's literally right. more than Baskin Robbins flavors. Correct. And you're over here telling me, oh, no, I had a choice. Again, this goes back to the guys, ladies. Focus, man. I'm simply saying there's no rights and privileges that a man enjoys that a woman does not. And I gave the example of abortion. You guys are stuck on the fact that we're talking about abortion and changing the whole situation. I'm simply saying you can abort the child, but I can't keep the child. Therefore, that's a right and privilege that I don't enjoy as a man. When you guys are trying to sit here and tell me that women are oppressed, you guys are not oppressed. You guys have more rights and privileges than us. And I simply gave abortion as an example. Correct. Which was a terrible one. Right, I'm not going to agree. Yeah, no, that, that example was... <laughs> the, it was right. The reason, that was, the reason was why not. the example doesn't work is because it's a controversial topic regardless mm-hmm. of what uh, we're talking about mm-hmm. in terms of abortion. It's mm-hmm. a sensitive topic. It's controversial. Mm-hmm. Two, why is, I just sat even, here, I just sat here and gave you an example of where you held power right. and choice mm-hmm. in right. that instance. Pregnancy is not right. a one, like a one-step process. There is... Con- you're being like you conceive the child you carry through the pregnancy you have the child right there are multiple elements that go into a pregnancy it's i couldn't force you to you're more focused on the pregnancy than the fact that i said that well women no because i kept telling you that you had a choice right. women have the ultimate right when it comes to pregnancy and abortion women have unilateral control over who is born in the united states and men do not but okay. i feel like that's okay. artificial okay absolutely. okay then to end that 
<laughs> men have complete control of impregnating women. So right. And you have, every, every, fine, you have fine, complete right. control of removing saying, that ejaculation from your body. Like, right. right. And, so, so, you're, I, so you're telling me, right, if you got grits, are you going to keep it? No, I'm okay not then, baby. So that's, that's the whole, the whole point. point. You have control at the end of the day, right? Bro. But, but, but did the rapist not, not have control when they impregnated me in this situation? Bro. That's a terrible no, example. No, I'm really, you're, you're saying you're, because there's some people who what, still decide to keep their I feel like you guys are no. I feel like we have no say. I, so I the choice, timer. the choice was mine in an instance where I was hypothetically raped by somebody and impregnated. No, no. The choice ultimately is at the end to say, you know what, keep it or not. He can't tell you to keep it. You have to make a choice, right? She's right. more concerned with the examples being used than right. being applied. I, just feel like I still, yeah. Even if we, t- even if we, yeah. even if we're like, not talking about the sensitivity of abortion, getting pregnant, whatever. Oh I literally said what step men just, had the right. say so and the choice in. I don't. Yeah, think you was, guys are acting like like the impregnating a woman would just wasn't a factor. You're in missing the point. I, I simply said there are no rights and privileges that a man has that a woman does not. And I used abortion as an example. You're more yeah. triggered about the fact that it's controversial and sensitive. It does not change the fact that it is a fact that women have unilateral control over everyone born in the United States and men do not, which is a right and privilege that you guys enjoy solely. Point done. It's a fact. I don't care about your feelings. I just I can't believe that you can't understand I can't this. I, think it's, I just think it's pregnant. Pregnant. I can't believe y'all don't understand this. I just think it's... I can't it's, get anybody pregnant. That is a privilege you have over I just me. Think it's I could never give somebody a baby. Because you're saying ultimately as if you're smoothing past the all the... And I get what you're saying. Ultimately, yes, you are right. That's an example that'll prove that guys don't have the authority that women can't in that situation. Great. That's argument. We, we, we're That's acknowledging it. that, but we're, we're going to... St- Go back and say you can't smooth over the first step, being that y'all have power. It's you're right. At the end of the day, once I'm impregnated, once I'm impregnated, it's <laughs> that is funny. I'm very closely. Yeah, because nobody's very, very with y'all. Um, the fact that y'all are smoothing over the beginning of, of the of the fact that when we first had sex, and yes, I understand y'all are saying get rid of the baby, this and the third. Yes. Right. You are saying it from a generalized perspective of everybody is in good standing financially yes. their life is great whatever they have the choice to go to the store and buy it yes. they have the choice to ask the guy to buy it they, right that i but get that. that but the fact is when we first started having sex it, it was a unified choice that i was gonna sleep with you you was gonna sleep with me and at that moment that you ejaculated because you could have pulled out sir since and you didn't want to use the condom yeah. pull out there's pre-cum pull, yeah, uh, 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 pre-cum but that's oh, great oh, you, better no, ejaculate. Nice. you better yeah you better stroke your dick before you put pre-cum it in me baby not a you should have do something do something do yeah. something, do something. you have a choice and that's what i'm saying is that yes in this example women have the choice the advantage in in abortion but you said that there is nothing that a woman had wait what was it it was there was nothing that a man can do that a woman can't I'm telling you that a woman cannot impregnate somebody and choose to impregnate. Right. Them. So that and is, choose that to walk is away and leave the baby. That is a choice no, that right. men oh, have. You missed Sorry. Point, you know, yeah, you missed a point. That being said, the after ultimate effect is you choose, right? Okay. So They're you, just going to go to the yeah, ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just skip the right. right. Yeah. Right. No. I'm not Ladies, really because it's, 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 it's common sense, man. Like right, I can't believe right. y- y'all are college grads and I'm li- literally like, yeah. I can't understand. I can't believe I'm this. not. This is, simple lo- <laughs> this is simple logic. Like <laughs> I, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. I, am I in a clown world right now? Yo. Yo, it's simple <laughs> logic. <laughs> <laughs> like all you're not funny. Men. <laughs> Women choose who has sex. Men do not choose who has sex. It's illegal. Huh? The woman picks the yeah. man for sex. Oh, I gotta go. I can't what? Go but it does, though. <laughs> I mean, whoa, 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 I get what he's whoa, whoa, saying. He's saying that if a man chooses, a man picks sex. Sex. So, so a fat girl can fuck on you and you don't got no choice? To fuck on them? Let's be honest, because you're saying can the whale oh fuck God. on you? Can the whale you? fuck on you and you going to have with you? Hold on. You don't gotta say. He just saying, right? Can the whale example, rape you? Y'all if, killing me? No, no. If you see a man, right, mm-hmm. and you don't want to be with him, mm-hmm. you can say no, right? Mm-hmm. But, but if he wants to be with you, he can't force it, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you say right now. Okay, girls okay. cannot force you to so, lay down with so them either. Ultimately, what type of nigga are you? You let a girl rape you? Wait, can you repeat that? Can you repeat it? Yo, they're not. Listen, that's the problem. Like they're not listening. Y'all are just hearing us. I'm saying. Can a man have sex with you without your consent legally? Yes, no, no, nobody can. Can, no, no, can you answer the same question vice, vice versa? versa? Let's keep it a thousand. <laughs> men, women, yes. women pick who has sex. You're men. keeping me a thousand. I'm not getting a yes or no. The I, I don't know. Can, what, can a girl just fuck on you? 
just like can a whale just fuck on you? You gonna let her lay you down and just just what ride you to the sunset? Like what are you gonna get you drunk and can abuse you and use you? It's still it's still taking advantage of a man. I think you you guys live in I don't don't know if you guys live in reality, but women don't don't go around saying I'm gonna fuck on you. Like that's not how this goes. You get the reality is one mic at a time. One mic at a time. Sorry. In reality, I'm it is saying, a lot harder for men to have sex with women than it is for women to right, have sex with men. Right, but I feel like you're failing to say that there's still a possibility and it still happens. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, stop. The exception does not make the rule. If if not if if one percent of women are out here graping dudes, right? That does not make the rule. That's one woman out of a hundred. Right, exactly. But on the other side, exactly. There's a hundred guys that are trying to get laid. They have to get permission from the woman. Right. So that you cannot use an exception to the rule. Right. Yeah, but you're saying, and I'm not arguing with you. I, well, you I, I, I'm not. You feel like I'm arguing with you, but I'm not. I'm just having you a conversation. With, and, oh, and it's and, right. and th- this is not a conversation. This is you're trying to debate things that are not that don't make oh. sense. So going back to what I was saying, a man cannot have sex with a woman without her consent, right? So women ultimately choose who has sex, correct? Correct. Yes or no? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Vice versa. Otherwise, Absolutely. It's a felony. Absolutely. Otherwise, right, it's so a felony. Vice versa. Okay. But, but women, right. can but I say you something? You can say vice versa, but vice versa doesn't but, apply because but women are running wait, around. Wait, it's a reality. Wait, like women are not said. running around wait. having sex with men against you, their will. You're That's saying just statistically to your knowledge. <laughs> no, yes, guys, can I just yeah, say wait, something right, really right, fast? Right, That's can right. I say something? Yes. So hey. I read something and a while ago, and it was a very true statement. It says, women fuck who they want. Men, Men fuck, fuck who, who they, they can. can. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Right. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Time Time out. Out. Hold on, Miss Sexton. You got anything you, you want out of here? You, you've been quiet for most of the show. <laughs> right. I mean, she knows. You want out of here? <laughs> I don't have anything to well, add. I'm just circle, listening. circle right. back to Lauren. the perfect. Line. All right, Lauren. If women aren't the gatekeepers, right. why is OnlyFans a billion dollar business? Correct. Right, 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 right. The girls go. Left, 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 left. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Left, 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 yeah. Left, left. All right, man. I'm, I'm, Wait. It's, it takes two to tango at the same time. Okay, man. Why do these fans. industries exist? Why are they billion dollar industries? Because men right. Thank you. are not able to have access to that decision of who they want to be with. Women, right. we ultimately decide, or, yes, it's against the law. Gotcha, Correct. Right. Correct. That's, that's all we're saying here. That's all they're saying. Why that's is it. that when she said it? Y'all were cool with it, but when I said yeah, it, no, 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 it's not the fact that you are not using logic when you say what you're saying. It's no, it's not even how he says it. Do you believe in intersectionality? The fuck? You don't know what No, 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 listen, listen. Oh my God. Intersectionality accounts for the fact that there are multiple parts at play in any given scenario, situation, circumstance, yes. right? My issue is when you're using your logic, you are skipping over so much intersectionality. And That's the whole saying. thing that you just told me like an hour ago was that we're not talking about the hypothetical dream world. We're talking about keeping it real. real. Reality is intersectionality. Right. There is no black and white it's when we come to social issues, when we come to talk about sexism, gender discrimination, differences between men and women. There is no clear cut. There is a lot of gray space. Gray space. There's 9 billion people on this planet. If we're going to keep it real, we have to deal with what's actually going on in multiple multiple realities at right. once, which is intersectionality. I understand that you're using logic, but you're skipping over a lot of reality in your I logic. What are we skipping over? Go ahead. Intersectionality Go ahead. covers the cross barriers that come between race, gender, mm. class, education, like health issues, being an able body versus disabilities. Like, I'm sorry, you said your name was Lola, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Lola said, there's a lot of circumstances that go into the decisions and the choices that we make as a group of women versus an independent, like single individual woman, men, community, co-ed, whatever. Right you still have to account for that intersectionality when you're assessing these situations because right. intersectionality exists. Whether whether you use it in your like ABC logic explanation, whatever, it exists. So if we're always going to keep it real, we're going to talk about reality. We're going to talk about it so is what right. it is, what's, what the world is. We're not going to be optimistic and talking about all this positive shit. Let's make sure we talk about what's actually going on outside of that one example that you're providing. You're going on a tangent right now that has nothing to do with the discussion yeah, at hand. Nothing. The discussion intersectionality at hand, does have a com- it, intersectionality does have ex- relevance. Okay, tell me it. how intersectionality applies to the situation of women having universal control 
over who gets born in the United States with men having zero. Please tell Explain us. us. Because, okay, for example, when you look at racial barriers, when you look at class barriers, all of these things are going to play a factor into people's choices. Like Lola said earlier, not everybody has the same choices. I may only have one or two options. She may have seven options. So mm -hmm. her reality is going to be a little bit different from mine. Right. That doesn't negate the fact that my reality is valid. Her reality is valid. But these two things exist at the same time. Right. Snaps. My like issue is that parenthood. you're making it seem like it's so black and white. Like, right. okay, we had sex. You're the one that has a control like, has the control of like, what you do with your body right. okay yes but like she said finances play a part the racial barriers play a part the mm -hmm. fact that black right. women can't get good OBGYNs is going to play a part in if they keep shit. that baby or not their That's health conditions shit. are going to determine if they keep that baby or not their right. social status is going to determine if they keep that baby or not that is also reality so if we're going to say let's keep it real let's talk about what it, it is what it is we're not trying to be in the wizard of oz being all positive account for all of reality we're not going to pick and choose what we're taking from reality which like, is why the rape wasn't such a good he's right when whatever he was oh Ladies, ooh, stop yes. saying, see, it, it, what, sorry sorry sorry, sorry 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 control sorry. your emotions so, all right so um are we speaking in generalities or minority outliers yeah because here's the thing you, like yeah here's the thing there are so many different you like about right. you're applying intersectionality and you're saying her reality my reality that's where you're wrong there's one reality okay the reality is there's 31 forms of contraception. Correct. The reality right. is there's and they're many, free. Let me uh, and the other reality is that as a woman, mm -hmm. you have Razor. multiple times during the time that you're pregnant where you can abort the baby. You can get a plan B the day after. Mm -hmm. You can get uh, another pill uh, a month later. You can get a condom before the sex. There's 31 forms of contraception. That's the reality. Now I know you're saying, well, race, social status, etc. All this plays into play. That's not what the conversation is. I am simply saying, number one, because we're going to bring this all the way full circle, there is no right or privilege that a man enjoys that a woman does not. That's a fact. Okay? And I used abortion as an example. I said, a man has no control over abortion. If I have the baby with you and I want to have the baby, I don't have a say in the child being born or not. You choose. It's pro-choice, which is fantastic. But again, it proves my point, which is what I said. Women enjoy a certain right and privilege that men don't. It's your body, but it is not my wallet. Well, your exact word pro, was that women... Pro-life, right? You, pro, you, it's your body, your choice, but it's not my wallet, my choice. So you can choose to have the child and drag me financially. Fine. That's a right and a privilege that men, women enjoy that men don't. So what I'm saying is this. With authority comes responsibility. Okay? So if you're a single mom or you get pregnant, it's your fault. Because there's multiple times you could have got off the highway of pregnancy, 31 to be exact. So if you want to say intersectionality and all this other stuff, it doesn't matter because a man only has one time to get off the highway. After he ejaculates in you, done. But the woman has multiple times she can get off. So therefore, that's you cannot even compare. But what you, you said, can't even compare. But what you said was there is no right or privilege that a man has that a woman doesn't. And, and I gave you example. a specific right example. It's just contradicted. Itself. I gave you a specific example where a man had a privilege in a situation that a woman didn't. Right. You are saying, yes, there's multiple options to have abortions to not keep the baby, whatever. I'm saying that I can't ejaculate in anybody and impregnate them. That is the privilege or the choice that a man has that, that I do not. That, right. Because you're hit the rewind button for me. Somebody spin the block. Yeah. Back. Right. Thank you. <laughs> because what you first said was there is nothing that a man can right. choose to do that a woman can't. I'm I'm quoting you Which now. Is why you're talking about a biological to... difference. You're talking about a biological no. difference versus that right. makes versus a right. I I said right and privilege. I'm... Well you said choice. It's a right. No, see, now you meant. Now yeah, you meant not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so me ejaculating okay. mm -hmm. is not a right. That's a bodily function that I <laughs> That's have. That's a choice that you made. No, no, but no. The, it's the not a right. right. You could have nutted on you the can bed, choose the back, to anywhere. Get rid of the baby or not. Right if I ejaculate, that doesn't mean that I have a choice. You. But at that it, point, you have all the choices. Well, no, no, no. My point was the ejaculation In was itself. the choice. But right. his point was a right or privilege. But you're a woman. You can't ejaculate. That's what my point. Hell? That's what well, she's saying. You're not a man. You're not a woman. You can't carry a baby for nine months and right. decide what to do with it. I mean, we could go back and forth on these little right. things all Which day. Which goes back to prove that's, that's that you have the ultimate right. That's the point. So, so you agree with me? But but do you you're see how? Us. Do you that's see? Right. No, no, no. They the are. words are changing because when we first started this, it was men don't have a choice that women don't. Now right. it's women, women have do. the ultimate right. 
We got to be no. consistent right. with the language. No, women no, have no, the no, choice. Wait, right. Change. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not changing it now because we just said, hey, ultimately, at the end of the day, whether we ejaculate, pre come great, whatever, it doesn't matter. You have the choice at the end of the day. That's, that's all we're saying. Right. It never right. changed. You're taking it into this whole other realm where it's like, bro, all we said is, hey, if a man sleeps, sleeps with you, ultimately, he has the choice to say, hey, you know what? I want a baby or not. I can't tell you to, what to do because it's your body. That's all we're saying. Your right. body, your choice. We said that, but I'm. I also made the comment that men did have a choice at some point in that process. Yeah, at some point, they no don't. No longer, though. Mm. At the beginning, maybe he did. Okay, so at if we're end, only talking, it. if we're only talking about the conception of the baby and thereafter, like if we're only yeah, talking about I feel the baby, we're saying. and even okay, still, a man okay, has a so choice not to raise the child. So we don't talk, asteroid. If we're only talking about after the fact, then okay, that's because what we, that's, we're talking about months. So we stick. Right, fuck it. All the night. It's 30 minutes of us saying the same thing back and forth. Right. That's what we y'all didn't want to acknowledge no, what we were saying. Now, you see, I'm like, we're on pause, right? Like, no, we're not on pause. We're, oh, oh. No, yeah. Have phones back on. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, so... I see him play the little. I'm going to take the longest piece of my life. <laughs> bro, bro. I'm like, I need to get I a see drink. why you're single. I need some coconut water. <laughs> I, I see why you're single. single. Yeah, because she's you're fucking... She knows right, her listen. Wow. The 30 minutes, he's been saying the same shit over, and then you've been doing the... Da, 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 the Matrix and shit. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> please listen to the fucking, you know, question. Sorry I mean, to say. I, I, I'll just say this. I'll just What's say this. From, from this uh, conversation, it was very clearly apparent to me that you guys were not listening. Because when I asked you to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say what? Did, what was said prior? Oh, you guys were not yeah. able to articulate what I said. We we had multiple conversations. However, that however, never however, however, I was able to clearly articulate back what you said to me. Yes, so I was listening. Mm-hmm. However, you guys were not. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we can say what we want to say, but you cannot have a healthy discussion with someone right. unless you actively listen to what they're saying. I'm right. writing down everything you guys are saying. Right. So I'm listening. Okay. Okay. Right. I attacked every single one of your points. Not you, even though you feel like you're attacked. And quite frankly, the wage gap does not exist. Ooh. And I systematically debunk that. It does not exist. Dang. Oppression is that you're trying to say, I'm a black woman and I'm being oppressed and it's fucked up. Cap, but you, you actually have more of an advantage. Wow. You have you have an advantage. It's just an okay. opinion. It's See, you, but, no, it's not an opinion. Because it fact. doesn't affect him. If you go okay. back, if, if you... Yo, this podcast is really crazy. No, it's not. Because it really everything... Is. <laughs> It is funny. because because not only not only do you pick the topic of conversation, but you also I didn't pick. You brought up the wave you, gap. You, you bait, brought it up. You bait the conversation with questions that you've already decided the answer to, regardless of what I have. The girls to say. disagree chat, with your ass. The chat asked the Other question. Other people disagree with you. Yeah. Also, the chat. It's disagree. your yeah. the chat, the chat I'm asked saying, the question. I'm saying that you the way that, that you're the way you're not even receiving what I'm saying because you've already made up in your mind how you're going to perceive right. this world. So yes, everything that I spit out is going to sound like horseshit to you because you were never open to listening to it I was in the first place. Mm-hmm. Extremely close to you everything you were saying. You were listening to find a mistake, not extremely, to hear what I had to say. No, I was listening we're all good. extremely closely That's, to every okay. single thing you said. All right, I'm Everything's done. Fine. Well, I mean... Yeah, I'll well, get off this. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, Ooh. if she wants to leave, that's fine. All right. I, I mean, like I said, if you can't articulate your points with fact versus emotion, then it's not. It's not emotion, but it's no. It was point, emotion. You had more issue with the way I spoke to you the, versus and what I. You draw the line because it seems like they can't hear you if you're gonna talk. You got talking about no, no. I'm just letting you know that they like, can't hear you. I'm I'm just letting you know that at some point you have to kind of draw the line with. What, like I feel like right now it's like I'm entertaining this game of sexism in this podcast, not having an actual like meaningful conversation because you would rather be like be right and like be like logic, 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 logic without actually discussing all the elements of reality in these conversations. Mm-hmm. We cannot mm-hmm. talk about sexism without yeah. talking about intersection intersectionality. Granted, I feel like you're picking out the pieces that are going to fit to what you have to say because you've already decided in your mind that you're right regardless of what i had to say it doesn't matter what i said i've watched question these... for you who brought up wage gap i brought up the wage gap because you said that there was nothing that women there was nothing that men have that women don't correct that came before yeah that came, that came after, after. Right, that came after, after. It It was because you said that women, um, they they make the choices on the on the careers that they choose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I I said they weren't welcomed in those spaces. I still stand on that. Yeah. And that's that's fine. And my argument to that was you actually your thing was we're not woke. You said I don't feel welcome in the spaces. Mm -hmm. And I'm simply saying if guys make fun or jokes or whatever, that's how men operate. It is what it is when you go into male space. They're going to treat you like the guys. So you can't complain about equality. Right. 
And then you get the equality and then complain about said equality and want preferential treatment to be treated like a lady. You cannot be treated. In other words, equality and being treated as a lady cannot coexist. But did I ever once say I need to be treated like a lady? Or well, treated with like, some respect? I don't, I don't believe that there's there's equality between genders because I still believe we live in a patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. I believe in intersectionality and I believe sexism exists. Mm -hmm. If you, It does. Okay, so for you... Reality is sexist. Right. And we and, can't change that. No, see, that's the difference between me and you because I believe in progress and you believe in just accepting things as they are. Question for you then, if you think sexism shouldn't exist. Oh, wow. So should women play in the NBA? Women have WNBA. Women Hold on. Have Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Do I believe that women in the WNBA should get the same treatment, sponsorships, pay, and, and preference, special but preference we, that men get in the NBA? We yes. don't support them, though, like the men. Do you watch the NBA? I do. NBA? I went to women's NBA? basketball games when NBA? I was in college. I don't watch either. I, I know people, I know I people in the WNBA as well. They ain't dunking. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if you guys know they this. They ain't dunking, so I mean, right. I'm You do sorry realize that. that there is no bar from allowing women to play in the NBA, correct? Correct. There was a woman who drafted in the NBA, and she did. You're absolutely right. So here's the thing. She did. Sexism exists a lot of the time to benefit women. Men don't really benefit from sexism. Women do. It allows you to All get right. into the military. Yeah. It allows some affirmative go, action. Was... No, no, this is a fact. I need my phone. No, I'm. Oh, like, so you want to fucking fact. listen when he's talking, huh? No, I listen to, to everything to you say. say. That, to say that Put men don't benefit phones, from sexism when they have literally created the patriarchal society that sexism exists in is absolutely absurd. There is a reason why men <clears throat> why hold all government myself? positions. There's a reason why men are all of the richest people in the world. There's a reason why. But Actually, women are, are there's more percentage of rich women now than there are men. the top 10 richest people I, in the world are more women. Gotcha, bitch. The top, we're talking about the top 10 richest people I'm in the saying, world. I'm saying the richest people in the world. There is literally like a top 10 chart, and they are all white men. Okay, yeah, uh, well, it depends. Are you talking about with... the wealthiest people? Or are you talking about in general who makes more money? Right, no, Two I'm not. Things. I'm talking about the wealthiest people in the world. I'm talking about the people that actually Whoa. make the everyday decisions that impact our lives. That's crazy because that oh, one... I thought right. Rihanna was a billionaire now. I'm secret. just saying, she's not the richest. Though. Right. Have you heard of yeah. Warren Buffett? Yeah, I, yeah. I Warren Buffett, I, but it doesn't matter. You're, you're talking about the richest people in the world. It, you're but it, uh, being a bill, being a bill, it's an uneven power distribution. That's my point. There is an uneven power distribution between men and women in this world. But you can't change it. Okay, you can't change it. I don't think like you. I'm progressive and I believe in change. So when How I are you going to change it? Having conversations like these. Right. This isn't I mean, going to do shit. Well, that's what you're doing. But you it brings awareness. Right. Right. It brings awareness. You're right. right. One mic, one mic. 10,000 people watching. One mic, one mic, one mic. I'll see a secret, right? Yeah. There's powers in this world that are there for a reason. And you can't change those powers. What you can do is talk about it and give people the real deal. If you can feel like there's hope, yes, there's hope. But let's be real here. Hope to change, not to change. Hope to understand what it what it is and adapt to it so that you can survive and, and live life. And here's the other thing too. So, because uh, so, there's a couple issues here. Number one, you keep complaining about the patriarchy. We don't know. Here's the thing. The reason why the patriarchy exists is because it works. The patriarchy, you're looking at the negatives. What you're not looking at is the positives. The fact that you have clean water. The fact that you have infrastructure. We have apartment buildings. Nice cameras. All these things that were created by men and a patriarchy. We don't know what a matriarchy can do. And you know what? There's no matriarchy that stood the test of time. Can you name one? We've had matriarchies throughout history. And why is there no history written on them? Because they were destroyed by men. The reality is this. Patriarchies exist to protect women because matriarchies do not work. And there's no history to show a matriarchy standing the test of time. Who started all the wars, though? So, all the wars were from. What are we being okay. protected from? I mean, from? if we're going to, okay, you cool. could say men started the wars, wars, but why did they start the wars? Tell me. Yeah. For power. For power Resources. to protect women. But protect us from what? Protect, protect us from what? Well, Where is your you statistics for this, sir? Because, because when men were going textbooks. out to war, they definitely, <laughs> when, when, when men were going out to war, their <laughs> women were being were attacked. Being, women being, stayed home. They didn't fight. Was holding but they it down, were still though. being attacked from My other. My question is the patriarchy is protecting women from what? Right. From other, other men. men. So the that's men, so I don't think y'all also benefit from that shit. So <laughs> men run the world to protect women from men, but men hold that power that controls what we do. This is why you have a gun it. to protect yourself from other people that please, have guns. Please, exactly. this is what it is. Fresh. Unfortunately, men Rip are comment, physically before. superior to women. Yes. So oh, therefore, you are not capable of defending uh, yourself uh, against okay, a man. All right. So y'all exist to protect us. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a biological fact. They got a point. This is biological fact. Men are physically superior to women. You guys cannot defend yourself against an able-bodied man. 
Therefore, you need an able-bodied man to protect you from another able-bodied man. Just like I have a gun to protect myself against other people that may have guns. That's why power, uh, powerful countries have nukes. Mm -hmm. You don't have to necessarily use it, but you need to have it there to protect yourself. It's insurance. Man. Now, going back to what you're saying, sexism is reality. But reality is sexist. Like mm -hmm. I told you before, sexism benefits women immensely. Because if we did not have sexism, women would not be allowed to play sports, etc. Because they would have to compete with who? Men. And y'all can't. So... Mm -hmm. Point, you can't you can't get mad at sexism when it benefits you when it uh, when it benefits men and then get mad at it when it doesn't benefit you because women enjoy a lot of benefits from sexism. Okay. Go fresh. Yeah. I, so, I, so I mean, what did I say that was wrong? Well, no, we have different perceptions of how like like you like you said like you're like this is what reality is. This isn't right. going to change. My mind doesn't work like that, so we're never going to see eye to eye. Yes, I so it's right. okay to just leave it at that because right. I'm okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit on the idea of growth. So let's, let's agree to disagree. Well, yeah, well we're okay. gonna have to because I can't argue with that if we're just Here's gonna say truth, fuck though. it. It is. But what I mean, it is. Chris has the point here. <laughs> she wants to change shit, but quick to walk out like she. she didn't I actually follow. graduated yeah, she with graduated. like graduated. I graduated with honors, but you changed you majors. I mean, like the thing is, is that I um, changed majors and you didn't even go to college. So what are you comparing oh, right oh, now? Wow, oh, baby, oh, you getting a little spicy. No, I'm just I'm saying. Like, you, I no, I'm just, I'm just replying to the comment, baby. Oh, That's it. You don't have to I'm take like, things to heart. Okay? No, because I'm like you're let's taking just it to heart, baby. You're being emotional, and that's a point that they're like to bring up. It's okay. I have no problem being emotional because I'm in with myself that's fine emotions I can't are tell. not a crime no, I can't emotions tell. are not a crime but, but they blunt logic mm -hmm, and, right. and when you blunt logic and reason issues arise mm -hmm. which again is another reason why there's more men in power because they're more <laughs> logically sound and that's a biological fact as when mm -hmm. as well men are more logically sound and use logic and reason women tend to use emotion and here's the problem when you use emotion it clouds your ability to make logical decisions so that's Here's the right. thing. You can get Dang. mad at what I said. Ooh. You can say get mad at like the couple uh I think the, the way I've said it, but it does not dispute the fact that what I'm saying are facts. Sexism is reality. The WNBA exists because of sexism. The fact that you can get into a nightclub for free exists because of sexism. The fact that women have certain opportunities, etc., affirmative action, whatever, exists because <laughs> of sexism. However, yes, the sexism hurt women in some ways. Yes, but I would argue that it benefits them more because you don't have to compete with men in certain arenas where you cannot necessarily compete. But men, however, don't get that benefit of sexism because they have to compete with other men. The same men that you're going to a math class with that they joke around and make jokes, etc. And you're getting the equality that you fought for because you cannot have... I, I mean, it, it just amazes me how you're arguing for sexism, but then you're getting the equality, but then you're getting mad about the equality that comes your way. Because you're getting treated like a guy, which is what equal. But so the, it's like, what what are we doing here? I'm sorry. The, no, we're talking to her. Okay. Okay. Me having an issue with sexism doesn't mean that I want to be treated how men treat other men. That means that I want to have like fair access to decide what. But that I do is with sexism my, in itself, because they're treating you different because you're a woman. They're treating me different because I'm a woman. But the way men treat each other isn't right, period. Just because just because that's the standard doesn't mean that it's right. So what I'm saying is, OK, you're saying that I'm upset because when I finally get equality, I'm treated like the other men are. That yeah. doesn't mean I have to agree with how men treat each other. I still see problems in how men treat each other. What I'm saying is I want equal but opportunity. you're not going to be able to change that, though. See, and that's what I'm saying. This conversation is no longer productive at that point, yeah. because if you're going to just say we're going to accept things as they are and I don't operate like that, like I'm a progressive thinker. I still have hope for better in the future. We're never going to see eye to eye. Yeah, because her thing is she believes she that it can be changed. I don't know how, but that's her belief. She Our belief is, hey, it's what it is. Take it or leave it. Here's the issue. Reality is amoral. Well, you're trying to make reality moral, and that, that's just not how things go. There's hungry children. There's people starving. Reality is amoral. Things suck. It is what it is. But see, but that's that's and, that, and you feel that way. That's okay. There's that's nothing, how it is. I there's feel nothing that you're going to convince yeah, me. There's nothing you're going to convince me that's going to make me change my mind about being a progressive person and wanting to see change in the world. But if you're if you're if how would you how would you change it other than the fact of sitting down and having a conversation about it because at that point you're just talking there's no action mm -hmm. so what how are would you, you change it what would you do no, to change it well, I'm you okay. I actually do stuff I actually do stuff in real life I'm a mentor I'm a coach I do I do programs mm -hmm. I literally do mentoring programs to work on things like this I used to blog and do educational blog posts about topics but you're like you're this. blogging about in front I've of done women petitions. right I've messaged eboards I've okay. messaged the board of directors at my college. 
you guys only know me from the conversation in this podcast. If you want to get to know me more, you could look me up and we could talk about the stuff that I do outside of here in terms of making social change. Mm -hmm. I joined this conversation because I wanted to see what it was like to get a different perspective from somebody. And I'm not here to say anybody's wrong about anything. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see other people's perspectives because if we're just, oh, this is what it is. It's a matter of fact all the time. We're never going to make progress. Progress does happen. We're not the same society we were 100 years ago. We're not the same society we were 200 years ago. But somebody has to go against the grain and be willing to pick that fight. That's me. Right. If some people want to say, fuck it, sexism is what it is. That's how we live. That's totally fine. I can't force you to change your mind. I can't try to convince you that's not my job. But what I'm saying is if you want an explanation as to why I operate the way I do and I say the things I say, I'm giving you that explanation. I can't convince you to see your, like, if you have your perception, you have your perception. I'm offering you my perception, but my perception does account for real things. Intersectionality is a real thing that I'm accounting for. Women's perspective is a real thing I'm accounting for. Sexism is a real thing I'm accounting for. You can account on your own logic and neglect other elements, but that doesn't negate the fact that my elements still exist in that same reality. But what do you what do you tell these women when you're at these whatever? How do you how do you direct them in the right direction of how to not be in these situations? Can you put your headphones on if you're going to yeah, stay, if you're going to stay, I mean, yeah, can you put your headphones on? Well, I really just want to leave. But OK, you can leave if you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if, if you okay, can leave cool. if you want. But like I said, none of us are getting up from getting our challenge, our views challenged. I mean, that's okay. I'm not about to get bullied on a podcast. All right, bye. You're not getting bullied. Uh, but uh, we're giving you the opportunity well, to speak. No, but, but and thing, everyone listens. But the thing is, for me, I'm losing interest in the conversation because it's like, it's not a mutually engaged conversation where we're building ideas off of each other. I'm presenting what I have to say. And then you're like, no, that's not logic. This is. No, that's not right. This is. Okay, well, what's Yes, I'm challenging please? your views. I'm not challenging but, you as a person. I'm saying your views hold on. Are, 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 I mean, on. quite frankly, not based in reality. And they're I, not logically sound. I actually sound. agree with you, right? Here's the problem. If you want to make change, right? Guess what? People are at the top. I'm not going to sit down and talk to you like this. They're actually going to say, fuck no. You stay down there. So for you to change the world, they're not going to sit down and talk to you one-on-one -on -one like right. this. So how are you going to change the world? Right. What, what, what you have to say? Tell them it doesn't matter. Okay, but in in the context of this podcast, because this podcast, so like this one conversation tonight, is not going to change the world. Just a will. If I'm here, if I'm here and I'm having a discussion, yeah. I'm offering you my perspective in hopes that you see things through mine, so that you expand your knowledge of how you see the world. It's not my job to tell you that you're wrong and to convince you to change your beliefs. It's my job to articulate my beliefs well enough that you understand where I'm coming from, so that you're a more empathetic being and that you see the world more like inclusive of what people actually experience than just your own one perspective. And, and I'm respectfully saying your views are incorrect. See, and that's and that's what I'm saying is if you're going to operate like that and just be like, yeah, everything you say is wrong. No, no, no. I didn't I, say that. No, no. You just said well, you just lot, said my uh, beliefs are incorrect. Yeah, in, I'm telling you that the it's way not got, my for example, is not correct. OK, I debunked it. OK. Okay. Can, can, do you have an argument against what I said as far as the, the wage gap being? It, I could pull policy? up some statistics right now. I just took a course on this last year. But my thing is, no matter what I present to you, you've already decided to accept the world as it is. And I'm not going to. So we're never going to agree. It doesn't matter what I present to you. You've already accepted the world as it is. I don't operate like that. I'm going off of empirical yeah. fact that mm -hmm. the wage gap does not exist. And it's been debunked okay. a million times. Okay. And as someone that's an economist major, uh, economy major, I would think that you would know this because it is literally illegal to pay men less. Okay, but given intersectionality and the reality of situations, nobody ever outright says, yeah, you got a pussy. I'm not paying you the same amount. They find excuses. Quote, unquote, they say you're night. underqualified. You're not experienced. <laughs> you don't do this. You don't do that. And the thing is, you know this. I know that you know this. You know that no no employer has ever said, yeah, I'm paying you less simply because you're a woman. There's always a loophole. I gave you an example <laughs> earlier. Google, when you compare apples to apples and the women were qualified and they worked the same jobs, they actually made more than the men. But Google is one of how many companies in and the world? And that's a tech company. That's a tech company, though. But that's one of how many companies in the world. We can, And you are the same person that said Number earlier, one. we're not going to just use one instance and base it, like everybody's experience is based off that one circumstance. I'm using it as an example because it is the one example. Mm hmm it's a tech company that one. favors men. That's number one that a lot of other employers replicate to include the U.S. government, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can say women get paid less because of their gender, but that's just not true. And it's been debunked a million times since the 70s has been debunked. 
Okay. As an but as an activist, whenever you t- like I said, as an activist, when you talk to women, do you tell them about these things? Which parts? All of it. Like oh, with women don't get paid equally. Whatever the case may be. What? Absolutely. My why? Entire, why not? Because why? give them the tools to use to go out there and do the complete opposite. Like sitting down at no, a no, table no. and asking, demanding is, wage. The thing is, you have to understand what is currently going on, what has historically gone on before you can make progress. You don't. Mm. You need to know what you're building <clears> off of. If I pretend like there was never a wage gap in this world, and I told a little black girl that she could just walk in there and get that job, and somebody should yeah, her give her the, the resources to do it. Right. But the thing is, I could do I could, give, I could give everybody the resources to do what they need to do. But as me, I am not the person in power that makes that final decision as to what happens to them. I could mentor a girl and tell her, oh, you need to do X, Y and Z. Prepare yourself for an interview, whatever. I do it for my kids all the time that I coach, whatever. That doesn't mean that I'm the person in power that's going to secure them that job. Okay, so kids, kids in schools, right? When when, like, when you go to when you go to well, a school, when you like go to, way well, she off asked the me, topic. She said, as an activist, what do you do? Right. I tell people, give them the tools. Why would you have listen? Because we but, already know that the history has been written a million times. Talking about mm-hmm. that's what I don't mm-hmm. understand. The tools have been used a million times, right? What in school? a school? In, a, in any school, baby. In a pro- in, and let's just give an example, right? Over here, poking beans. We all know what that is, right? If we're from Miami, you know exactly what that is. Okay. I'm not from Miami. Okay, cool. So if you don't know what it's that is, ghetto it's a hood. In it's a city. ghetto, right? So when you go to Avenue. when you go to those schools, a lot of those schools, right? Those kids that got really high GPAs, they don't know that they can go to a, like an A one college or, or how they don't to know do that, it. Right? They don't know how to do it. They don't even know how to use the internet. So are you going to go to that school and be like, oh, it's because schools and poverty is this and this and this? No. Mm-hmm. Here's the internet. I'm going to show you exactly how you can get on these platforms Mm -hmm. to be successful for yourself. So Mm -hmm. whoever said I didn't do that stuff out? I'm asking you, but that's what nobody said. But that's what I'm asking you. But I'm saying like you're basing you're basing like a whole world of work off of one conversation that I had. I asked you. I'm saying I know, but I'm saying today what I said was that I believe in progress. I believe in change. In my life, I practice that. Personally, it's hard to believe that you do practice that because like the commenter said when you had got emotional with me was that you, how can someone take your word for it when you walked out on a math class because you quote unquote was being bullied in the classroom? How are you able to handle these real world situations? Well, no. Wait, let me finish. Okay. And, and teach other children, teach other people how to handle these real world situations when you yourself, in fact, can't handle it and you had to walk out and change your major and go into something that you felt more comfortable with. Mm, Correct. Damn. Okay. In that same instance, in that same instance, the fact that it was so complicated for me to do that is my entire point. I had the choice to be a math major. I had the quote unquote resources to be a math major. But again, the system was not on my side. It wasn't working in my favor. I had to learn how to acclimate to it. I'm not saying that I couldn't have continued to be a math major, but it was going to be significantly harder and take a damper on my mental health. So I chose to do economics instead. Okay, and then boom, now now that you just said that, it goes to prove what... And I and I hate to say it, Myron, but I have to give Myron his <laughs> <laughs> what he said was that at the end of the day, it was your choice and you decided to quit because well, it was difficult. And I for understand you. that's my choice, but and I'm that's all that, he was just trying to I'm get saying, all of us to understand. You, but the don't way that it's phrased makes it seem like it's such a simple choice to make when it's really not. And that was my point. And I'm the, not saying that you can't make the choice. I'm saying that there are so many factors that go into that decision. We can't just make it seem like, oh, she said, fuck that. No, I mean, it wasn't that. But you just you just kind of said that though. And then to turn well, around but the, that's and the thing, then you're you turn, assuming that I'm not of, assuming that. That's what you said on live. On I live said TV. I said that I chose to do something different, but because that of mean, how you were treated in the classroom. Right, but that doesn't mean and that, they, they did not give you a book. They did not give you a pencil. They didn't say, Hey, you have to sit outside of the classroom like they did. But do you, you know, know other people? Do you know what they did if you were there with me when I'm I was I'm not a saying in that, college. but listen to this. Listen, I, I was agreeing with you. Up until the point you got emotional and you stop, you stop using, you stop using logic and you went emotional on me. So I was with you the way he says that people make jokes and that's how they treat men, regardless of the case. 
men are going to treat men a certain way and women are going to treat women a certain way and men are going to treat women a certain way. The jokes that they tell you, it's not the same jokes that they tell men. But instead of you saying that, you said, I got bullied and I had to leave the classroom. Your choice of words wasn't really a good choice of words. And so because you use those choice of words, everyone, the, the audience was judging you based off that and it made you kind of sound dumb. Sorry, I'm sorry, but but you're re- but you're really smart. I really appreciate everything you said, and I agree with you up until that point right. when you got a little bit emotional and you didn't and it, yeah get I'll, clear I'll on your this. words. I'll just say this real quick because I've been listening very closely to everything you've been saying. Um, I say this with all due respect. You have a victim mindset, is what you have, and what I mean by that is you look at how. I got bullied. I got oppressed. I'm a woman. I'm black. This is fucked up. Correct. This is this sucks, etc. Instead of looking at the glass half full, I'm an African American woman. I can overcome this, mm-hmm. and yes. actually, I have a bunch of this. I have a right. bunch of uh, advantages that other people don't have because the reality is the same sexism that you're complaining about will actually benefit you in the workplace, especially if you try to get into that math m- mathematics jobs or into that STEM because people want to hire female minorities. That's the reality. Right. So. We can say it's fucked up. I got bullied, etc. That's life. Everyone gets bullied. Men get bullied. Women get bullied. And if you go into a male space, you're definitely going to get bullied because men bully each other. The same thing women fought for, right? You say you're progressive, a.k.a. feminism. The same thing you guys fought for, equality, is what you're getting. And then you said, I don't like this. I want to be treated like a lady, which I will say you cannot have equality while being treated, treated like a lady. They cannot coexist because one directly contradicts the other. It's right. that is sexism in its ultimate form. The same thing you're complaining about. So, I mean, same example. So if you were to talk about, you know, black people and their experience and, you know, the the world. So you're saying that if I were a black person. Yeah, and All right. Continue. Okay. I'm listening yeah, to if you. I were a black person, you know, sure. the experiences that I experienced. Wait, wait, uh, uh, girls, uh, she's been uh, she's been uh, self castled. Yeah. So let's make sure she's uh yeah. she escorted out correctly because okay, yeah, she can't yeah. handle the truth. Okay. Um shit. Yeah, fresh. Uh just Okay, so we can use the bathroom to change breaks. the world. You definitely have to stay oh, around to change the world. And she can't handle oh, the truth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh my god, y'all gotta kick out. I wanna change the world. Well, I can't say it unless it's the one's opinion. I mean, I'm just being honest. Okay. The second the second that she felt like somebody came for her, she went and she turned around and that's not okay. Yeah, she was saying that have to be happy. You can't fucking sit here and Right. But you four in the morning. Please like the video. But but no, it's not even that. It's 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 you you also you the blonde girl, the fucking uh third one year rapper, she left too. My problem so is, fuck her too. is that this tangent took hey, away yo. from some oh, of the I don't, I don't understand how, I don't know. Right. Right. Anyways, uh, sadly, what happens between men and women because we can't communicate right. so because women are just fucking emotional. I don't understand how you're an activist, but it's like somebody comes to you and then you say, oh, you have a college degree. By the way, she's on point. Yeah. Period. All right, let's rearrange the seats. And now we're down to eight. Yeah, let's all close the chats. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna so shout out her old homegirl because I feel like she definitely gave a perspective. I, I no, no, was really no, no, intrigued no, no. on what some, she was saying. Some very good points. Just very, very, like, very good points. Oh, just so just make sure you uh, yeah. take off those two the most. It's just the the so, now we yeah. down to yeah. so, 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 uh, Shorty over here has some very good points. Is that like obviously she, she speaking, her point of view is gonna be opposite to ours. But if you're gonna change the world, you can't handle this conversation right here. I'm just trying to think how you're going to change the world because this is right. Like going, going she doesn't want to change the world, but she wants you to bring we would all awareness to, to it. Yeah. Fucking just, Disneyland. You know, I would love It'd for it to great. change and be better. It'd be great, but during my lifetime, that's probably not going to fucking Sorry. happen. Yeah. And it's a dog eat dog world. Yeah. If I have to be selfish yeah. and get what the fuck I want to have to. For um, me, if I go in a male dominated workplace, good. Less fucking competition for me, less women. Right. It is what it is. I, yeah, it's funny. I had a friend, right? Okay. So I, I was working at, at his job, right? It was one girl studying in cybersecurity and two other guys, right? And they wanted the same position. They they, they all worked t- toward getting getting their uh, c- certificate, and they all completed their tasks, whatever, yeah. right? So they all applied for the same position. And guess what? They had better grades than her, or better uh, ratings, whatever. Because yeah. of the quota. But she, she still got it, got it because yeah. guess what? She's black. She's um uh, hardworking, and she applied for the, uh, a spot. And now she's one of the only black uh or one of the top black uh, cybersecurity specialists in the country. But guess what? She so other people applying for it too. It wasn't easy at all, but she went for it and she got it. 
So we're just saying, look, at the end of the day, yes, there has to be change in the world, 100%. Right. But it's, it's, it's choice. Ultimately, it's choice. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> back, uh, my head hurts. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, that, that's just probably one of the best examples I've ever seen of uh, feels before reels, guys. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, this is what I always say all the time. Like, a lot of women have that mindset of I'm going to be progressive when it suits me, but then I'm going to be, I want to be treated like a lady when it suits me as well. Correct. So you can't pick and choose when you get equality. You either get all of it or you get none of it. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. That's just how the world operates. So um, I see her points, but they were, I mean, yeah. yeah. It was very victim. It's like every yeah. barrier has been broken. It's been yeah. done by everyone of every economic. Yeah. Right. And, and I mean, the, the no wage gap is, is a myth. I, I can't believe that we're even like, it, it is not true that women earn 80 cents on every dollar that a man yeah. makes. That's yeah. only if you account for all working men versus all working women. But if you actually put the men and women in the same career field, same education, you compare apples to apples, you will find that they, the wage gap almost diminishes. See, I want to know what the chat is saying because y'all had some thoughts here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read what <laughs> the chat was saying. Been chatting I can't right. even see. All right, niggas, all right. chat niggas, we'll do y'all this. Y'all got expensive trolls. Uh, right. <laughs> okay. uh, $10 from David K. Question, if you knew there was a 90% chance the perfect guy for you would never wife up a girl that went through a 304 phase, would you still do it? Okay. Who is getting Frank Castle tonight? Uh, yeah, well, they, yeah, they left themselves. Uh, <laughs> Self-castle. <question>. Self-castle. <laughs> yeah. Would you be okay with your future son marrying a woman with a 304 past? Uh, no, I would not. Uh, Myron, I love you. Thanks. That's from Rachel. And then I hate my job as well. Blackout uh, 333. The body count of a woman is equal to the number of preferences she wants in a man. 304s don't make good wives because her preferred preferred man doesn't exist. Okay. okay. Uh, 20 bucks. I hate my job. Question. Would you be okay with your future son marrying a woman with a three? No, read that one, Chris. Uh, Chris cool. Uh, well, it was 20 and up, right? Yeah, but um, before, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, if How many do we have? Uh, Scroll up. Oh, right, my you know goodness. What? Yeah, you know what? Chris, I love it. Up. I love it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to read 20 and up, guys, just to make sure that we can get through it. Go. Um, all right. So we got 100 bucks. Justin uh, DeValle. Uh, what's good, Fifth Fam? Got a quick uh, quick money question for you. I'm 27. Got Andrew K. sitting in a low-cost index fund. It's about a go- uh, 8 to 10 return. Wondering what you would... Uh, what you think I should do with this bread? Real estate, keep it invested. Uh, thanks, y'all. Yes. Keep it invested, man. Uh, enjoy the uh, benefits of compound interest, my friend. Yep. Just contribute more to it, okay? And you're so, dude, you're, 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 you're in your twenties, bro. Keep it, keep it, keep it in there, man. Third and spot. Yeah, time uh, will definitely help you on, on yeah. our side. Yeah, bro. Yeah, keep, keep it, it in keep there. it in there, man. Keep yeah. it in there. Uh, okay, Jacob what Porter, else? Do we got? Can I get a haram, Myron? <laughs> also, love the show. Just follow your channel. We could go, and I've been making moves to get into the uh-huh. shape and off my ass. <laughs> Talk to you. Uh, okay. We could go. We got um. Peanut butter? No, Tojo to access him. Peanut butter breath talks like he needs a new alternator. A fact, right? <laughs> Omar Patriots fan. Love your show. Wish I had more time to listen. Been super busy since my wife had a second kid. I will be in Miami for Ultra and staying pretty close to Bayfront. I'm dropping wife and kids off with her strict parents for the vacay. All right, have a good time you go. while you're there. I might be an Ultra too. <laughs> Jim Jay Martin, Martin uh, the joke, oil spill, but I'm kidding, Fresh. You've got a great attitude. Take it easy on these those show post show posts. Okay. Thank you, man. If Nicki Minaj considers herself a seven, y'all are zeros. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, 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 he, said that he obviously oh, gets uh, no uh, pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yep. no, no yep. When Damn. everyone is a Me 10, too. none are <laughs> syndrome. Okay. Uh, these girls are lining uh nope, read that one. Uh nope, no Banaga. Oh no Banaga. Nikki Minaj. No, read that one. Oh, cool. Uh Isaiah Blake. Isaiah Blake. Girl next to Myron, let me get your IG. Oh, she left already. <laughs> she left. <laughs> yeah, I, she came with the other girl. Yeah. Uh, oh, Kenny Three Sacks, fresh, my guy. I F with you, but when you think of telling a joke, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Muthi, hey, fresh, you end up making that blonde OF girl go, oh, Canada. Okay. Okay. Uh, funny, no, Cosby, <laughs> starting from Myron's left, 4437. Oh, my God. That'd be stupid. Uh, in a negative way. All right. Nicki Minaj under MK uh, Ultra Mind Control. Raised, rated herself seven on Kevin Samuel, so she's still thinking clearer and more realistic than all of y'all. Man, uh, I can hold you. I don't know. That Most of us interview? said seven. Like, I said seven. Dude, she was yeah. too calm. I don't bro. give a fuck. I said seven. Some, Sums up there. She was too calm. <laughs> uh, are we bringing out the delusional calculator? No, not tonight, guys. No. Uh, y'all saw a bunch of delusion already, though. Fact. <laughs> Johan, <laughs> this is the fun and I feel like shirt for Miss Johanna. Shoot your email. I'll help you with math, especially counting. What oh, she's gone, yes. right? I'm 6'3. Yeah, she's gone. Who? Um, uh, the, the other girl. That's her name? Excuses oh. just won't do. Give no. it to them, okay? Uh, we don't live in a patriarchal society when the majority of kids are raised by single women and women overwhelmingly benefit more from public assistance. That's true. Uh, 20 bucks, dope century. You already know the depth of the conversation is going to go down a few points once the word patriarchy is used. It usually signifies that they don't know women's rights history or any real world statistics, okay? Big girl with the blonde hair is a proud participant in the victim Olympics. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Uh, oh, tread. shit. Women's You're second like from Mars, read a book or go back to school. Jesus Christ. And can I get my IG rated? Mm-hmm. Uh, not tonight, my friend. Crispy Kim. Jean Jack is an indoctrinated Marxist and probably doesn't even know what uh, that is. All relationships are not relationships of power. Most are relationships of competence. You're not going to change your mind with facts too far gone. Yeah, she's, yo, mm. the, the thing that scares me is that she's a college grad and she uh, in economy and she thought like that. I was like, holy shit, bro. Mm. Co- college goes campuses, to show. Uh, college right. campuses are becoming indoctrination camps, man. They uh, mm-hmm. Wes, an econ major that believes in the wage gap, please refund her degree and also make sure she doesn't go back into that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Thank God she left. I don't think she would have stayed for all of that. Nah, she, she, she that was her reality. Men dominate math because men dominate logical thinking. That's why she struggled. This yeah. is true. Men are more. This is men and they, this has been proven with brain scans that men are more logically sound than women are like. This is, why, is fucked up. this is why a majority of engineers and mathematicians and scientists, etc., are men, not women. Uh, it's it's a fact. It's a biological <laughs> fact. I'm pretty sure there's a woman that did plumbing and said it was too hard for her, and she's better built than all you women on the panel. We actually did well, bring yeah. a girl on that was a plumber, yeah, guys. Did. Yeah. I did. I did um, that. I don't got nothing to do with me, though. I did I mean. HBI. I can like do drywall and everything. Right. But I, do, okay. but I worked ahead. in Alaska doing 16 hours a day, seven days a week. I did real work. So I did. <laughs> here's a, here's the key. the builder. You're not doing it anymore, so you do actually not like it, right? the see this the season that I went. It's seasons, and I decide when to go when I don't want to go. So so why haven't you went back? Um, because my business. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, Sorry. but but I if, mean, because if that I makes could, a good I would, but also it it's not even about the hard work. It's the fact that I'm away from my family. I'm very family oriented. I'm with my family every day, so that also that plays. So, so that does prove the point. I said it, man. That proves, yeah. our point. that proves our like women are not willing to make the same sacrifices to make money that men are. Yeah, but that's just one example. Of yeah. like her, I know she might feel that way, but some specifically, not me. I mean, but most women, they don't really have that. If fact. I lined up 100 women and they were put in the same position as her, they would probably make the same. See, see, it's oh, like wow. it's like it's like I get I get that because like, but you have to understand that there's really like only like 20 percent of women who don't think like. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who, who, there's still mm-hmm. that 20%. Right. right. You still have to account. How many women work with you when you're there in Alaska? On the boat, we have probably 200 people that do different positions. Mm-hmm. There's probably less than 20 women. I could say I was on a boat. It was only about seven women. I was the youngest woman being 18. I was the youngest person on the boat being 18. Most people on the boat are at least around 25, 26. So you see where I'm coming from then. Right. Women a just choose bit. to not work those jobs. A, li- a little bit, a little bit. But because at the same time, you know, because I was young, because I was a woman, there was a lot of stereotypes about me. Because I'm from Miami, I'm not from Alaska. You know, I don't have no background in none of that. You know, they did put me in certain positions and they would re- they would refuse to put me in certain positions. But here's positions. the thing. That's a competence issue. That's not a I'm a black woman issue. That's a competence but, issue. But at the end of the you're day. You're young. They- you're not able bodied. You can't do certain things that men can do. Like. That's that's the cold hard truth. You just you just are not fit for the same for the job. So they're gonna pay a man more or put a man in a position because he could do a better job. Just because a woman can do a job doesn't necessarily mean she's the best. Yeah. Okay. Which is why they, okay. they, which is okay. why you guys mentioned that you guys couldn't hire women to do a job, but you do hire men instead because even though it would be cheaper, it would be more efficient for men to if, do the job. No, here, here's the thing. If if a woman applies for a job that is male dominated, the woman has far higher likelihood to get that job over the man. Mm-hmm. They, they will they will compromise the integrity of the of the situation sometimes mm-hmm. to appease women. Think about the military. Yeah, I yeah. mean, think about the military. Like, there's women in combat positions that, quite frankly, have no business being there. Look at the police force. Look at the police. Yeah, and some. I'll tell you, I'm from law enforcement. I can't tell you how many times I'm. I, 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 whatever, I'm gonna get hit with misogyny here. When I'm hitting a door with a woman behind me, and I know she can't drag me to safety, it makes me feel terrible, bro. <laughs> but they hired her. Why? Because of affirmative action, or because she's a woman, or because it's a higher uh, incentivized hiring. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So with the military, you know, law enforcement, etc., where it's do, do or die, you need to put the best people in position. Like mm-hmm, yeah. if I have 20,000 men that I can send to war and 20,000 women, the 20,000 women can go to war. But that doesn't mean that they're going to be better equipped just because you could does not mean you should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you know, my okay. sister, my sister is actually in the Air Force. Um, when it comes when it comes to deploying, they look at your roster on whoever is based wherever and they choose Men, obviously, first, right? The, with no family, like no kids, no wife, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Then they move on to the men who do have wife and kids. And then they move on to women who do not have any husbands or children. And then they literally leave women who are, you know, married and have families the, at the last. Yes. Because, you know, the, we we essentially, 
I mean, uh, you know, men are the, obviously the providers, I guess, you know, in, 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 in day and age, right? But, you know, women, we are essentially like we're the glue to hold everything right. together. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a feminist mm-hmm. either. At first, yeah. I was all about, I'm going to get the bag, I'm going to get the money, I'm going to, I don't need anybody. And I'm like, right. like the goal in life was to have a family, right? There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with wanting to be a caretaker and have a Absolutely. family. That's the woman's goal in the life. My, yeah. Men's mindset are completely different. Men don't yeah. think, oh, I'm going to settle down, have a family, have a wife and kids. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. But see, that's not for every man yeah. either. You know right. what I'm same saying? Same thing with women. Right. Like, not all women think the same. Not all men right. think the same as well. For some reason some in girls. 2022, it's frowned upon if like you want to take the more feminine route because like, oh, you're not going to be the ceiling Independent. Da, 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 da. Right. There's nothing wrong with wanting to just be a wife. Right. I mean, and, and I think I think, you know, um, and I guess I can I can actually speak for this because I am I was married. Uh, I do have a, a child. He's 10. You know what I'm saying? So uh, obviously we're not together anymore. But, you know, the the household is is uh, the co-parenting is obviously great. But I'm I still consider myself a single mother, even though I'm not. If that makes sense, we're just not together. But um, again, I'm part of the. 20%, let's say, of women who don't ask their baby daddies for child support or, you know, don't do the whole weekend dad thing. Like, we split custody. You know what I'm saying? Seven days and seven days. Yeah. Or, like, and there is no child support about, even though he he makes way more money than I do, you know what I'm saying? But I don't need it. Yeah. You know, and if I do need it, it's just a phone call away. Yeah. But then I can, I can say, you know, that, you know, literally probably, like, nine times out of the, you know, the ten friends that I have, nine, nine, nine of them are all, like, Nah, he's a weekend dad, child support, money, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, so again, it it all goes back to like, it's not every woman is the same. Not every man is the same. But generalizing it, that's exactly how it is. It's the reality. Yeah. 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 I mean, when you speak in general terms, there's always exceptions to the rule. Which right. we were mentioning before, the 1% of girls that's running around no raping shit. guys. <laughs> but, you know, I hate really. everybody at this table. Wait, 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 wait. Cardi, Cardi right. B did it. Cardi B did it. Right. See, we may not classify no, she it. them. She she robbed she, she robbed him but she drugged him she drugged him she drugged him and she robbed she him but you could. don't know but you don't know what she could have did that she didn't speak on it right. and, and whatnot so I'm just saying for her to have went as far as to drug him what else could you have done right. if I can, if I have just enough enough access to drug a man the same way he can drug me. It's this. It's we're on the same but playing field. A woman's field. not gonna sit there and be like, "Oh man, I need to get my nut with this guy." Not like he's gonna women. be flaccid, bro. He can't even do nothing. Yeah. Again, like let's keep let's keep small, it, ladies. But let's let's be right. realistic but here, But no, bro. realistically, when 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 men rape women, women great, don't great, always. Great, yeah, just great, call it great, 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 great. great. When 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 great. men great. rape women, yeah. sorry, yeah, for sure. Or the R word, whatever. Great. <laughs> women are unconsciously, even though we don't try to be, we might still get wet. Of course, that's a natural, right. you know instinct that's a natural instinct yeah right. same thing as men if they get horny or if they like men y'all be can we take that out can we take that out somebody knock somebody out y'all be getting hard <laughs> in the morning y'all be having yeah. morning wood y'all don't yeah, but yeah, the example she's it. using with cardi b Drugs, she's knocked though. out it, can yeah. we test that? You said, you said flaccid. Test a man, that. A men How, can't be like man he's going to be yeah. flaccid. Yeah. Men are always so, for example, Cardi B. Like <laughs> she was just drugging them and robbing them. She wasn't really smashing them like that. I mean, so she says, as far as but, our knowledge, right? Because yeah, she could, she could have did. She could have did a little some to <laughs> a little <laughs> sloppy like, toppy. You know, yeah, you don't know. Oh, we're gonna make it simple. Women are not the the main perpetrators of grape. Okay. Ninety nine percent of grape cases are men to women, not women to men. Correct. Somebody okay. knock somebody out. So therefore, no. therefore, no. No. again, going logical again, okay, women have logical. the ultimate authority on who has sex because they're the ones that are predominantly being the victims of grape. Yeah. Yeah. It's simple. Hold you know? on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. The, the chat's been waiting because yeah. uh, they've been... Yeah. Yeah. So long. Long. Okay. I was the only... The black guy in my computer science okay, classes, my so I made non-black friends get over yourself. There you go. Edward, <laughs> Ivy White, now. says 25 bucks. Thank you, Edward. We have uh, Charles Her- Hercules... Uh, one forty. You're not. Says, uh, yeah, you're wasting your time, Aaron. They're not listening. They're choosing to hear and believe what they want. It is what it is. Hey, man, I told y'all all the time. Right. We have these discussions so that you guys can see real time what's going on, man. Right. You know. Uh, yeah, you are one of the perpetrators of that. Right. I don't really care about y'all. <laughs> yeah, I've been chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't really care, you know I, mean? I knew we were gonna disagree. I wasn't about to fight it no more. I was over it. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Treadle, G the boss, fourteen. Huh. 
2022 much. black women make me sad to be a black man. I don't dabble in the dark. Also, demon time. This nigga, bro. Ooh. You, you, you made my, my, my point. Comments, you made my point. Comments, comments, he made wait, wait, this wait, wait, conversation. Wait. I said what I said. Pussy itch. You make my pussy itch because <laughs> that comment was so unnecessary. Oh, you made me want to just right. rub my shit on concrete. Twenty dollars and like, right? I'm gonna just spray my shit on concrete now. This one. What the fuck? Craps. Tash Cunningham. That was you saying. She wasn't ready. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Eric Rollin, uh, opportunity of equality also shows in Scandinavian countries that more men choose to go into engineering while women choose to go into nursing if left to their own choices, which is what I discussed mm -hmm. earlier. The most egalitarian country, the most equal equal country, the women actually choose to go into the social work even more so because they're allowed to do so. Uh, 20 bucks. You got to give them the plumber chick example that came a few months back. Yeah, he did. Oh, he yeah, did. We, did. we did already, yeah. yeah. No, no, but he, he did. He had said it before you guys had yeah, mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 20 bucks. Yeah. Uh, question for the ladies. If you are independent and don't need a man, why do you want a man? Okay. Fair enough. Good question. I have Your a mom, good answer. 20 bucks from Canada. Uh, here's a 20 for the homegirl next to Fresh. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, they cool. like your point. Uh, uh, CDN Real Seal Sparky here. Got 4K from government grants over four years to finish my apprenticeship. If I was a female, 6K. There's maybe two females to 100 males. Not because the tr uh, trades don't want them. It's because they can't handle the job that's not patriarchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Akasha, Patriarchal society started less than 2,009 years ago. Uh, Shatar, God's <laughs> wife, Hannah, creation God, Kadisha's king, advisors, Obama, warriors, all erased from the Bible. What? Made women property slash sin due to please, their power. Please, please. What Wake is happening up. here? This is blasphemy. It's RP live. <laughs> Okay, blasphemy. I'm a little confused. <laughs> Louis, Louis 66 right. says they just can't imagine the giant shit sandwich that is the reality for 98% uh, of all men. They assume because some of us excel, all of you must have had some special treatment. It is the precise opposite. I love mm. special treatments. All right. <laughs> that wasn't the point, but okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Large format, full cool ranking. Uh, the box says, uh, I'm 32. When I was 20, I had a rotation and growing up in a single mother household. I saw behind the scenes. Nowadays, I'm a corporate owner, and women are so entitled these days. I've watched the change. So sad. Next. I feel like men think that way because their their mom did it. That obviously, you know, women that they date should be able to do it as well. I feel like that's just Merch. a. I, that's just a, a standard in this in this. I, I it's okay would to have say your that feeling. There are a lot of entitled women right. in this day and age. They Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Many. Yeah. Many. yeah. For sure. Yeah. I mean, just but because but the, because the society is changing, you know, nowadays. The society isn't the same as it like, was like, before. Can I can Everything I give an example? Open. I have a friend who told me the other day. She says, "I want a man that owns a house and whatever, whatever." I said, "Okay, bitch. Well, do you own a house?" <laughs> but like you, right. said, and you said, you own. And she said, and she said, "No, I do not own if a house." She's attractive I said, "Enough. She might not need one." But, but, that, <laughs> but listen, but my whole, my whole point is, is that like the it's it's the entitlement. Like, why do you feel like you're entitled to that man's house? But ma'am, I don't said think that you need I don't all that think, money. I don't even think it's necessarily. And I this is my this is my perspective on women or certain women's perspectives. They feel as if. Or they should oh yeah mm, shit sorry said they not i right anyways i know a lot of women want i mean people in general want to strive higher for what they what they are you know why would i want to be with somebody on the same i mean That's yeah right. on the same level as me yes i should probably go and reach for guys that are the same level because i should be able to reciprocate what i'm expecting from Correct. you but my goal is also to have a little bit of uh, for you to have a little bit more so that I mean, shit, I'm about to just get my ass roasted on here. Let me right. shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, Speak your mind, but I do feel, and it's not right. It's not right that I may, I want you to have a little bit more than me so that it, what, motivates me to do better, Um, motivates gives me, gives me, makes my life easier. Yes, it's not really nice to do that, being that, once again, I should want what I, whatever I can reciprocate, but it's no harm in it. I feel like you're, you're going for a man that has a house. Yes, I do I think you should have a house before you go for a man like that? Yeah, be able to provide. But it's nothing wrong to say, I want this. And let me no, just, no, is no, this no. the 60th floor? I'm going to no. jump off. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're, you're, you're saying something that it's, it's not. A man is going to save finish, you, though. Finish, it's reality. It's reality. It is an unfortunate reality that that's what people go for. Um, But that is just, yeah, my perspective. No, but so, she, very interesting. Yeah, very. You, you, did we, you have something you want to say before? All the time on the show. And it's funny because, like, we accept it as reality. You know what? Right. Women want guys that are better, stronger, make more right. money. And that's normal. Right. We don't say, oh, I wish the world was better because it was unfair that girls want that. Right. It's reality. Right. Well, but let's go this back a layer real fast. You're, you're a candidate for a master's degree, right? 
I'm already in my master's degree. Yeah, you already started. have it. I, no, I'm currently doing it. That's what I'm so, saying. Yeah, yeah, right. Sorry, yeah. I'm a dumbass, y'all. Please press, listen to what I'm saying. Press the button. So, press the button. All right. So, all right, so you're, <laughs> you're working on getting your master's degree. So you're yeah. you're, you're educated than most people. So yeah. here, when I, I was listening to what you were saying, and you were saying, well, it's kind of fucked up that I want a guy to be better than me, but at the same time, I want to be able to reciprocate. And what I'm seeing right now mm-hmm. is two two Double opposing sided. no two two opposing situations here. Okay. Your female hardwiring wants a man who's better than you. That's right. what you're wired to want. A man that's taller, more money, successful. You right. want to be able to look up to him. Right. But then society, the indoctrination of going to higher education teaches you right. that you should be able to reciprocate everything a man brings to you. You're right. equal. Right. I guys, I don't I can't make this shit up. I've always said it. Reality does not adhere to social constructs. Right. The social construct is Men and women are the same. I should be able to bring the same thing to a man that he brings to me. We should be able to reciprocate. That's mm-hmm. not how it works. Right. Women want to be on the receiving end of a man's success, never the other way around, where the man's on the receiving end of a woman's success. I'll take it a step further. A successful woman ain't even going to look a fucking man's way. That's a bump. Right. But a man that's successful will definitely look a woman's way. Right. That is a bump. So it was very interesting to see you speak because as someone that's of a higher education level, I can see the battle in your mind, the mental disconnect with, I want a guy that's better than me, but at the same time, wait, I got to be able to connect. And my thing is right. this. I'll just simply say this. <laughs> uh, it, I'll just say, every time we have an educated woman on the panel that's higher mm-hmm. degree, whatever, I always say the same shit. What? The more money you make, the more successful you become, right. the lower your options are going to become. They're oh, gonna go, for they're sure. Go down. It's, yeah, it's, yeah of that is course. definitely true. It, it goes hand in hand, mm-hmm. of course. The I'm, more money you make, the more you actually ostracize yourself from the marketplace right. of suitable candidates of men. But the other way around, the more money the man makes, the more options he has because women can, Correct, men can right. take down, women can't. So right. I would just say this, find a guy that makes more money than you and, right. you know, be happy with it. And then if he cheats and fucks another NBA bitch, it ain't that serious. And damn, slashing tires these, in this bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm just joking. <laughs> you know, I, I mentioned this to, 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 uh, on the Brittany Renner podcast and everyone thought I was crazy. And I was like, yo, hey, you're dealing with multi-millionaire I, I actually dudes. watched that, that really podcast. He's, yo, I, I'll tell you this, man. Ladies, the biggest delusion is thinking that you're going to get a guy that's attractive, tall, makes a lot of money, etc., and he's only going to be faithful to you. I think that's one of the biggest lies we tell women. That Thanks. the more money you make, the more success you become, the more this guy is going to be faithful to you. No. The more money you make, the more success you become, the more of a slave you're going to be to his whim because you can't replace him. Right. You can't date down, but he can. So you got to either mm. A, settle, mm. get a guy that get, makes less than you, right. which most of you are not going to do that shit, or B, Get with him and accept the fact that he's going to fuck other bitches and it ain't that serious. And when I say that, and oh my get to God. Some money. Or, Damn, my body's just my, you know, or my level up and take his yeah. money. Like, like, you said something? Go ahead. Oh, I said, don't forget to get his money. That's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> like, level up, take his money, do what the fuck you're going to do. And then oh. go do whatever it is that you want to do. Well, you know? Yeah, well, and me personally, it. I think, I think, okay, so. You can't he, necessarily replace him the same way that he can replace you, though. Well, well, no, I'm not saying to leave him. I'm just saying, like, take his money, do whatever the fuck it is that you want to do with your oh. life with his money. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And accept the fact that it's happening and just go fucking do you. Like, damn, but can, damn, can that, I though. fuck on right. other right. niggas? Why are you doing that? Oh, we don't, no. you don't have, can, we can't do that. You can't tell nobody. Why are you saying I'm a slave to society. You can't, I mean, you can't say you that can, out loud. Can you? <laughs> don't right. say it out loud. Not you being my teacher. May you? Wasn't it the concrete, though? <laughs> Let's keep it a thousand. Bro. If, you, if you got a guy that you love in my respect, you ain't even. Got, everybody else is gonna be invisible to you. Right, Absolutely, right. Sure. I well, agree. He's with not that. gonna be invisible to those girls, though. No, <laughs> well, no. But, not. Yeah. This but is so unfortunate. Are, you know, the there's men that are like, you know, they have that status, they have that money, and still they just want someone to settle down with. They don't. So they, they they're say, not engaged with the what they ask. So, I mean, that's, again, that's, that's part of like the one percent, though. What number is the high value man that we talk about all the time? Because like these men at the status, right? Like, what's the number? Because if you go for like, say, like a guy like at like the 60, 70 k to like the hundred fifty, like, is this a high value that? man? Yeah, like because what it's talking about, talking about a millionaire. Like, like, what is a high value man? I'm wait, wait. At, like, what, what are you money? considering? Yeah, what monetary, like, right. what number? How much are we talking about? Right. It depends on I the state you live like in. I mean, I'm, I'm, I just have a catch-all thing. If he makes yeah. over six figures a year and he's okay. attractive, yeah, be prepared for him to yeah. not be monogamous. But fuck, so like, <laughs> but here's the thing, <laughs> ladies. Remember, I'm putting you. I'm, I'm putting. I'm teaching you guys the same thing I teach the guys. You need to be in a defensive mindset. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I tell guys all yeah. the time: women want the best and brightest, so you need to get to that point and protect yourself from the bullshit that can come. Don't get right. married, etc. Defensive standpoint. I'm telling the women; they get mad at me when I say this. 
if you deal with a certain caliber guy, be in the defensive, be ready to accept the fact that he might come to you and say, hey, I want to fuck other bitches, or B, you need to help me fuck other bitches, or yeah. C, he cheats on you behind your back. But regardless, yeah. he's going to fuck the other bitches. Yeah. Be prepared. If he's monogamous and he only has sex with you, fantastic. But be mm -hmm. prepared for him to not be. That's all I'm saying. Right. Okay. I don't want women okay. to go in yeah. delusional because a lot of women think... Then they get disappointed, you know? I deserve a guy yeah. that's six foot three, makes money, successful. He's going to be faithful to only me. Hell See, fucking no. This is a part of the do that. entitlement. And it's because we want, yeah. we want to be aware, hey, if you want this guy, go ahead. You can get him. But however, you got to share. Yeah. It comes with consequences. We don't come with, oh, like, oh, because shit. we can fuck him. Like he really, really wants me. No. Yeah, he's gonna have his There's fun. There's repercussions that's where we, that's to dating a fine ass man. You know, if you find this guy, understand that if he takes you seriously and he wants, he gives right. you the house, the ring, whatever. Right. He may, from time to time, step out. Is that a bad thing? Hey, he has the option to. Is it a good thing? Probably not. But at the same time, who's gonna do that for you and take you serious? Now, not many. Earlier, you guys got mad at me when I said that women are allowed to have mediocrity, and the reason why I say that. Because I've talked to more women than you guys have. Yeah. We brought over a thousand women on this podcast. Mm -hmm. Ten a day. And huh? Ten, I say you brought yeah, ten like, a day. Yeah, we bring in we bring in a lot. And the overwhelming consensus when we ask women, "What do you want in a guy?" They always describe a man that's in that top one or two percent of guys. Right. And my thing is that, and it's funny too because it's all the women, women that are not that attractive, women that are obese, maybe girls that are crass, whatever it is, dumb, whatever it is, they all are chasing the same guy, and and even crazier, they think they deserve him. Uh, and like, and then we always say, well, what do you think is going to happen? What makes you think he's going to like you? And they don't really have an answer. They think, well, I should just get him. What the fuck? I, I deserve that entitlement. It's a crazy entitlement. So I saw that in the the Bernie Runner. You were just yeah. like, well, make, what makes you special? Like, what makes you special? Yeah. And, and she and had she, a point. She had an issue with that. But I told her, like, you're not special. You're another woman that wants to get the best man that you can get. Right. Just like me. I'm another dude that wants to smash as many chicks as I can. We can't fight our biological urges and what we're here to do. Right. Men, women are here to get the best of the best. Men are here to get the most of the most. Yeah. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But it's like no one wants to acknowledge this. So and that's <laughs> okay. what that's what I was saying. Like, um, when I was saying like women are allowed to be mediocre, I, they're allowed to be mediocre and still keep their standards high. That's what I meant to say. Okay, yeah. Because okay. we bring yeah. chicks on that I'm like, what the fuck? Like, dudes they actually to hit on you, but they do. <laughs> You look yeah. at the DMs. Yeah. 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 But, but, have future. but, but you, it's, but you, it's not even. I mean, even when men cheat, sometimes when men cheat, like their woman, their woman is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But the women that they cheat with yeah. are you just look like rats. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! But that oh. proves our point. Shit. Hey, that's that's easy. Easy. She looks like the bottom of my foot. You had a point. Go ahead. Damn. I'm triggered. No, I'm joking, y'all. Why'd you call her? Wait, you got something, right? Yeah. No. Well, I was gonna say that. Um. You know, I'm. I'm I'm I was raised untraditionally with um traditions uh, with moral traditions that has been of course passed down to me and I want and I say that to say this the fact that we're trying to keep a standard that was taught to us 20 years ago 30 years ago and still trying to keep that standard today back then women weren't allowed to work women didn't have the same opportunities that we have today so to have the opportunities that we have today and still try to hold men to those same standards that our grandma, great grandmother did, it is kind of oppressing and it is kind of in North Miami, we call it green as fuck. Is 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 green as fuck. <laughs> green as fuck. <laughs> or whatever to try to hold men to that same standard because we're all on equal playing fields now. There's no reason for me to stay home and watch the kids or whatever because now inflation is coming. It coming to eat at, at our pockets. Everything is coming to eat eat at a man's pockets and everything is stacking up against the man. My mom you know, I used to be real jealous of my brothers because of how my mom treated him. But one day she told me, she said, at the end of the day, if I throw you out the house, you can find any man that will be willing to take you in just off pussy alone. It may not be the best situation, but it's still a situation. As for a man, if he gets thrown out into the street, he's thrown out into the woods, into the forest and given, you know, basically given out to die or whatever. Right. So I have to I have to show to him as much as I can and help him as much as I can, because everything is stacked against him. And I feel like a lot of women don't take that into perspective and they should. And it's not taught to us. It's not brought to our attention or whatever. We don't take in consideration the things men have to go through to get to where they need to be. Yeah, oh, that's, that, right. that's true. Yeah. That, that's true. But Even that's, in that's, health. A, that's a should, could, and would <clears throat> thing. But right. what do we say on this reality. podcast? Reality is no one gives a fuck <laughs> about <laughs> men. And I say it all the time, too. We tell guys on, on the show. That's why we're so blunt with the men. We tell them, yo, women don't give a fuck about your problems, your yeah. adversity. They just want to pick the winners and smash yeah. them, bro. They wait at the finish line and pick the winners. It is what it is. That's how it is. So 
women get the benefit of crying and complaining and yeah. say, I bullied in my math class. Men Bruh, don't. If you well, think, if, yo, if Chris said, yo, I quit my math class because I got bullied, we would roast this nigga to shit. no end. But right, right here, stupid. we sat here and she was like, everyone was like trying to, like, I, I was like, in my head, I was like, yo, you're really using this as an excuse. You got bullied what in your she, math class. What she was quit? expecting was this. Huh? Oh. She was expecting this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but, but, but that's the thing, though. Like, like, but that's what I'm right. trying to say is that. <laughs> Again, mm -hmm. women are coddled in society. Right. Yeah. If nah, a man you're said right. that bullshit, no one would take him serious. <laughs> bro. Yeah. Hell, I said whale. I made fun of dudes. Bro, dusty ass nigga called Mo a whale. Nobody bad I never shit. heard Yanni you called him a whale. Yeah, as soon as I, I said, said it, I made a joke. Bro. I made a joke. Yo, these whales in the club think they're a shit. Wait, but I don't like that phrase. No. Yeah. I'll put the camera right on fucking Mo. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's crazy. I mean, hell, you guys confirmed a lot of things we talk about on the podcast tonight. Thank you for being women. But uh, to her point. Yeah. What, you guys, what you guys say yeah, all the yeah. time is what that is? women is born with their value. And men oh yeah, 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 yeah. Women are born with value. Men have to create it. But yeah. what, like all she right. said, she said that when women are thrown into the woods, that they have to use their pussies. Of, I mean, they don't have to. But the fact that we're even enabling that, like, you know, why do women have to? I feel like women shouldn't just March. have to. We shouldn't. We you're shouldn't so have right. to resort no. to using no, our. You're missing the point. She's simply saying it's an avail. It's, it's, it's an, an option. It's an it's option. option. But it should, should be have the an only option. option. It it's not our only it, option. It's but it's but biologically, right. but it's our option. Gross, a man can't come to you and say, "Hey, you know, I'm homeless right now. I can just do this." Sugar baby. She had. She was capping, man. That hoe was capping. You think so? I don't give a fuck. I was trying to find out. I was trying to get paid. Shit. That was capping. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, and because they've been waiting for a while, and actually, and the other thing too is if she. She's a sugar baby. Like I mean, sorry. Um, a sugar mama. Sugar mama. Whatever it is. No, it's sugars after a, fifty. It's a foreign concept that I've never heard. Cougars it's still a gross 50. exception oh. to the rule. You can't. You guys keep mentioning and two hundred dollars Jordans. Come on, now I get my nigga that for Christmas. Oh, Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How about my son those shoes? Year, though? <laughs> Christmas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Valentine's Day coming up. Yeah, Y'all act sweet, crema. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> Ain't no crema, bitch. You act right. Get that act right. <laughs> you killing me, bro. Ain't no crema, bitch. I think we're good here. Damn, I don't got my glasses. Uh, what time is Chris it? Chris lost the spot. God yeah, damn it. Like, it's a whole lot of chats. Yeah. Oh no, I appreciate God. the support, guys. Y'all saw me uh, losing my hair follicles real time. <laughs> Bro, that was tough. My that was really hurts. tough, man. Yeah, even for me. Yeah. I don't know. Like, she, she, like, I, I could understand what she still brought up, but because she wasn't listening. Yeah, she wasn't. It was like that. It was like that. That hearing to respond. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like an actual listening. Um, nah, it was when she, she said if she knew right, how the um, show was gonna go, why didn't you bring you print your papers just, out and bring just stuff back? Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. yeah. Yeah, she didn't bring any facts, right. she brought emotion. And that's Jamar, okay. 50 bucks says, okay. Miss Wage Gap, I'm an attorney and business owner with employees. As litigious as the US is why I'm not seeing labor discrimination, lawsuits for pay inequality against women. And if I could make more money with, with, with only females, I would fire all my male employees tomorrow. That's what I said earlier. Yeah. If you can get yeah. away, literally get away with paying women more, no men would be employed. But, right. but you said that well, men work well, a bit more efficiently than women. So, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, how much uh, did you do? Yo, yo, stop, man. No, yeah. what was that you I'm, said? I'm stopping. No, I was, I was saying how you said that at the end of the day, even though it might be cheaper to pay women, it's more effective to pay men because they get the job the done. The efficiency. They're more efficient, right? No, I was only per I was only relaying that to her particular job field, which is a physical manual labor job. Mm -hmm. so right. So why, not STEM. And, and right? she was she no, was younger. No. She was she's because remember she was saying I was overpassed because I'm younger. I'm a woman. I'm not necessarily no. But that happened. wasn't the point I was bringing up. I was bringing up the fact that men would constantly make funny jokes, make little sly remarks like. We're doing the same job. We're only lifting 50 pounds. 50 pounds is like a three-year-old child. We're all, we're, we, we handling fish, cod. Yeah, it's heavy, but My it's not it's that. not that it's not that heavy. It's not that intensive. Well, you didn't mention that. You had just mentioned well, I, how I you tried got overpassed to, for I kind of tried to, but then you know, I kind of got interrupted and stuff. And so that's what I was bringing up was the fact that she had made a logical point for me is the fact when she said she was being bullied and you said that men bully each other the same way. I had to disagree with that because men do not, regardless of how you try to say it, men do not treat women the same because, like you said, it's sexist and it's the reality. So the jokes and the comments they were making to her, the way they were treating her was different from how they were treating their male colleagues. The way you make a joke to your male colleague, you wouldn't make the same joke to a female colleague or whatever. And, and It's worse know. when you talk to the guys. 
well, it's worse, but we God only gives us what we can handle or whatever. I like to say that. And, you know, you may not feel like you're capable of handling it, but it doesn't mean that it's not hurting you or whatever. And, and women are emotional people. So when you're beating down on me mentally, it wears on me more than um, f- physicality or whatever. Being in Alaska, being in Alaska didn't wear on me physically. It weared on me mentally, not knowing that I'm always with my family and not having that. That's what that's what war war on me for two, three months. You know, what's funny. That's another reason why men get paid more. <laughs> right. Thank you for proving my point even further. Even care about men, the fact. men, I'm, men I'm are willing just... to make those sacrifices that women are not, bro. Like that. That's why. Like that's why men work more dangerous jobs, more uh, more labor intensive jobs, and more time away from their family because they're willing to take. Men are far more risk tolerant than women are. And that's okay. okay. And that's okay. But oh it's God. it's a fact. Like you're literally just proving my point even more. Like, well, I met where are I me mean, mentally, etc. Men are phys- mentally tougher than women. You know what right. I'm saying? It is what it is. Like yeah. It's, you know, because men have a harder upbringing than women do. So it's like when y'all get hit with some of that reality, you're like, oh, fuck, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, you're physically weaker. Yeah. So I would be demoralized, too, if I was a woman. Like, damn, like I'm weaker and these motherfuckers are bullying me and all this mm-hmm. other shit. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Welcome mm-hmm. to being a man. <laughs> but when you're men, you're not physically weaker as well. So but... I mean, compared to other men, though, you you can be physically weaker yeah, be compared for, yeah. to another man. All right. all right. We got Wild Boy E, 33. Uh, OK, let's be honest. Ain't no female in the damn world willing to deal with a damn shark doing underwater wielding welding welding, welding. <laughs> well, it's, a wield, it's spelled wheel not wielding though he spelled it wrong but uh, mr onizaku 20 bucks says if she says the last thing i do is cheat she'll cheat on you because it's still on her list what? <laughs> that's an old one tomatoes tomatoes that's one tomatoes anime, tomatoes. tomatoes also check out asian senpai on youtube super awesome anime hip hop artist red ribbon army we up all right C squared twenty five bucks says this is from Myron losing hair follicles. <laughs> Facts. Um, we have next. Uh, Make sure there we go. Judelis, uh, twenty bucks says a man can give twelve so- solid months of work a year. A woman is out three to four months a year for things like childbirth and vacations. Who would you rather invest more in if you need to get things done at critical times? Oh, I forgot to mention that too. Women do, on average, take more vacations than men do. Yeah, yeah. you said yeah. that already. I need a yeah. meal. Yeah, no, you didn't. You didn't mention that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, shit. I'm not complaining. Just you know, because women, bucks, I'm going on vacation. Business. The majority of the debt, spend the most money, receive state transfers of wealth, i.e., child support slash alimony. They say they're paid less, but spend more. Make it make more sense, Sway. Mm-hmm. Uh, try try to G the boss for fourteen cents, twenty bucks. Ladies, y'all have more comp. Con- contraceptive. contraceptive. <laughs> Boston Robbins, take accountability. There you go. I think it was that, yeah, for the girl earlier. Okay, so why, uh, but I'm saying though, why do I have to, when when it's time, because the man approaches me for sex, so why do I have to be the one to say, hey, can you please wear a condom so, you know, I don't have to abort right, my baby? <laughs> yeah. um, well, because, because you're the one that bears the ultimate responsibility, so you, you know, exactly. you have the ultimate authority. Come on, you have to, you have you to carry wanna... the baby for nine months, not him. You well, know, I'm sure that if they were the other way around, niggas would not be ejecting. I, I, like, I, I get that. They do, like, and we still true. have to carry the baby for nine months. Damn, if that's the case, and then if I stuck you with some child support, don't get mad. <laughs> but I mean, the, the the thing, the point is, is that but women you wanted have to have authority. sex, right? Yeah, but you got to have a little bit of. But did you want to have a baby? A man can have sex with you without your consent. You choose ultimately. You choose ultimately. And at the very Come beginning prepared too. to the scene. When I went to Alaska, they told me bring long sleeves. I didn't go out there and anticipate it. It's really easy to say the no, job, though. I accepted the job knowing that I'm going to Alaska in the cold. You 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 you, you threw out an offer and I accepted it. You gotta you gotta come in and bring the stuff. They didn't they didn't bring I, condom. Yeah, bring a condom. And if they did it, that's what you're saying, right? Yeah, if you don't want to bring it, bring a condom. Right, right. The why don't you have them. Damn! Damn. Whose side are you on? And if they right. didn't, no, I'm I'm saying. And if they didn't, and if they didn't bring it, then what do you say? No, no. Oh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't have raw sex. Eleven, you or it's not You would not bring a coat. Bring a condom. You know, like that's exactly what you're saying. Ladies, it, it's simple. Whoever has more risk needs to be far more uh, cautious. careful and cautious. Right. So, so I mean, it's it's very simple. I, I don't know how we could. But then it's kept... frowned upon. So you guys don't think you guys got more risk the... too? Because I, I'm I'm gonna slap you with some child fucking support. Y'all... All right, next. Damn. Yeah. 
but that, that yeah that but again but okay that okay does not change the fact right. that you have more authority because you can't slap me with the child support but i cannot mm -hmm. sit here and say i am paying you bitch you can slap right. me with that the condom sense? right that's fine with me no uh, no, no kids condom. on my side you're no, missing, the right. missing the point ladies that is so scary so y'all are missing like, point man. yeah it's it's a nigga kid that don't ever want you that's scary telling me you know what hey you know what i will be a real look got girls <laughs> so he's so speechless. So it's all so my mom, right? To say, if I fuck you, me and you fuck, right? Mm -hmm. If I was leave leave you the fucking next day, I have no fucking choice on what you fucking do with your body, right? right. So right. if you would have had the baby, I would have fucking know until like months down the line, <laughs> weeks down the line, and shit like that. Oh, nigga, this is your baby. This is your bitch. Uh, your, your child, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, right? He called his child bitch. a bitch. Ladies. <laughs> 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 Take accountability. They were. I mean, yeah, but he's absolutely right. right. I mean, oh, oh, if you come to me, yeah. take I don't see why anybody would want to have a child with somebody oh, that's not my significant other. Let me just Mike. get through these real quick. Prop 99. Look at what happened to Drake. He took every precaution to put hot sauce in the condom and dumped it in the trash can. That proves Myron's argument. And women know not the, this. Okay, the okay. Now, now that bitch right there, she was dead ass wrong for that, and she got everything that came her way. Wait, who oh, bought? Oh, yeah. So I ain't gonna lie. She muddied it. She muddied it. So apparently. The chick that left, she says, y'all getting sent hundred dollars and they gave me no money and no food. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Wait. Well, Which if one? she stayed, she would have known Fresh. that. We so she was just hungry. Oh, out, but oh, she, she was just part. hungry. Oh, so so she broke, I can't tell you what happened. All the money she was giving her, she didn't even get herself a four before. It's not too late. She said that we were mad that she left. I didn't even know that she left until the end. Honestly, she's starring. All her money went towards the Botox. Right, because she annoyed Chris. I thought she was going to go use the bathroom too. She disappeared. All right, so I didn't care if she left. Right she was like, oh, from Texas. you know what? I didn't know that show would be so long and have somewhere to be. I'm like, if you have told me earlier. Well, 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 to be fair, though, you, you did you do it at the beginning, two and a half. So, so two she had some this to go. Well, we, no, we had no. A little hey, look, it picked up my eyes. I'm like, oh, more. All right. So if you guys want to beat, let me know. Yeah, she was hungry. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. It's been four hours, bro. What? I mean, yeah. Yeah, but to make to make the I, IG story about not like that's, that's that's about weird. not getting she, she specifically said down. that dude it's was mad that she left. Yeah, like she, she, was child, talking she was barely talking the whole time. She wasn't saying nothing. It's okay. Listen, sometimes I mean, people I need clout. Talk, but she didn't want to talk. She did. She literally did. Um. Yeah, she did. He she was like, what? We got uh fifty bucks here from Crypto Cat. It says uh. Rights and privileges are black and white. Either you have them or you don't. You don't get to go to a judge and say, I feel like I have the rights and privileges <laughs> intersectionally. Oh. <laughs> well, oh actually, it's really going have more luck with that. Okay, not, uh, not exactly. Really. Buck says, this might yeah. be the dumbest argument I've ever heard. Oh, man. My only saying that there is a right woman have that what men don't have, but they are focused on why they have the said right. It does not matter why. Yeah, the fuck say. that's what I was trying to say. Uh, Charles Gidu, 20 bucks says, Naomi Osaka, Smooth talking like a politician. Huh? Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Well, when she, she we, I guess when she had Keep pulled it. that stunt um, about her mental state, when she didn't, um, um, so she did talk about that. Yeah, her mental state. Yeah. She was able to say that a man athlete. I've never really heard them say, "Hey, you know, when anytime a man is going through something emotionally and he displays that on social media, you know, he is definitely memed and and trolled and tried on that. So as he should be. Yep. <laughs> Why do you think that? Why? 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 I don't know your perspective. Yeah. Why do you think that? Because emotion, okay, emotion leads to erratic decisions. Erratic decisions that, lead to erratic just, decisions lead to mistakes. We just trolled her too, so. But so. emotion causes. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I don't think anybody similar. should be posting any of their feelings on fucking Instagram. No. I mean, I'm just saying, like, yeah. keep that shit to your, keep that shit to yourself, or go to a therapist. Like, like, talk to your friends. One of the, one of the tenement differences between men that sets us apart from you guys <laughs> is emotional <laughs> stability and the ability to not be emotional. It is one of the things that women <laughs> literally emotions? yearn for when they deal with a man is that emotional stability, the ability to be a rock. Because women, are, you guys, your emotions change every single day. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for someone that is stable, that can be, I guess, the opposite of you. Someone that's, women are erratic and emotional. Men should be stoic and emotionless. But not you know all saying? the time. Men, women don't want that. Women want also who want men but, who are in tune with their emotions. Of course, you could be a hard rock. Same thing as me. I'm not going to be... Every single day, I might be indecisive as well, but at the same time, I still have a solid, you know. That sounds good on paper, but yeah. women are not I'm aroused saying, by that. They don't you... want an emotional man. Uh, like, I don't. No, I, I honestly don't. I said, so okay, so I, I really can't. No, I have to be. Mic, I have to be mic. with somebody who was, who is um mentally stable in yeah. that sense, right? Because number one, if I'm dating, 
and this sounds really fucked up, but if I date somebody who's weak, I'm going to run that whole fucking relationship into the ground. Right, right. but is emotion, does, it, does emotion, 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 does it, does it, does emotion it, does it mean weak? weak I just want to know. No, we're not, we're not talking about, uh, you can, my, I mean, my boyfriend comes to me and be like, hey, babe, I just felt like what you did earlier was not cool. You know what I mean? But if you're going to come to me on your fucking knees and cry about it, I'm going to be like, bitch, get up. Babe, we were talking about public, public display of emotion. Mm. Right. It should have be done, period. No. Mm. At all. But yeah, that's for any be. sex like and that's for anybody. If, if he comes and right. talks to you behind right. closed doors. The, the, the point is, is that it's more socially acceptable yeah. from for women. women. Like yeah. you're not going to yeah. get yeah. shit it's on for as much as a man. Yeah. Obviously. Let's finish these chats because we got a lot to go. Yeah. And it's been four hours. Spencer. Mara, uh, I'm losing hair with you. She is just lo- listening to argue. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> uh, she doesn't understand society law- Society laws uh, versus nature. Privilege is provided by laws, not nature. Okay? Uh, that's that's true. Me. That is very true, actually. They called me a madman when I came up with the Kazu method, and I've said it <laughs> once. I've said it a thousand times. See now why I prefer the mom conscious. This nigga, bro. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm calling the police. Uh, he already went to jail for it. So. Right. Uh, for a man to make a baby, a woman has to make a choice to open her legs, and whatever happens after that is a direct result from that woman's choice. That means you are 100% responsible from the moment yeah, you hap- opened your legs. What happens when you whip it out? Right. What happens yeah, when you I, I don't right? take it out. DJ. You get that shit out. DJ. Okay. I've been in I'm situations where... All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My Rollins hairline, over 90% of child support is paid by men. Even the child is not over 90% of alimony paid by men. Yeah, women don't want to change that. That's true. Has her Uber here yet? <laughs> That's dude. Uh, uh, Justin Deval, AL. Maybe men are okay with the way we treat each other. So because you as a woman think it's wrong, we should change it. Nope. That's very true. <laughs> That's how men communicate. We communicate overtly and she doesn't like that. Progressive thinker or inability to discuss reality because it hurts her feelings. That's true. <laughs> uh, Rajan Poppy. It's time for Pete Castellone. <laughs> uh, 20 bucks, Nez Martin. Don't waste your time. She wants the chivalry and special treatment from men, but at the same time wants to be equal to them in every way. Literally wants her cake and to eat it too. And that's what I was saying as well. Australian 20, uh, Stellar Odyssey. She's a typical progressive, a mini tyrant. She wants to control and micromanage exactly how everyone interacts with each other. She's fundamentally anti-liberty like all progressives and richest men are Arab oil, not white. Mm, <laughs> Nine other known uh, to wonder women that uh, wants to leave saying you being bullied is a red flag of a false accuser of great fellas. Take notes, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Wow, that I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree wow, that was too that. much. Let's move on. Let's, Let's move, move on. Move on. Let's well, move she, on. she, she well, here's the thing. What he's saying is that tomatoes, she, tomatoes, was on a, she was on a pod trying to say that we're <laughs> bullying her when we really weren't. Yeah, it was state your state your opinion or not your well state your stance and you know, substantiate it with some mm-hmm. facts. She could not do that. Mm-hmm. She came up with intersectionality, which has absolutely nothing to do with the argument in hand. Correct. How does a, what does abortion have to do with with race and class and all this other stuff? Because there are still contraceptives available to you at every socioeconomic level. Okay. And for reforms. free, y'all. And for free, too. For free. Like, free. Or yeah. fucking okay. for free. free. You can go to Planned Parenthood yes. and Without get free. Yes. yes, when you they, go to Planned Parenthood, do. they will give you free fucking birth control, yes. condoms, anything you need. And as a matter of fact, if you, yes. Yes. And if you are oh, pregnant and you go to Planned Parenthood, they will give you a free fucking ultrasound. Yep, that's yeah. very true. You go to How Planned Parenthood and you want to have a fucking abortion, you go and you get a motherfucking abortion for free. Don't, don't fucking don't, tell don't, me that. Don't, 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 don't women know that, which was her point, was yeah, just to bring right. her Which is my wait, point wait, to wait, tell wait, her okay. that when she's Resources. doing these things, wait. is she not giving people the resources? Because how does she not even know that? Mm. Time out, time out here, time out here. Planned Parenthood, wait, you're giving out false advertisement. Planned Parenthood is not giving out free abortions. They are definitely checking your income first before they give you anything for free. Um, All healthcare, of course, we live in the United States where healthcare is free, but they have to check your income. So it's based so, income based. I mean, I'm just whatever. saying I would never but go to yes. Planned Parenthood because no. I have the money to, to afford that. And so we're talking about people who cannot bracket, afford it. It also depends on your tax bracket. So but, you said you make money. So they're going to check your tax bracket. And if you don't fall between the certain lines, you do not qualify and you have to pay some kind of money. But it will not be the same type of money you would pay for a private clinic, right. which you are correct. But, 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 but that, that proves yeah, that, that, that proves that you can. Because but she I, I just use, don't want rich that people don't have those resources. She tried to use intersectionality to combat the abortion thing, and that's actually that's false. Because and I was going to say that too, but we got a little disheveled. The reality is, regardless of your socioeconomic status, there is something available to you mm-hmm. to help solve that situation. Right. There's so many different paths on the highway mm-hmm. that you can get off the highway of pregnancy for women. There's only one for men. Right. So it's like that's that's what it is. So that was. And if you're making under thirty thousand dollars a year, they give it to you for free. Yeah. 
because aside number one, you can't you can't even afford to live off of anything in the state of Florida under thirty thousand dollars a year. You know what I'm saying? So when you go to these places after paying your rent, whatever the case may be, even if especially if you're on Section Eight and food stamp, like yeah, yeah you're good. It's automatic. Yeah. You're well informed. They don't want no more broke babies. <laughs> well, well, they they figured out that like you know having children out of poverty is actually a detriment to society long term. Right. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, I'm, right. I'm, 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 and by the way, I'm well informed because when I actually inform children on their and teenagers about mm-hmm. these things, I give them the utilities, the tools. Okay. Right. That's why I'm well informed because when somebody comes and asks me about these things, like my sisters, for example, I'm the oldest of five. What am I supposed to tell my sisters? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm just supposed to be a, a dumb bitch. Like whatever like do whatever it is that you want to do baby right not like it's right okay. it's okay have the baby be 14 and pregnant like oh, no shit. bitch Damn, you're so gonna funny. you're i mean you know yeah 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 no very true and uh yeah <laughs> Uh, one of my reasons why I'm moving to Dallas Tri-State is the full SJW mindset. This is why women are becoming more single relationships and families suffer from this. Yeah, that's true. What is the, SJ- yeah. what is the SJW? Uh, social justice warrior. Oh, Basically okay. what that girl was. Uh, that was here. <laughs> um, you know, hey, feelings and this is not right and it's not okay that men talk to each other like this. Like basically, yeah, that's what a social justice warrior That says, go home, Roger, 20 bucks. Typically people that tend to lean left and progressive. Uh, I've worked at a four top tech tech... Uh, oh, <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. I've worked at four top tech companies. All the ladies make the same wage, if not more than me. Six figures. What corporate job does Goldie have to provide real world insight? Bingo. And we used the Google example and she didn't want to Thank you. accept that. Yeah. Her course is about making women believe everything she believes in. She's brainwashing women to believe a false agenda. Okay. Correct. God, please help the young women she is coaching and mentoring. Amen. Yeah. They're giving them false Somebody's going viral. Giving oh, them a viral. mindset. Giving mm-hmm. them the victim mindset. Yeah. El Maidon gains quest. All you can see, this is the result of liberal Marxist and useless education. And as a result, it's learned from college. And it seriously destroys mm. women's sad world. This is all liberal nonsense. Very true. I don't agree. What do you disagree with? That we learn this through college. Like, that, I, I feel like that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's a part of it. It's a part of it. Right. Um, yes, I feel like it's a factor. I feel like it, it could it could play in certain people's lives. And that's probably why her mindset was. The, I mean, I didn't disagree with half the things she was saying, but. I don't think it's only coming from college. Some people are literally raised to think like that, especially if she has a child and then she raises her child to be like that. That's a product of that. It doesn't doesn't even have to be college in itself. Well, thank God I didn't go to college. (laughs) I mean, I went to college and here we are. Like, Yeah, I mean, uh, (laughs) college nowadays has become... As long as you get it with no debt, fuck it. It, 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 college is more about, I, I would argue, because I, I went to college in Boston, I, I graduated in 2013. Mm-hmm. College nowadays is more about virtue signaling and saying, oh my God, progressive and people's rights and all this other stuff. It's less about education. It's more about virtue signaling. And, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you're right. She graduated last year, she said. Or something? Yeah, she yeah. recently graduated. We were yeah. talking about that From shit University when I was in college. Maryland, which is another, a very liberal school. So, <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it, like, the thing is, here's the issue. Um. And I've, tend, I've, I've noticed this with people that tend to be very left-leaning or very liberal. Mm-hmm. Like, they will not accept anything else that goes against their thought process. You know what I'm saying? I literally systematically debunked the wage gap, and she refused to accept it and kept saying women are oppressed. And right. I was like, that is not true. You know what I'm saying? I would argue women have more privileges and rights now than ever before. Yeah. So I don't know what yeah. you're talking about because you still enjoy the benefits of being a woman while simultaneously being able to be equal to a man. So what are you talking about? You have you got it you got it from both ends yeah. right you know but again for people like her to be able to say oh i'm progressive they need to be able to substantiate some type of victimhood mm-hmm. which is why she has that victim mindset which a lot of progressive people tend to have a victim mindset because they think the world is evil and terrible but they don't understand that the world in general sucks right. it is what it is like we have one of the best systems here in the united states where in reality is amoral you know what i'm saying there's people that don't even mm-hmm. have clean water mm-hmm. and you're over here complaining saying I got bullied in my math class. Mm-hmm. The fuck? That's clown world shit. <laughs> so yeah. Like really? Like we we tend to like for we te- we we live in such a modernized, convenient world that we forget about all the things we do have, and we tend to count the things we don't have. Literally, this chick was in here complaining about getting bullied in a math class that she chose to be in at a higher at a higher education. She even has the opportunity to get educated, whereas there's people. That don't have that opportunity. In, Af- yeah. in, in Afghanistan right now, the Taliban went over and took the school from the women. They can't even go to school. You know what I'm right. saying? Like they would kill to be in that same math class that she's in getting bullied. Mm-hmm, Meanwhile, right. she's over here crying about it. And that's what I'm saying. Like people are just so entitled and uh, coddled and crybabies in the West in general. That's why I say 
And I'm hard on the guys too. Yo, if you're broke as a man in the United States, it's your fucking fault, bro. Right. You have every opportunity to build wealth in the United States. And you're over here crying and bitching. So I always laugh at people that tend to lean left because they cry about social issues here that 99% of the world don't even get to enjoy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's a point. There's no appreciation, man. Uh, She wants to have a productive conversation, but when you disagree with her, she checks out and wants to leave. Mm -hmm. You can't make this up. Very true. Mm -hmm. Uh, Babe stuck on being hardheaded. I work for the government. Everyone receives the same minority salary based on pay grades. Check your resources, expand your mind. That's very true. And that's uh, 10,000 from Nanjo Bono Snooki. That's, that's uh, from Japan. Yeah, I think that's 100. Yep. Oh, 100? Oh, okay, okay. Yo, we got everybody watching Japan, Japan. Germany, Canada, etc. cetera. Uh, she going to change the world by walking out on the world. You just watch, you doubters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if she yeah. can't even handle this a discussion here. Yeah, exactly. Could you she imagine like just, an actual she just stayed. I'm so she happy I brought just that up because she said that she tr- she's training, she's mentoring other women. How can you mentor somebody and you don't even have the experience yourself? That doesn't make any sense yeah. at all. An actual debate, like, she would never. I wish she, Listen, yeah, she would have just stayed. Let her, let her do it, okay? All right. <laughs> AL, 20 bucks says, uh, sexual chocolate hit Beyonce with that logic. I'm so dead. Um, <laughs> baby to Don, this is the proof that going to college doesn't make you smarter or more logical. Mm. This is also proof of why there's no gender gap. When things got hard for her, she ran just like she wants to run now, emotional. Bing yep. bong. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay Martin, 20 bucks. Self Castle, <laughs> you're playing life on a much harder mode than needed. You need a good PPO because all your utopian roads lead to sadness and depression. I feel sorry for you. You lack a strong male role model in your life. There you go. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Michael? Oh, okay. Uh, Michael Melolo, or Melo. Uh, I never paid for this, but these people are beyond help. Send the fucking asteroid. This woman must ask for a refund. Okay. Send the asteroid. Uh, Send the asteroid. With 100% choice of who you sleep with and 100% hundred percent choice on who is born, the responsibility of making a music condom is yours also. Correct. If not, the baby that is the result is 100% the woman's responsibility. Party slave. Yeah. Uh, Bill Stryker. Somebody get Miss Change the world a crown for she is truly the queen of victims. <laughs> <laughs> Papa make two valid. Uh, she should have spared herself. I'm 16, five foot seven, and was bullied since middle school. I'm a junior in high school, but I never let that stop me from becoming an OG. Yeah, it is what it is, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christian Fodre, great British pound. The economic, uh, the economic, economics girl, economics girl is getting on my nerves. You sitting in a first world country chatting shite. Listen, I'm from Cameroon shit. from the ghetto. Yeah, I think he said shit because he's great from Great Britain. Yeah. I'm from Cameroon from the ghetto. Actually come to the UK and decided to change my life regardless of me. No mm-hmm. speaking English or being discriminated mm-hmm. against. This is reality. I just mentioned yeah. that. Absolutely. Yes. Don't That's the great thing. One time for Christian. Is that what his name is? Christian. Yeah. Uh, Angel. Okay. Angel Cardenas, uh, 20 bucks. Yeah, I can't deal with social justice warriors, bro. It's crazy how you're willing to hear her out. But she wasn't willing to hear you out. Mm-hmm. As soon as you challenged her view, she ran. You mm-hmm. need to get out the victim mindset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, girl in yellow, what ethnicity are you from? And here's the thing. I was listening to everything she was saying very closely. Mm-hmm. No. You're ha- Haitian, right? Yep. Haitian American. My parents were from Haiti, but I was born Sup-pa-sa. here in Miami. Mm-hmm. You Y'all already know what the fuck going on. What's the part of Miami, though? Huh? What's your apartment on me though? Block up. Um, Love like, Haiti made me, North Miami raised me. Yeah. Hey, okay. hey then, yeah. stop playing crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Eddie Griffin was right on Dr. Dre 2001 album, Education. It still applies today. All right. The Caddy Daddy. I work in Rep Center office. I'm the only black person out of the 20 comments I hear would make most black people cry. My fiance wants me to quit all the time. I explained to her to make change, you have to sit at the table and take it. Mm-hmm. Correct. Wow, that's uh, amazing. Yes. Uh, um, FNF, what up? On the late night shift, putting in the work, just checking in on a little, <laughs> checking in on a little break and old girl in the yellow is speaking facts. Okay. This is a perfect example of what a lot of men are choosing not to dabble in the dark, combative beyond reason. Easy on the rain, Myron. You're speaking on fast forward tonight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, crazy how the IQ of the podcast increased dramatically after cer- a certain person left. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hmm. oh my god. Jake's move lifestyle. What up? No, no, read no. that one, Chris. Lady Master Akash. Oh god. Oh, Western ladies, holla at your boy. Yeah, you know, this dude is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Uh and then uh 50 bucks AOC 2.0. Oh, y'all are <laughs> stupid. And then Epic Kings. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Right. I was I was losing hair follicles on that one. So uh brain cells. Last lesson, uh, ladies. Okay, so. Oh, if abortions was free at Planned Parenthood, the lines will be wrapped around the block tomorrow. <laughs> Don't give out false Sarah, info. No, that's right. Well, again, it depends on how much income you make. Right. It's mm-hmm. income dependent. And I, I, I highly doubt that somebody making 50K a year is going to go to fucking Planned Parenthood. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Right? I mean, 
What you so, mean? The, that's how the rich stay rich. You know, you got to get the benefits. Oh you got to stay. You got to do um what they call Did it. Did you for free though? Um, coupons. <laughs> Not Groupon. Yeah, that was a Groupon. Good, good deal. Can you birth, birth control on Groupon. Groupon. Can you imagine that <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start here. Last thoughts, comments, disagreements, whatever. Um, I mean, honestly, like this is. I mean, I watch you guys anyway. So. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um. Very logically sound. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I try. I mean, I'm not going to say I agree, I agree with every fucking thing That's you fine. say, you but right. Um, but for the most part, I think, you know, most of the time I have a, like an unpopular opinion, like I said, with women. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to come on this podcast and I'm going to say what I'm going to say. If people don't like it, they don't it's like it. Hurts. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fact. It is what it is. Uh, on the next one, we'll talk about why high earning women are, are it's different. It's not what you think. Okay, so see, yeah, I really, I mean, yeah, because most of the time women are, I mean, men are not really interested in women who make more money than them. There's a bunch of reasons for it. I okay, mean, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Sucks. we can get into that next time for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Um, I want to say y'all fuck with me on the ground, but then. <laughs> no, but, below. We linked it. Right. Oh, no. Oh, but I, oh, yeah, wow. all your IGs are down there. I want to say this, oh, um, Myron. Cool. Except for the girls that walked out. We got. They yeah, fuck them. Out. I'm just yeah. kidding. Well, there were two of them. Yeah. No, it was, it was three. three. Three of them. Three? Yeah, yeah, the other one was complaining that we didn't feed her. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Miss, Miss Sugar Mama. Sugar Mama. Right, She's right. still talking about right now on Instagram. She's still crying? Yeah, I, I reposted it on Ah. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> you're petty. You want to share our fresh and fit uh, I always laugh. Story. Like, do they not realize that it actually makes them look stupid when they do it? Real that? stupid. Yeah. yeah. She's kind of that we don't pay the girls to come on the show, so yeah, it's fine. All right, whatever. At least we get valet. Right. And she's over here because <laughs> saying I got money. <laughs> Correct. We're supposed to get valet. It's like, yo, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, yo, we bring you on a platform. You're a musician. This is like a crazy opportunity for you to like be put in front of a bunch of eyeballs, and you're not even appreciative. Oh, they didn't feed me. Like, right. the entitlement is real, bro. Right. We let her rap on here. What the hell? We got yeah. seven thousand people here at yeah. three thirty in the but, morning. Uh, yeah. What? I, I I will say this though, like, entitlement um, is real. We do want to also respect your time as well. So. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, as you say, 4 a.m. in the morning. Come on. And well, I, and I want to say that. You can talk. It's going oh, on longer, but go ahead. But yeah, um, I, you are nothing like what I anticipated you to be. I watched a lot of your podcasts. I really thought you were rude. You're an asshole. And uh, <laughs> I was like, let me just make sure I don't say nothing too crazy because I ain't trying to get kicked off. But I really appreciate everything that you said. You did bring some logic, which, which I appreciate or whatever. Um. And yeah, I learned a lot from being here. Damn, Myron. Shout out to you. Right. You got a bad reputation, I guess. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, you, 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 you know, yeah, you do bad clips of yourself. <laughs> some, some of the shit that well, you be saying on here, like, clips no. everyone not, clips it. He's right. like, like uh, everyone, yeah. if you didn't watch it all the way through, you, uh-huh. you look so, like, right. you look like an asshole, but I watched it all the way through, so I don't think you're an asshole. Mm-hmm. I think maybe some of the things that you say, women are really just sensitive mm-hmm. about it, but in all reality, well, it is like fucking told true. They're not special or, you know, that they're, because, you know, we coddle, I told y'all, we coddle women all day and tell them that they're all special and deserve the best and that's just not the way the world that's works, your dude's right. job not the world yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean keep it all the way <laughs> 1000 man but they don't like that um Shit. just to piggyback off of what Wasagi. she said i came blindsided i actually just watched i'm not gonna lie it's my first video i watched it in the car on the way here oh, sure, and sure. i only watched like 30 seconds of it i was like damn this seconds. right and remind you i was like i'm Wasagi. ready to fight when i came here <laughs> Asked my friend i was like i'm ready to fight no but you said a lot of things that made sense a lot of things that i really could have i couldn't rebuttal after because it, it was reality well, check. You actually listened for once <laughs> sometimes <laughs> when i chose to well, you were just hearing it like well, right man, abortion is not my fault i realized <laughs> i realized i was like we're gonna agree to disagree and so i was big chilling after i had no issue i wasn't gonna walk out fuck it i was gonna stay on this line <laughs> but um, <laughs> no but i do appreciate for appreciate you for um saying a lot of things that honestly i just needed to hear again because it's really now it's really fuck these guys um huh, fair enough know. all right right, right. appreciate <laughs> <Okay>. y'all yeah <laughs> hey, at least at least you're informed now Right. At least you're informed. I mean, still say it though. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, I just like to say thank you for having me on the show. It was an, a great experience. Being on the show was very entertaining, and you know, it was a different experience for me. I feel like it's also Merch. important. Merch. It's I'm also joking. important to make sure that <laughs> we listen to both sides of the story, which um I was proven today. You know, you got to make sure you hear both sides. You mm-hmm. listen instead of just actually hearing. So. I heard everybody. I understood y'all. And I just want to say thank you for having me. Cool. cool. Right. 
I've seen You can say you hate us too, guys. I hate you. I hate you. Thank you for learning. Girls say like, yeah, I didn't like the show. It's whatever. It would be like that sometimes. Sensitive bitches. Oh, shit. Sorry. I've seen men get kicked out of here. I've seen women get kicked out. I've seen them walked out. I've, I've seen that one girl that got thrown the fuck out of here live during like a brain bleed session. <laughs> like I've seen it during like watching it over. But this this was just insane. I, I have a headache. Right. I can't imagine you doing this on the daily. So props to that. Right. Um, right. And- Why your hair is gone? He's balding. He's, he's got like that one vein in his forehead, like yeah. popping out right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chad, I know you're just watching, but I can't here. But I mean, my what, like, <laughs> fucking six or seven time being here, I'll be back. It's fun. So, okay. enjoy Ciao my time. Cool. Uh, Mr. Hey. Right, I, I, yes, I'm so Where tired. But, you know, as usual, when I come on here, you guys oh, are the life of the party. Mm-hmm. So. Party yes. hard. Party real hard. But um, <laughs> you that, guys bro. were very enlightening, as usual. Like, I, I do commend my run. And even you, Fresh, at times. You guys have some really great... Well, I have to say that Fresh really doesn't chime in as much as you do. You do. Oh. So, you know, he, you guys do bring a lot of enlightenment to some of the backward ways that, you know, some women still choose to mm. live in. And men, both, both men and women. I can't just say women alone. We're harder on the guys. It's just that no one, like people don't watch the daytime show and see me like yelling at the dudes on in the chat, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. But, you know, big up you, boots. Yeah. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. Big up you. Nah, big up Myron. Big I'm, up me? I'm in the shadows. I'm in the shadows. Man. Big the fresh. No, big up anytime. My, my, big up my headline. That shit gone. All right, what about you? Um, oh, she's awake. Hey, <laughs> hey, she well, made us all fall. <laughs> what do you like? Uh, 24 going on 50? Mm-hmm. I feel 50. Because yeah. there was a long show. Yes. Oh, well, thanks for coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you. My pleasure. All right, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we usually talk more. It's not an hour. We got a. Uh, yeah, that was there. That was just uh, no, a lineage show with girls. And uh, Friday, Friday we, we have a, spe- a special guest, right? On Friday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we got Michaela Peterson on Friday, guys. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll have her on the show uh, seven thirty, I think, is when we're gonna do it Friday. And uh, yeah, man. Other than that, then a late night show right after as usual. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like the goddamn video. I didn't have to stop the video to like it, but guys, like the goddamn video because my Go hair like follicles are on fire right now. Right. And the vein is uh, popping out. Can't forget the vein. Yeah, right. The vein too. <laughs> so like the video, guys. I'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Wait. Nighttime show, yeah. Thursday. We'll catch you guys tomorrow night. It's Thursday. Nighttime At show. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. We can't. We can't. We got to go to a, a thing. Oh damn! Sorry. We'll, probably, we'll probably do the show at like ten or eleven start time. Yeah. As All usual. Right. All, right, All right, guys. Peace. Peace. Go. All the night.